Foo Fighters, All My Life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and uh, Carl Pilkington. Indeed. Genius Carl Pilkington, yes. as Heat Magazine said. Really? Is that what yeah. he's referred to now? Yeah, huh? yeah. Genius. Saying about people tuning in just to hear his games, yeah. such as. Educating Ricky. Have you got some educating Ricky for me? Got some I need some education, Carl. That's I like desperately that. need some education. I want to learn about Chinese kids that are born hairier than average. <laughs> I want to hear, hear about deaf girls that can hear after their mum hits their head against a the wall. These are the things I need to know. I mean, I don't wish to be disrespectful. He doesn't look like a genius. He doesn't look like but a genius. But I don't know what a genius looks like. Exactly. So, Steve. you know, I don't want to be unfair. Look, look at Einstein. Yeah. Yeah. His mum thought he was mental as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that information from? That was in the Einstein book. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was in the Einstein book, that is absolutely true. <laughs> Which Einstein book is that? It's the, theory of relativity? The, 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 big, the big book of Einstein stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big bumper book of Einstein <laughs> stuff. It's uh, <laughs> yeah, for yeah, a coach yeah. trip yeah. and you have to fill in, uh, yeah. e equals MC1 squared, <laughs> two, two fish, or three, hello! <laughs> and then it's multiple choice yeah. and you uh, fill it. It's great. It's Did his brilliant. mum think A, he was a genius, <laughs> B, mental? <laughs> <laughs> Some, most people go for A, but it is in fact B. Ooh. She thought he was mental at the age of 28. <laughs> oh, Carl. Oh. You you never let me down. You never let me down. So have you got Educating Ricky for me? You got Educating Ricky coming up. You've got, got Rock uh, Busters. Uh, we've got Rock Busters. Great as, seen, as seen and talked about in Heat. <laughs> in it's, Heat magazine. It's got really tough this week now. We're not messing about anymore. Uh -huh. Right. Um, got some good prizes? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk about those later. Because, right. uh, I mean, was it last week that you had the, the classic? Was it, um, I can't remember, I, I'm paraphrasing, Carl, apologies. Something like, I'm here in Texas, I've fallen in a puddle and my knee has got wet. Yeah. Wet knee Houston. Wet knee Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. And also, it was last week when there was a little bit of confusion over, uh, the one for Holly Valance. Of right? course. Um... I don't think it was confusion, I think it was your error. No, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. And it was Holy Valance and you meant Palmet. Ah. Then, Becky, who called up that time and yeah. said, oh, if you, you get mistaken with, uh, Palmet, right, she sent me an email in a week yeah. saying, I've done a bit of research. Yeah. It was my fault. I've made an error. Yeah. It is a valance. Okay. And I know about valances. As I told you last week, at the very end, my auntie loves them. Yeah. Right? She, um, she makes them. She started off just like putting them on top of the, uh, sort of window around the curtain. Yeah. And then she, she thought, oh, I can do more with this. Yeah. <laughs> and she had a little coffee table that had magazines underneath and yeah. she said, I'm sick of seeing them magazines when I'm sat down. <laughs> she, she, sounds, <laughs> she sounds like a Pilkington. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of seeing the magazines when I sit down! So she put a valance around the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah! She just got valances around everything now. Yeah. Right? Then, yeah. uh, next step, uh, she, she tapes everything. She never actually watches telly, she tapes it all. Because yeah. she gets sick of listening to the adverts and that. Yeah. So she tapes everything, so she's got loads of videotapes and that. And the video, used to get on her nerves when she was watching a film, she'd see the clock changing. Oh. And it distracted her from the film, so sure. she put a valance around that. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's Genius! Yeah, so. That is or, really is it, or is it mental? <laughs> Only Mrs. Know. Einstein can tell. I don't know. She's even made her little, um, Jack Russell look like a hovercraft. Yeah, okay. It's great. Still, so everything's it. got a balance. If you, if you go round and you stand still for too long, the chances are <laughs> you <laughs> get a balance on your head. Yeah. This is the, 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 this is Auntie Who? Auntie Nora. And this is the one that farted for five minutes. <laughs> lest, lest our listeners forget. <laughs> lest we farted forget. for five minutes, called his mum, saying I'm farting, <laughs> two minutes into the fart. <laughs> She's about up two and a half minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> you said I'm about two and a half minutes well, into well, the Well, my mum said, how long's been going on for? She said, well, uh, it was about two and a half minutes before I called you. Yeah. And then it went on for a further two, <laughs> two and a half minutes or something. And, uh, <laughs> then it stopped. And, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't type right because there was a balance over the clock. Yeah, she was used to annoy her when she was yeah. on the phone and you put her off, see, at so the time. She, it was she was guessing it was five minutes. This was one consistent fire. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't making a noise, it was just- Oh, it wasn't making a noise. Just gas. <laughs> right. Endless gas. Mm. So, uh, there you That's go. fantastic. Well, we started off with a new one, a little bit of Foo Fighters. We like new and old on this show, don't Indeed. we? we like to mix it up. I'd like to play the Smiths from their, from their, uh, debut album, um, I Don't Owe You Anything. I Don't Owe You Anything. The lads from, uh, Carl's hometown there. Indeed. The Smiths. Brilliant, that one. Wow. I went to Manchester, didn't I, the other day? Went up to Manchester for a little corporate. Uh, it was alright. Yeah. Um, I, the, he went, um, wait till you get out. You see, because it's better than Houston. Right. right. It was. It, the, 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 you know, it was, it was nicer. I went outside and there was a ridiculous queue, uh, um, uh, 
and sort of one cab. Right, um, yeah. So, uh... Horse drawn. Yeah. yeah. And so I walked and it was okay, it was only down the road, it was a bit dark. It was wet and raining. Of course. It's the north. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, the hotel yeah. was very nice, but no minibar. I've never seen that before. I've travelled all over the world to them in a hotel without a minibar. <laughs> no, so no, I don't know what's no, going no. on then, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, uh, I did this corporate gig in Old Trafford. The pitch was up, I don't know what they were doing, but, um, you know, very impressive, big impressive. I think they're the richest football club, aren't they, Carl? Yeah. You did a yeah. gig at where? Old Trafford. It was, no, it was a function room. Oh, there well, I thought it was the stadium. No, no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that big yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, I can't really comment on Manchester. I do know that Liverpool was voted the most important music city by a poll. True enough. Um, so, uh, Carl, you're making noises while I'm talking. Yeah, but you do this all the time trying to wind me up. And I'm not, I'm not saying Manchester's the best place in the world, but what I'm saying is, there's bits of it that I really miss. Yeah. Like last Sunday, right? When I'd, I'd met up with, uh, with Ricky, um, we had a, a spaghetti bol bolognese, which was alright. Uh, and then I said to him, I said, I need some soil. Damn, I wish you'd invited me. It sounds <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <Listen, laughs> so I need some soil. What, what do you think? You need some uh, what? Soil? soil? Soil, yeah. I need to repot a plant, right? Yeah. So, um. You need to repot a plant? Yeah. I, oh, fair enough. So, um,. I'm like, where, where, y y you can't see you these can, shops yeah. in London. You, you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing around. I took him straight to one in my street. Yeah, yeah. but near your street and that's probably the only one in London. Well, you say that, Carl. No, it, it does annoy me. Round my way, it's like, you know. You can't move for soil shops. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. There's earth. You can just pick up handfuls walking down the street. Yeah, incredible. Which People is... just lean over into someone's front garden. Not yeah. even take the plants yeah. as well. No, yeah. but what I'm saying is, Go on. Manchester, there's loads of decent hardware shops. Yeah. Here. Um, you know, if you want a panini and a latte or whatever, you can't move from. But for soil, I had to <laughs> go virtually how many miles away from me to carry that mm. soil home and stuff. Yeah. It's, like, it's not good. I mean, London's all right, mm. but if, if cities were sort of marked- It's, it's, it's neglecting the peat. <laughs> yeah, at, yeah. At, at market, yeah. really, Well, there's it? barely, I mean, there's barely any mulch available <laughs> well, for it uh, well, in I, central I, London. I'm sick and tired of not getting a good decent compost of a Sunday. <laughs> Indeed. So, you know, me. I'm thinking of moving to the north. <laughs> yeah. Um, where there is loads <laughs> of soil <laughs> and <laughs> gravel. Indeed. And animal shite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, whatever. So, you were gonna say if you were marking cities out of ten, what would you give for, like, London? Well, if you were marking them on, like, you know, on, on what they have. Right. It, as opposed to what? <laughs> well, as opposed to how the you name. spell it. Say, like, I think the greatest city in the world is Rome. Okay. Right? It's pretty amazing. Mm, yeah. Have you been? What? Yeah. Why do you think that though? Just because, like, you turn a corner and there's something there that's really old. Right. right. It's, like, you're going down a normal street. <laughs> go, go and stay in a Derby and Joan club. Yeah. No, no, no. But but it's like you're going down the road and then you turn a corner and like, like the Colosseum's in the middle of a, like a busy road. Mm. It's like, what's that doing there? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, just when you think there's no more, you turn another corner. Oh, it's really? almost as if that was there first. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? London. Yeah. What have we got? Y you know, Trafalgar Square's world, sort of world known. And you go there, what's that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of space there. Get one big B and Q. In Trafalgar Square. It's a, it's a cater for the whole of people who live sort of central London-ish. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be happy, but what I'm saying is- What, with is Nelson just popping up through the middle? Cause you can still see it, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great B &Q, idea. Uh, 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 so B and Q could be like the whole sort of flat thing and make it sort of grey so it looked like rock and then Nelson popping up- Make it up classy is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stone clad it. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you've made an effort. <laughs> exactly. And then you can pop in and then you can go out and go, oh look at Nelson's column. Oh look at that, isn't Nelson's- oh, look that the victory oh, defeat that's fantastic one of the greatest living yeah. i need some nails yeah, yeah. perfect can you bridge one stone you say but but why don't why isn't there more than them, than them more than them shops because when i went into yours every time i've been in there i've been in there twice now the first time was to get a shower head right <laughs> right and i went in there i couldn't resist buying something else i ended up getting some super glue as well <laughs> 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 Hey, right. big spender. And then, last yeah. Sunday we went in there, got two bags of soil, not one, I bought two. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought some scissors to cut plants with. Secretaries. Well, you don't- scissors. You never know when you want, you know, you might need more soil, I suppose. Well, mm. I've got- I've got stopped out now. Where'd you keep it under your bed? Sorry, this isn't going out, is it, this conversation? It's not going out on air. I got a feeling it might be. You're joking. We better play a record. Okay. Play a classic. I hate to say I told you so on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Genius Pilkington. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Carl, watching a bit of TV. Carl the Brain Pilkington. Yeah. The Brain. Brains. 
Yeah. Uh, I was watching a bit of TV last night, Rick. Um, Go on. And I, I had a little Children thought. Children Need? No, I, was, I didn't watch Children Need. No, um, I, um, I was watching something. I think it was last night. It was a bit earlier. Um, I had a little thought for lads that might be out tonight, you know, on yeah. the on the Raz. Yeah. Maybe they get a little bit of success with the ladies. Yeah. This was something that struck me as I was watching it. A lot of gentlemen. You know, when they're, uh, when they're engaged in, you know, an act of, you know, relations with a lady, mm. they like to sort of, you know, think of an image or something that will prevent them from, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you get, you catch my drift. We're, we're men in the world. Grandmother's funeral is a cliche, isn't <laughs> it? Exactly. And I'll tell you what, what I think, uh, it should be. Rick Waller jogging. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Fit Club. I, I know. have never seen I'm, I'm, anything I liked like it, it when Rick. Harvey lost it with him. Oh, man alive. I mean, I, I know I slag him off, but I do, I don't really like him either. I just think he comes across appallingly, and I think you know when he just walked away when that in that mid conversation talking to that bloke. They're doing it for his good, I know, really. But he's 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 how he's like thirty one stone. I think he lost a bit. I think he's twenty nine now. Don't exaggerate, Steve. You make him sound like a fat. <laughs> but um, but you know, I mean, yeah, that was close, wasn't it? When having sex, you know, yeah. apparently uh, thinking of uh, Rick. Rick Waller oh, helps. Oh, don't um, look what's happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is that the reverse effect? Yeah. Oh no, me and uh, Carl. No, if you're with a lady, if you're with a lady, apparently yeah. that, that works. I know. Um, he's out now, isn't he? He's out. Is he, did he walk out? I, th I think so. I think that's it. From what no, I can. No, no. I think next week they kick him out because I read something about um, he, they get rid of him next week because of his attitude. And the first time I read it, I thought he'd actually ate someone's hat. <laughs> But it was you lost me. Got rid of him because of the attitude. <laughs> oh, everything you think of now is puns. <laughs> you can't get puns out of your head, can you? <laughs> oh God, you're great. Look at his little face. He's so that pretty. How long have you been working on that? You've got to love. You've got to lo give him that. That now was that a is, real no, joke. It, Look at his face. He knew it was funny. It was meant to be funny. He said it to be funny, and it was. Well done. I, well done. I'm just interested, I just want to dissect it, because it was brilliant, and I'm wondering, how long have you been working on it? About two weeks. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's good stuff, it was worth the wait. Can I go uh, on now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well done. The hatty tune. Well, I don't hatty think, there's uh, uh, only one band that can top that, another band from Manchester, Oasis. Oh. Vines, Ms. Jackson on XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Mays, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, right. Getting towards that time where Carl really kicks into action. We've got the quiz. We've got Rockbusters. The quiz that's a bit like Blockbusters, but mainly around music. Yeah, and a pun, a yep. scenario, yep. based in wordplay by Carl. You know how good he is at that. Can I tell you uh, what the prizes are this week? Because they're worth playing for. Please do. <laughs> okay, we got on DVD the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. The videos, I'm assuming. Uh, the film Human Traffic, it's a remix DVD version of that. Uh, I think we were giving this away last week. You've obviously got a bulk <laughs> stock of these. Groove Armada's Love Box, an album from them. Uh, the best air guitar album in the world ever. Uh, that's got the likes of Queen. Adams, Palmer, Leopard, Aerosmith. Idol. Um, I don't see it. I Aerosmith. think the Smith should be on there. Uh, we've got Purple, Wolf, Cooper, Top, <laughs> Quo, and, uh, Back, Nickelback. <laughs> um, now there was another, there was another one around actually. I seem to have lost one of the prizes. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this is, uh, you mentioned this advertised on TV, the Best Bands Ever album. And, uh, just, just imagine who this is aimed at. It's got, uh, Oasis on there, Nickelback, Coldplay, da da da. The Dandy Warhols, Bohemian Like You, in brackets, as featured in the <laughs> Vodafone TV ads. <laughs> then it's got Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, as featured in the Ford Fiesta TV ads. It's for people who didn't know they liked indie. Exactly. Exactly. They, I don't like indie, but you do. Do you like this advert? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love do you like it. this advert? Yeah. Well, you like indie then. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love indie. <laughs> I can't believe it. That's great. Yeah. The Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It, as featured in the Vodafone TV ads. I really like indie. Do you love uh, the T Mobile TV ad? Yeah. You'll love this. It's got Royce Cup on there, which is featured <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. um, so that's, 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 that's uh, me, uh, an album for people who don't like music. That's great, that's coming uh, up, Rockbusters. But I also have a movie, because you know last week I gave away Executive Decision. Yeah. That was on TV last night. Yeah. So you didn't receive my copy. But, 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 but well, they probably watched it before it was on TV. Yeah. A few days before. I was before. clearing out, Rick, yeah. last night. I found another one, which might be just to entice people. Go on. What is it? Coming it's, right got it. Out, yeah. it's coming out the bag. The Pelican Brief. Oh. Another arbitrary film choice <laughs> on VHS, Pelican <laughs> Brief, Roberts, Washington. You know, it's 
in our VHS in before Georgia's there were no more VHSs around. <laughs> it was six ninety nine. I'm giving that away as that's well. That's great, and that's brief. his personal collection. That's, that's from that's my personal collection. Um, did you see that gun picture, Carl? I don't think it's even rewound from when I watched it. Really? No, it's not. You can rewind that yourself. Brilliant. That's a little touch of Steve yeah, Merchant exactly. there. Exactly. Did you see that picture that you brought in? I don't have actually. Can I see it again, Carl? Yeah, it's just a picture. Of, this is you carry it with you. Do you know what? Well, no. He found it right. Last, last week I was sorting it because I'm moving. I'm sorting all my uh, files out and that, <laughs> and. Uh, because this is the only school picture. He had got. one school picture taken when he was. T was that ten? Nineteen eighty-one. Oh, I was about eight. Eight. eight nine, nine. Nine. Okay, tell the story. Why? Why? Why is that the only school picture I've taken? Just because. Uh, no, I had them all. I was always had them taken, right? But my dad thought they were overpriced for what you get. Because uh -huh. really, he said that like, the ha the sort of the whole idea of a good picture. Is like not only the person that's in it, but but like the surroundings. Yeah. So like, if you're on holiday, he'll look at me and he'll go, "Oh yeah, you're looking well, huh? What's that hill in the background, mm. or something like that?" Mm. Whereas with that's that, Rick Waller catching up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all you get on on these school pictures is like a blue background, isn't it? Yeah. So it was like, I'm not I'm not paying for that. Sure. And it was a big one. You get a bigger one than that, but that's just like a little passport size, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was one pound sixty. <laughs> Okay. And, and, and he, he wasn't really happy paying that because he said you could get like some done from True Print for uh, uh, a lot cheaper. So he could take himself. Yeah. So um, um <laughs> and so, so did he so tell you, you at the time that was the last time he was paying for a school he picture? He said I'll get you one because it's good to have a picture of you at school. Yeah, because they hardly ever went and all that. Mm. Um, so <laughs> we did like. <laughs> What's that in the background? That's from school, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I don't recognise it. <laughs> you got any interesting stories about it? Not really. <laughs> So, uh, I was a good looking kid though, wasn't I? Y you were, what are you doing with your mouth though, Carl? It looks like you're sort of, it looks like a bit like you're a ventriloquist dummy. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're, you're sort of scrunching your mouth up or, or piercing your lips or something. Do you not think? Oh, I mean, now you've got, dare I say it, very kissable lips. <laughs> so in here, look how thin they are. Look at those uh, little thin lips, it's like you. I'm smiling. That's a smile? Uh, that's what I didn't recognise that no, either. I didn't realise that was a smile. Oh, smile. Is that what you look like when you smile? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, had your dad seen you smile before then? Well, I think that's why he wanted to buy one as well. That's like so he can remember what it was like. Yeah. Right. Because I don't. I don't smile. When did you stop smiling? When did you? When was the last time you had fun and you stopped like happy go lucky? When? When can you remember when you, you had no weight of the world on your shoulders? I often think that because I don't sleep like I did. Like when I was when I was a kid, I had really good sleeps, and now I don't. Right. So I think. <laughs> but you've got a lot of things on your mind. You know, where can I buy soil? Yeah. Uh, How can I confuse uh, a computer by p t tapping in Y in the search yeah, engine? Yeah. Probably when I was fourteen, I was stress free. Uh -huh. Where? Yeah. When was the paper round? Probably when I was fifteen. Right. Is that, that's when it started, was it? I reckon that's when I started getting stressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the haircut you've got in the because uh, obviously I've not seen you before with hair and uh, it's an interesting mop. Um, y uh, did you do you have that done at the barbers? No, my mum mum used to do it. Is she got that? Yeah. Right. She used to, uh, what she used to do, um, <laughs> you, you can't see it in that picture, but it was one where she did um, a bit of a mess of it. I mean, it looks right. quite. I, quite I can't tell from this picture. <laughs> no, no, no. no that, that, that's one of the better ones. Oh really? Yeah. Right. Um, Were you bullied much? <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of them, she used to like <clears throat> use a better newspaper in front really? of my eyes, so she didn't like stick these scissors in my eyes. <laughs> So well, newspaper stops <laughs> scissors yeah. every time. Yeah, because I think yeah. they, they use that for bulletproof vests. Yeah, the, the, the tough fabric of a, yeah. a, a, a reconstituted newspaper will stop the scissor yeah. any time. No, definitely. I remember, because I know a lot of UN guys when they're on <laughs> patrol, they use some old copies of the Sun. <laughs> they put it in their yeah. pocket. Yeah, they start. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, she, she used to, uh, it used to always be on a Sunday night when, like, Songs of Praise is on or something, nothing right. was on the telly, just sure. before Last of Summer Wine or something. Yeah. 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 She used to get the, What uh, a depressing time that was. It was. Having your hair cut and listening to Songs of Praise waiting for last summer wine. Yeah. I always used to get depressed on Sunday nights. Well, I'll tell you and it wasn't because school was the next morning, it was because the telly was so shite. Mm -hmm. I think it was because school was the next morning because Antiques Roadshow still does that for me. I see the Antiques Roadshow, I love it, but I'm just thinking I've got to go to school or work tomorrow. Yeah. The Roadshow, I wish they put it on the week. But I, I know, I've, no, I've never, I've never really had that. Uh, when I work, I suppose. <laughs> I work now. <laughs> don't I? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> what a giveaway. Really. <laughs> what a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were telling us well, yeah, so, so, anyway, so she'd get the uh, newspaper, right, and she'd stick it in front of me eyes and uh <laughs> what does that say go on <laughs> so so she, she you inherited a lot from your mum didn't you <laughs> <laughs> so she'd, she'd cut me fringe right yeah but then she'd go oh it's, it's not straight it's not yeah. very good so she'd go again and she'd keep going and the problem is that why you're bold now? i was gonna say is this that you have got <laughs> hair but she has to get it right yeah. and it, it takes her to the back of your neck to so, get it even yeah. she she sort of removed the newspaper and she was like oh god 
I said, what? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. And like... <laughs> what? Is this, does, does, does this happen every Sunday? Well, can I ask you, Carl, when she was cutting your hair in this picture, was, do you think she was maybe sidetracked by an interesting article in the paper? And really <laughs> yeah, wasn't yeah. paying attention to or what she was doing? Or did her favourite hymn come on? <laughs> yeah, indeed. And she's or Compo was rolling down <laughs> the hill. <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I ended up with like, you know, a fringe sort of on the back of my head. Cause yeah. she just kept going further and further. Sure. But, so, uh, when so did you start going to that barber that was on the railway station? Must have, that's when I started work. So, you know, sort of 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And is he the one that said you have the hair of a Chinaman? He's the one that's, yeah. He sounds like a wise man. Uh, well, uh, can I just stop? I think maybe, maybe we should play a tune, but maybe you could bring in some photos next week, Rick, and we can talk about them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was just going to do a card trick. Right, take a card. <laughs> Any card. Yeah. Right, look at it. Uh -huh. Is that your card? That's Boy with the Arab Strap, uh, Ben and Sebastian. Coming next, Educating Ricky. Excellent. You too, Electrical Storm. Steve, am I mental or have we been playing some great tunes We've today? We've been playing some great tunes, you're not mental. You're Onyx a genius. XFM. <laughs> yeah. Our next FM wonderful when I'm Ricky Gervais with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed Educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't normally mm. listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history, anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, I give them a nice little headline, you take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're gonna learn three things, yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, Cream. we've also got, uh, Hippopotta News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And, uh, Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go with Hippopotta News. Hippopotta News? Yeah. Hippopotta News. Right, well, this one, it's, uh, I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right, because it's a good, good, uh, Good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but um... No, <laughs> oh, I think you did! Right, I know what it is! I know what this is! Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget, right, there's a circus- I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere, I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and um, is that present day or old times? <laughs> I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right? Uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really packed out show, people are loving it. Um... <laughs> Steve, you asked the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's not a circus, <laughs> Right. I'd take good money to see it. So everyone, everyone's clapping, and he's getting carried away. Because um, <laughs> he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was it was getting out of hand, <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down. They're all going higher, and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's he's doing this. Crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline, getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a hippo, <laughs> getting ready to do his act, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because he's Why is he sitting in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss, five minutes, Mr. Moss. So anyway, right, so the hippo's there, uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed, is he, because this, because the midget's he's eating going, to I'm gonna follow this, I'm yes, gonna, this thinking, is really yeah. annoying, they're gonna be, yeah. oh yeah. no. So, <laughs> he's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never gonna work. <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting, uh, this, this, see, it's a great story and I just know he embellishes it or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going the mad, the midget's loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's uh, dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi hi He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline. Goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh, hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out. I've got the news! I've got the news! Sure. Flies off at a funny angle. Ooh, hippo's yeah. there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. 
<laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. I but mean, no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on going, come on. The midget flew off at a hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> this well, is, this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say, though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippot hippopotamus, I was thinking actually what didn't happen. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Maybe. I mean, it is a, that, 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's, it's a recipe for disaster. Everyone knows that. Midget trampoline hit the bombers. Are you mental? I'll ask you well, for trouble. Well, you yeah. know, when he told me it, he said, and the midget, he didn't, he didn't mention the hippopotamus, <laughs> and he said, and the midget went on and soon he fell off. And the hippo at him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. No, what do hippos do? <laughs> what can they do? You can't train them, can you? <laughs> what do you, what do you Aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither claimed. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 no, 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 and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's, it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, sorry. No, it's definitely fine. Yeah, okay, right, truth. okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, um, I'd like to play a, a classic Springsteen, we're all fans of Springsteen there. This might be his debut album, I'm not sure, Greetings from Raspberry Park. I think it is, yeah. Um, New Joyzy. Um, and this is Growing Up, it's great, it's classic. Mm. It's very Springsteen and Growing Up off of, uh, Asbury Park album. Mm. Uh, great. They make you feel good, Springsteen, oh, don't they? he's a joy. He's an absolute joy. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, this, what, this, what all, this is what this they're is all what reading for. and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preachers Greatest Hits on DVD. We've got the film Human Traffic on DVD. Uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2, uh, on CD. Uh, Groove Armadas, is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well. They're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the, You will uh, love it. You didn't <laughs> think you liked Indy. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> exactly. And that's got, uh, Feeder and Travis and Badly Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, if you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so what right. are the clues? Do you know a pelican? Uh, I read the other day that has okay. turned its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. <laughs> so, Rockbusters. Well, yeah. let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet is all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food. Uh, so a bird has to, can only rely on gravity, yeah. so it, it has to have its head up and has to shake, it can't eat. You were gonna it. say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH. Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of same thing we can do. Use of the word knee twice there in the cryptic clue <laughs> <laughs> and in the final answer. And the word answer. wet, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is wit. Yeah. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm writing these down. Go on. Making it home. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E? Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally. I really, really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Now, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. I right, know, I've got that one. Right. Okay. That's oh. great. It's great. That's lovely. So, uh, yeah. That's great. I think, I think the, the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and what, we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something Quarter like to two, that? yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three. What am I talking about? Quarter to three. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff. Well done, Carl. Excellent. More, uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. Back. 
Lost Cause on XFM 104.9. Wow. Carl, we haven't had a lot of emails. They're tough. I'm struggling. Yeah. I've, got, I've really got one, got and I, 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 I'm struggling with two, but I know one of the words, but I can't think of the band that fits it unless the clue's wrong, and I've got no idea with the first one, E. Give them again. Just, just quickly again. recap. Number one, the fella has only got one badge left. That's E. Uh, second one, the unmarried, uh, lady's a friend are you out with. That's MD. And, uh, the last one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Well, so, uh, Ricky, what is it, Ricky? Ricky dot Gervais at XFM dot co dot UK. So keep those coming in. If there's no winner, we don't know whether to give it to the person who gets the most right first, or have a massive rollover. And uh, what a Christmas booty that would be, as Carl said. Mm. All those. Imagine what you could have. Uh, oh, uh, indecent proposal, maybe. <laughs> who knows? It, who you know knows? what I mean? I've got some real junk, so I can bring that in. Yeah. It, the mean machine. Imagine with someone Billy this Jones. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For this Christmas, I can't believe. It. Oh, I l thank you so much for the Pelican brief. I noticed yeah. you left the price on. And I, uh, it's on VHS as well. <laughs> oh, great! Brilliant. Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's so it's a perfect Christmas gift, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Okay, right. now. um so that's going. That's, going. that's going. That's going. That's going on. That's a big, big, <laughs> big prize. It's a big weekend prize on yeah. XFM. Educating Ricky, part two. Right. What's the What's the clues right. left? Well, we've uh, we've we've got left uh, the headlines. I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> yeah. And we've also got uh, chicken. You believe it? <laughs> chicken. You believe it? <laughs> so there are the two that are left. Which one's right. you for? Chicken, you believe it? It's not that picture, is it? In that that we saw. Which picture? The bloke with the. No, 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 no. Right, no, no, okay. No. God, um, that was bad. Right, okay. Um, um, so I just better explain we that. We can't really discuss this on it, can we? Well, we can. Um, uh, Steve brought in Carl the best book ever, which is what is it? Uh, I found it when I was moving house. It's an FHM publication. And it's kind of like lots of grotesque pictures and stories, and like the book of the uh, a book of freaks and weirdos and. And grotesque. Carl opened it, and the first one was like at the back. At the back. Well, you couldn't believe you luck, could what you? Was you it, what was it? What was what was what was number fifty? A bloke with two heads. And he said, "What's number one?" Yeah. And then number six, there's a bloke who's a squid or something. Uh, octopus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's uh, loving it. Yeah. And number one, he said, well, it's just a fella under a rock. And I went, oh no, read on, I think I know about this. And it's the fella that was found, w he caused a landslide while having sex with a chicken. And they pulled him <laughs> off and there he is, the chicken owner. Right. So Carl so could not believe his luck. So it's not that. Chicken, you believe it? I love that one. You going for that one? Yeah. Right. Well, we've talked uh, a lot on the show about. Um, we talked a lot on the show. Yeah. 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 Um, about <laughs> animals without heads. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. Uh, <laughs> we haven't. We haven't. No, we talked about cockroaches could live without a head for well, seven days. Yeah. We talked about that, and then of course there was the. Um, <laughs> The well-known one about the uh, the fellow who had his head cut off, and he he, he blinked. And he said to his mate, "Count how many times I blink when my head comes off." Yeah, we, as you, when, when you told it to me, you said his head came off, and he said, as he said, <laughs> in the basket, said, "Quick count how many times I blink." <laughs> and it was Nick Frost that had to go. No, Carl, that, no, he he said it before. I went in there. That was that was lovely. So uh, yeah, we've talked quite a lot about things heads coming off. Go on then. Well, this one. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> back in 1945. Oh, he looked up the date. He's got a specific date, uh, wow. Mate Jonathan sent this one, you know him as well, it's lad at the BBC, right? He emailed this one in. Mm. So thanks for that. Um, chicken. It's called Mike. There's, There's a chicken uh, called, sorry, I, I missed a bit there. There's yeah, a chicken, chicken called Mike. A chicken called Mike. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, what happened was, it was living on a farm, mm -hmm. right? Loads of chickens knocking about. And, uh, the owner of the farm is like, you know, getting ready for tea, and his wife says, uh, go out and get a fresh chicken, mm. cos me, uh, my mum's coming round. Mm. So he thinks, well, <laughs> I, I, I want to get a good one in, cos, uh, I want to impress her, cos yeah. back then, even then, they wanted to impress the mother in law on that. Uh -huh. So they said, alright, I'll just nip out and get one. So he sees, uh, he sees Mike, chicken, running around. Is this during the war or after the war? 1945, I'd, I'd say that was after. <laughs> No, it ended, well, it ended no. in 1945. Yeah, okay. September, go on. Yeah. So, um, chicken's running about, he thinks that one look, uh, you know, that looks alright. I yeah. love that one. My chicken. He picks it up, um, and he cuts his head off. Oh. Puts it on the block, cuts his head off, runs about a bit, like they do. Um, he thinks he'll stop in a minute. He keeps running about. Hmm. Oh, what's going on here? Right? He's, tra he's, he's now, like, chasing a chicken without an head. Yeah. Saying he should die in a minute. Anyway, doesn't die. Chicken's walking around with no head. Um, lives for 18 months. Yeah. 
Chicken with no head. Yeah. What you now, think of that? Well, I'll tell you, I've heard this story before, Rick, and, uh, my, the explanation as I understand it was that, um, certain vital cords, spinal cords, weren't severed when the head came off. So yeah. that was why it continued to, to yeah. live. Yep. I don't know if that sounds plausible. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, how did it take on, uh, protein and energy? The fella who yeah. owned it, he said, well, hang on a minute. He said, I could, I could kill it now. But I've got a wonder chicken here. But he's thinking, he must really want to live. Sure. Right? <laughs> if it survives that, they sort of got something here. Yeah. So he, uh, what he does, he gets a little, um, eye droplet thing that he used to use on it. Obviously not, not anymore. Right? And he filled it with grain and water. And it had a big hole in its neck where its head used to be. And he, uh, <laughs> Incredibly. And he dropped- You know what, there's, there's, I mean, that, that is possible then, if it, you know, without, without infection, without, 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 without infection, if he's taken on things, it is, it is possible, right? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why did he do it? What, how cruel is that? I mean, that was not cruel, because the, the chicken obviously, you know. He said, he said if he thought it was a bit fed up, he would have killed it. He said, but right. it was running around quite happy. Well, it wasn't <laughs> fed up at all, because it had no brain. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I'm just saying what. It what was I nothing. Mean? It was just. It was just sinew and nerves and electrical impulses breaking down energies. Right. That's all it was. It, it didn't have a brain, so it was. But I, I'm worried about the psychology of keeping a pet without a head. <laughs> I'm worried more about what the farmer was thinking than the I chicken. I tell you this. What I'm uh, the question I'm asking is: Was the mother-in-law impressed? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, why he's out. That's why he's out to shot Mike's head. This off. is lovely, but it's just the head where you don't kill a chicken like that all at once. <laughs> I thought we were having chicken for dinner. Come and look at this. <laughs> running around the yard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So, there you go. You've learned something there. Yeah, I have learned something. Yeah. Yeah. So. The one more. That farmer, I have learned that farmer was very strange indeed. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I have to say, to be fair to Carl, I have a feeling like when I read it, the reason he kept it alive was as a novelty. He sold, he, you know, he, he got charged people to come and see the incredible headless chicken right. called Mike. Right. So, <laughs> here we are. Right. That's great. So, uh, <laughs> tune, Steve? A tune, yeah. Um, I just thought uh, I'd like to hear a little bit more from, uh, that NERD album. We played some of this from, uh, from there when it first came out many, many moons ago. Since then, it's gone on, it's won awards, all sorts. And obviously, any ID now, nerd, as they're sometimes known, kind of big producers, they're producing Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, all kinds of people. But this is a track from their, uh, album. I've heard they're wicked. To, they are indeed. <laughs> and this is called Things Are Getting Better. Oh. Right. NERD, uh, from their album In Search Of, and that's Things Are Getting Better. After the break, we got, uh, more Educating Ricky and the results to this week's Rockbusters. And Richard Ashcroft. Oh, dynamite. Richard Ashcroft. Check the meaning on XFM 104.9. Wicked Javais with me, Steve Merchant. Carl just remembered a little story he was excited to tell you. Okay. Go on. Oh, are you going to tell him? Oh, okay. Um, w when we went into this cafe last week after, um, Carl had got his soil, we got two big bags of soil. I was going, get a bag. So, I mean, and he, uh, he was, and I can walk home. After about ten yards, he was going, oh, my arms hurt. So he had to get a cab. So we stopped in this cafe. He had spaghetti bolognese. You're loving it, weren't you? It was good. It was a good little day out. And there was a woman that worked there, and she sort of, st I could see her sort of looking at me, and she goes, uh, and then she goes, I said, are you off the telly? And I went, um, uh, yeah, yeah. She went, yeah, Chris Moyles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And I just laughed, and we both started laughing. She went, no, sorry, I, I, I said, no, I'm not, Chris, what's your name? And I went, and I had to say it, I went, Ricky Gervais. She went, oh, no. She went, oh, the thing in the office. I went, yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, funny so thing was, no. she said, she went and said, oh, no, I saw you on, on Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross, that's it, yeah. So she'd obviously watched the Jonathan Ross show thinking, Chris Miles has, you know, lost his looks a bit, or like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I found funny, the fact that she must have watched it, yeah. it thinking yeah. that. Yes, we know I saw you like, I saw you the other day and I was like, yeah, yeah, she went, oh. And then we were still sort of laughing, I was thinking, she went, oh, sorry, everybody. I was going, no, it's fine, it's fine. I was thinking, yeah, imagine that. Just like, oh, oh, God. great. There's not a better one to pick. That's just appalling. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. It's the second time as well. But you've been mistaken for Chris Moore? Yeah. 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 Oh man, you've yeah, got to feel I've, bad I've about had, that. I've had Moyles, I've had, um, uh, Vegas a few Johnny times. Johnny Vegas, yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, do, yeah. Do you think, like, people are going up to Moyles going, you, uh, you don't think about working in an office? Yeah, I hope, well, I don't know. I don't know whether I hope that or not. I don't um, know, it depends what he answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. 
I, I like. I thought you were going to say that. Uh, are you Chris Moores? No. no. What's your name, uh, Ricky Gervais? Uh, I've never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd yeah. be brilliant. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, right. Educating Ricky, Educating number three. Ricky, yes. Well, we've got the emails in. We've got the emails in. Yeah, yeah people are starting... finally they're finally trickling in. I think people okay. Getting... People have but... got the full three right, but I mean it's still worth emailing in because we never know who we're going to pick as a winner. I'll tell you what, we've still got fifty minutes before we uh, give the prize out. So let's give this, give them again. Just give us a quick uh, run there because I think these are these are these are tantalising. They yeah, really are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first one, the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah, that's E. The second one, the unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. MD. Mm. And the third one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Excellent. Right. Ricky. Gervais so at xfm.co.uk. You can win all kinds of prizes. Educating Ricky, right, number three. Right, final one. You've had, uh, Hippopotamus. Love you've had, things. you had Chicken, you believe it. <laughs> and the, the last one is, um, I'll be no buying one of them. I love that one. All right. Um, interesting one, this. I, I, I mean, I spent probably three days looking for this stuff. <laughs> Right, and another one that I came across, right, and um, I was going to use. I was what a, bit a like, great life you've got! I was just, you know, going on the internet and that, and I also looking magazines. Found a story <laughs> about a bloke <laughs> who, um, I don't know, he's messing about with a chainsaw. And he's, he... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know, he's messing about with a chainsaw. Um, he was juggling a midget, and uh, whilst taking and his alligator for a walk, and um, go on, and his arm. Uh, Come off, right? Come off! What do you mean his arm come off? The chainsaw took it off. Oh, yeah, so okay. It's like, oh, again, anyway, it's going, going, oh no! Oh. So, uh, there's a picture of him on an exercise bike, sort of just with a, a little stump sort of balancing, but he's getting on with his life, he's happy and everything, everything's fine, he's not complaining, it's his own fault, he's got no one to blame, right? So anyway, he goes to the doctors, and the doctor says, I can do something there. So he goes, well, it's all right, you know, I'm, I'm getting by all right, don't worry about it. And he goes, no, no, we've got an arm in. Right, we can um, we can attach that a real arm from someone who's I think they've passed away or lost an arm or something, and uh, <laughs> they lost an arm and didn't want it back. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I love it. Are you using that? <laughs> yeah. No, because I know someone. Because <laughs> I know a bloke actually. Yeah. Well, can't you just put this one back on? <laughs> wow, it's first come first serve, really. I was just I, listen. I was just building a bionic man. <laughs> We've replaced one arm with a robot's arm, so we got a spare one. So <laughs> the doctor's going, let let me put it on. He's like, well, oh, all right then. <laughs> So, so I'm grateful, do, bastard. So he does the operation. <laughs> everything's fine. He's loving it. He's, he's happy again because he said he can brush his teeth. Right. Okay. If this is if this is going to be <laughs> he's sort of loving like, it again because now he can brush his teeth. Right. If this is going to be, and it was a leg. Or no, 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 it no. was a chimp's arm, or, or it was the arm it of was, a killer. It was yeah, it was two left arms, right? Oh. Uh, I'm going to s kill you. Oh, let's let's leave it then. What is it? So, What's the answer? No, it's not that. I'm just. What is, okay, right, right. So um, so he says, uh, go on and do it. So he he, he sews it on, and uh, like I said, he's happy. He's brushing his teeth. He can have a pint in the pub. He's lifting a pint with it. All his mates are happy for him. Uh, it goes on for about two years. Everything's fine. Then it all starts going flaky. Oh, I knew it would. Right. Was it made of chocolate? <laughs> all right. So it all goes all like gammy, and then for some the reason, arm going gammy. it goes gammy, and it gets longer. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. So there's a picture of him, right, stood in the magazine. <laughs> he stood there with his arms by his side. Um, one arm's normal. The other one is like past his knees. <laughs> it's re he can pull his socks up without bending over. So it's is really this going to be? They gave him, they gave him the arm of an eight-year-old child who would have been the tallest man in the world. No, he just said, "Oh, what am I going to do?" And the doctor said, "Oh, there's not much we can do," and left it. <laughs> What so, is it? What, 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 wait a minute, you can't leave it there. That's not a story. Carl, what? You've got to explanation. What, what, what? Was it an incredible plastic arm? An incredible expanding arm? Did he fight crime later? No. Well, that's the end of the story. You've got no scientific explanation why, that's as to why, why, why That's why I didn't pick it. But you just told it to us anyway. Yeah, but I'm just saying the sort of knowledge I come over when I'm looking for the good knowledge. <laughs> yeah? So <laughs> why did his arm grow? Why did this arm grow? He must have had an adult arm. They couldn't have given him an arm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just why I'm. 
<laughs> it's rubbish again, it's isn't not, it? Well, well, I don't, it's an interesting story, but you it's could have read... It's not, it's rubbish, you it didn't happen. To the end. There was photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you should have read to the end of the article, Carl. No, I did. And he said, you know, he's not happy and he wishes he, he wouldn't have had it done and all that and, you know. Are you sure this wasn't entirely unexpected? No, seriously, he was saying, you know, his teeth are nice and clean again because he could brush them and that, <laughs> but his arm's getting in the way. <laughs> really. okay. Ruining what? his shirts and everything. <laughs> I'll leave that. Let's play, let's play a tune let's come back with the next one, because I love the fact that that- This is like Ronnie Corbett telling one of his jokes. That's <laughs> ironic. That wasn't even the story. He was gonna tell us. play a record. Oh, God. <laughs> That's alright, innit? Travis. Level come through. Mm -hmm. Quite like that. On XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. In the chair. We've had the, uh, we've had the answers in. It's Rockbusters. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At yeah, random. We can yep. slip into that. So, the first one was, the fella's only got one badge left. I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now? Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah. I think on. you should. That was Elastica. <laughs> yeah? E Elastica. The band Elastica. I'm right, not doesn't sure. Work, no. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is is elastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it. If if she'd have just gone, let's call it is elastica, <laughs> then we'd have yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done. We've done the obvious. Doesn't ones, work. Like, Doesn't uh, work. Miss Dynamite. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dynamite, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm gonna give you that. That work. yeah. Right, um, that's the end of that feature, until you can get ones that work. Okay, so you won't hear any more of that, because <laughs> it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I do- yeah, Sorry, harsh. do you just think of the first three things that come in your mind and make them fit? Just no, think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just- I just went through the- Rubbish. Whatever. It was rubbish. Whatever. Right, play a record. Hang on, we've got a winner. We have. Uh, actually, you say all this, Rick, but lots of people got them right. Which yeah, so- I don't know what that proves, really. I don't know if that says, you know, you're the tosser or- Or they're as stupid as Carl? One or the other. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna give it to Simon and Daisy and Hitchin. They, uh, got the right answers, and, uh, well done to them. They get the Pelican Brief and some other <laughs> treats. <laughs> Serves you right. I look forward Serves to Serves you right for understanding Carl. <laughs> Swade's new one. Obsessions. On XFM 104.9. Well, uh, I'm Ricky Jermaine's obviously Steve Merchant, Carl Pilgerson. Well, Carl, that's that's about it. And uh, we got sidetracked on the last educating Ricky. You telling me about a man whose arm grew. Well, something well, something went wrong. I'm not saying it's, it grew. Just saying. <laughs> what 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 what? The rest of him shrunk. It went long. <laughs> it went long. What is that growing? What do you mean it went long? Uh, did it grow or what? Did it come loose? <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking. Oh, so it's hanging by a thread that's made it look long. Yeah. Within the skin. It's like how you can stretch a pair of tights if something <laughs> is too heavy. Or... Arms aren't very much like tights. They so, are very so much the like one, tights. So <laughs> the one that we didn't get round to on Educating yeah. Ricky was, uh, I'll be no buying one of them. Go on. Um, are you familiar <laughs> <laughs> with okay. the, with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant. Yeah, I don't oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, what does white elephant mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I told you. Yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So how, in what way is educating Ricky you calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> well, do you, do you know how it came about? 
you've given away some of the secrets of the show there, it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. Well, he just asked me what, what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial. <laughs> did, he, is that, did he say, there's n why, why, why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is, ages ago when- So what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's- Well, some of the juice lists that's like a bit of a, you know, a, 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 a you know, something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. So, uh, <laughs> so years ago when, <laughs> when people used to use elephants Years ago, go on. <laughs> when more, people used to use elephants? Yeah, go more, on. more than they do now. Right. Um. <laughs> More than they do now. This doesn't involve a midget, does it? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so you know, they use them in the workplace and stuff. Sure. Yeah, yeah, as factories. Sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah. To move stuff Teenagers. around. And that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> security guards. Yeah. Can't trust them with the buns though. <laughs> 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 That's why they stopped using them. Oh right. God, go on. So there was loads of you know, loads of elephants knocking about, about and the thing so is, right? You couldn't move from. If you have a lot of something, uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? you a lot, lot of what? Of, you know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demic, demic. Well, you know, like they weren't, they weren't properly. They weren't. They weren't properly. They weren't <laughs> so much, Carl. Properly. What are you what, doing? Right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you, were, is they were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up? Right. Yeah, and <laughs> you Stanley Unwin, Listen. reincarnated. What, demicky? What, yeah. There was a lot of albino elephants knocking about. Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, olden Africa. times, Africa. <laughs> Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm not well, sure. It's either Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Will these elephants, do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice the size of the elephants. I noticed, what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay. Right? So, <laughs> that's why they're heading albino buying one of them. Okay. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> what would happen is people who didn't know what they were doing, like, you know, you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that. Back yeah. then when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone and say, I'm after an elephant, and the fellow would say, yeah, I've got one here for you, sure. this is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And it was all white and stuff and it had like blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right. So, this is um, great. So, yeah. uh, so a yeah. fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff oh, and we're doing the stuff. Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, what's, what's up with this? And his mate who's a bit of an expert with elephants and go, oh, where do you all that from? And he said, oh, I got it off that fella, and he goes, oh. All he this embellishing <laughs> nonsense, <laughs> he says, with the story. You shouldn't have all that. So he goes, why? And he says, it's only albino, isn't it? And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that like, good at doing work and that. You shouldn't it have steals it. from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm going to abandon it or anything okay. because ele elephants were seen as like pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way. So they said, that's where they're saying like, you know, oh, got a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> what do you reckon, well. Rick? <laughs> I, I feel, I don't, I feel like I, I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at that time in my life I can never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled and I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm angry. Sure, yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around, look at his little face. Well, what was that, all that shit about a second-hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephant Elephants. <laughs> what is it? What are they? They had blue eyes. What are you? Well, albinos have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, yeah. what? What? The I mean, what yeah. are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some w educating next week? And what about Rockbusters? Are you going to make the clues proper cryptic clues? Well, that's the teaser, isn't it? That's what we'll leave them with. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be any good next week? Yeah. Tune in and find <laughs> out on XFM 104.9. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. All right. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl. He's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing, the fight, I think it's called, and they're, they want to get a little clip of this, so that we're going to let them film for a minute and then they're going to go away. Is that all right, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't want to be on camera, do you? Do you? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? Huh? 
Joey. Well, not for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but it does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. <laughs> what you do? Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly and they'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> It is round though, isn't it? So, <laughs> guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve, mm. from MTV, and, uh, uh, wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it, and I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's trying, I'll come down with him, and I was, I was saying, what about this and that, and I was loving it, I called him, and I went, oh, no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. He said, oh, I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, cash can't, look? Can't right? wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh -huh. So, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, because that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, the, is it quite a cool woolly hat, or has it got a bubble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. It, it, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and I'll probably wear me, uh, me anorak. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's going for the. He's going, he's he's going, going for the an anorak. He's look. going for quite a grand look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no one dressed for a jumble sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, yeah. But I'm yeah. not. I'm not that happy about it. All to be honest. You, are you going to do it? You're not going to do it. Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle because throughout my life so far, <laughs> I've always just. I've never planned for anything. Mm. Right. It's just always happened. Yeah. Yeah. The time, you know what I mean, being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a storm. It was that's a yeah, we all remember that. So, yeah. well, you, I, as I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And um, then later, someone was filming at the back. Was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate, well, yeah. Yeah, and on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it. His dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I think be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> so, and so I, he gets I, I, home, I, I, watching that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. Yeah, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? Your no, dad saying sorry, that all the way. Can I just interject? Because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV. Because the problem is that, you know, let's be honest, Rick, I mean, we're we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we, really? It's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him, and, and he, he won't be ours anymore. We won't be able to control him. It'll be out there. It'll be in the public Well, that's, that's the thing. No, no, no. No, that's the thing, it, it, that's the terrible thing though, isn't it? It's like, Carl is my pet, but mm. I realise I've got to release him into, into the wild, the wild. Sort of, and you know, because I love him, I know he's got to go free, <laughs> sure, but I yeah. wanna, I it's wanna- like Kez. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kez! Maybe someone will like... beat him to death and we don't have to worry. <laughs> I, 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 I'll uh, have you on though, I'll have you on as a guest. Yeah. Which, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know, like, I've talked about ghosts and we had that good discussion the other week walking to yeah. the Circus Station, yeah, yeah, and I was telling you about ghosts and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot and all that. I uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done an little interview? Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so. With okay. a with a woman who's who's got ghosts in her house, <coughs> so uh, I look forward to uh, hearing that later. That sounds brilliant. Coming up later. Well, I'm going to play a classic tune now. I've I've just gone straight for it. I've gone for the jugular. This is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Next FM one hundred four point nine. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Carl was also nervous. We had a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His uh, his dad tuned in to the show. Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show, he just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. It used to be radio before and you never told him, did you? <laughs> it's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along to it. Was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but, but they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, my dad uh, my mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week, because, um, <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've told him he can't listen, but I hear my dad in the background kind of going, oh, Lex. <laughs> so, he might be listening. So that's extra pressure. Yeah. Plus a camera crew in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You don't <laughs> like it, do you? This is good training for MTV, because then he can watch you on TV. I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when when I was in any plays, I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, I never gave him the note. Uh, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. So then what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you got to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> So there's a parents' evening, so he went- <laughs> said one kid. He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthews said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
wrong was she? Yeah. Well, I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. <laughs> well. <laughs> ah, she'll turn on to MTV when, uh, I don't know, the, like their, their slamming session. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're going to go, that's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. <laughs> I recognise that Willie Hack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did you see <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only what TV I watched was, um, Are You Good In Bed? I already knew the answer. What was it? Do you have to have to take points? Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no! <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. Really? Is yeah. he off? What's well, on? what he did is he lost, he lost weight and they couldn't believe it and he had a big argument with Harvey and they said go, never come back to it, right? And then he got to weigh and he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And, uh, they were really, they said you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And, um, <laughs> I thought he just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but he's, he was whinging all the time. He was watching it, he was doing a press, it was going, I've hurt my arm. He was going, I feel sick. And he was going, um, and he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought, that's me with yeah, this celebrity like you. Bo- It is, it sounds because like you. it's sort of like, and they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I mean, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week, no. <laughs> Did you do the exercise? And I go, yep, yeah, I've done all that, done all that, done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Um, because you, you know that's what boxing is. Are yeah, that is being hit. Yeah, I like all the I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so willing. I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh-huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of um, like wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you good. Love, you, you look good, and you've but you've obviously just switched. But they've, 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 they've given no, no, no. They gave that's you this free, the that's training. This was free so to training. That's a perk you love. So, uh, and I know yeah. you like um, kind of the uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got. To drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since <laughs> I've been doing this training. I think it is the extra meal. And so you're adding the protein, but not. Out enough to, uh, to take it off again. Yeah, but I, th- I think I've um I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, 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 an inch on my chest, but an oh, inch off my waist. So right. even though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh-huh, uh-huh. somewhere. So I just uh, just to, to, to recap that slightly, you're 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 enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah, but not the boxing, not the getting hit in mm-hmm. the nose. Right, that's the one. And you are aware that that's what will what what will be happening during the, the actual fight. No, party. because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay, I'm gonna. Duck and dive. Just, yeah, okay. and bob and weave. Dance. Uh-huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper. Yes, I don't know how much truth there is that uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. Yeah, so I don't true. know if that's of any truth. Because I know you've got, haven't you got Berm, you've got uh, Spit the Dog. <laughs> you've got a couple of ventriloquists <laughs> <laughs> and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I've got Paul Boy from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me cheered yeah, in your corner. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's uh, well, even What's McKenna going to be doing? Is like Grant Bovey going to be turning to a chicken and. No, yeah, I mean. he's, gonna, he's gonna do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And say <laughs> if I say the right words. No, I think it's probably, he's probably gonna just help yeah, him focus it's, it's, and, yeah, and, exactly, and... Yeah, I, I think there's, there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people, so I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's valid. If it's true, I'm sure it's, uh, oh. fine. But, um, I've been, I've been, I've been getting tuned mentally learning how to hit. Yeah. That, that was my method. Eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any of the music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got um, no, a CD with all with music from the all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all. It's. Um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's uh-huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, "That's not like a fighter," and me going, "I'm not a fighter. Yeah, I'm a comedian." Yeah. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're nice people, but I'm, is it I'm like... getting used to it now. But it's 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 it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I I didn't. When like... you say to do, I mean, is it like is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind of? No, I don't no, mean, I just mean, no, is it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts and there's that feel like... Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all ex-boxers and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not no, 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 that's not, that's not, I mean, I... I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't understand, really, that I'm, I don't like getting hit on the nose, and they say, well, no one gets hit on the nose. And it took me a long time to get over that, just, just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I, I wanted to rule it out. Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now, and, and of course they're, I know they're mollycoddling me, they're not, they're yeah. using about 25% power, uh, yeah. and I'm still- And you I'm wear the headgear, do you? Oh, yeah, 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 and the gum shield, yeah. I wanted to wear a crash helmet, <laughs> right, but they yeah. said no, and carry a baseball bat, and they yeah. said that's, that's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but, um, I'm looking for, I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a, uh, Death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final question for you, Rick, do you think you'll carry on boxing after this is finished? 
competitively. No, 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 just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the training. Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you, ain't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're scared of it. And, 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 you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never act, they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in yeah. the face hurts. I just, I was walking down Finchley Road and a couple of sixth formers said, oh, you lanky gog like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop <laughs> round and have a word with them. <laughs> I will. I will. Some of your friends. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> of mine. Good. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. The ca camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, we are, yeah, who knows? Mm, who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I'll tell you what though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, know, do you know Rockbusters? I love- do I know Rockbusters? Oh. I love Rockbusters. She's, I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part, I mean she doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that, mm. but she uh, she made some up for uh, some older bands and that. Oh she, she did some herself? She made some herself, sent them in the post. So are you gonna use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. That's okay, oh, well, unlike, unlike a genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? You keep talking a second then. I'm quite excited. I mean, if they're, if they're even approaching, say, the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? Oh, that think. was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his, that, that was, was his finest best. moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from, uh, someone called Sauda, if that's a he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for, uh, glam's sake. Yeah. Um, she said she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory out the I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar, so maybe you want a little rumble later. In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, then. Um, these are ones that my mum's made up. Um, Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I give some initials out and a cryptic clue. Mm. And, and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a solo artist. Yeah. Or a solo Not artist. so much cryptic as what, what, what you're thinking. But well, go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> TP. Uh, is, there, is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. 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 Is it the something? The platters. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, alright. That's, that's, that's alright. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. This group sound like dinosaurs? T-Rex. T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group- <laughs> They're they alone. They're good. This group <laughs> likes being, uh, by the sand and the- and the sea. <laughs> This group likes me. Are they the Beach Boys? Why Beach Boys? <laughs> <laughs> this band are called the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. This band. We just have, we just uh, have a. The, the <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Um, it's oh, funny because because one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today. I thought of in the week. Right? So, is it the same clip? Uh, it was. Yeah. Wow. Well, great minds think alike. Here's so a last one. Here's a last one from her. This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. Not <laughs> 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 bad, That's good. I like that. I think, I'll tell you this, I think you should get onto one of the big game, uh, organisations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be t I mean, this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is the perfect Christmas <laughs> game? Yeah. Well, I think this is what's gonna make or break the MTV thing. Right. Nice. <laughs> Some kind of TV version. Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking into mm. ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can see America. someone coming along and taking the sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and like another night, like another game out of it and just what using the same format. What I don't you know, I know, uh, I don't know, uh, I can't think of them there, but they could change. So sort what, of like. They'd change the word rock to something else and have it. What could it be? Brick block? Yeah, and so you'd have to, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, be careful. Block, yeah. <laughs> Blockbusters will never work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay. We'll talk yeah, about the prizes we'll talk, after. A bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, educating Ricky. Yeah, we've got that. that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in her house. Yep. Yeah. It's a shame she's not here live, because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, play a record. <laughs> Rick, um, I know probably you, like me, are just too busy really to keep abreast of new music, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people, we've got, you know, important showbiz pies to go to and stuff. That's why I have friends of mine who send me compilations and stuff. That's one of my, yeah. uh, quarterly compilations from my friend Harry, and that's All Downhill From Here by Jim O'Rourke. I've got a new track coming up later, actually, that I, I think you might like. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, um, 
we're inflaming each other's desire for new <laughs> songs as well as going back to the back it's catalogue of some classics. Sure, sure. All right. <laughs> I love adverts better though. <laughs> I do. I love adverts. It's weird. <laughs> Missy Elliot on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves moves on this uh, this week. Are you yeah. having headaches? Oh, by the way. Uh, the XFM listeners came round to me house and bought the, uh, feet on the table. Did they? Were quite they happy normal. with it? Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. I mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. <laughs> no. <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean. You know, you're but, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway, anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They and were you're nice. moving now. Yeah. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle in, right? Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> He said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Uh, uh, he, said, he said, Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> and the thing is, right, we booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? So he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone. He sounded about 90. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> can't think that he's going to have to do all the work. And the, and the thing is, right? <laughs> We, well, it, it seems he to be cheap. He wanted some Werther originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, <laughs> it seems to be cheap because it's fifty pound an hour. <laughs> but how long is it going to take him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so genius. When, when's the move on then? When's he? Oh, right, he's coming right. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> 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 so, uh, oh, it, it actually wow. happens on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, oh. so, um... Bruce, I noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> doesn't bode well for the boxing match, does it? Carl, for the moment, and I, I've had my limbs hit. Anyway, what are we doing now, Carl? Well, oh. um, I teased you with it before. Mm. Um... <laughs> You're gonna get it out again. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like trying to get you, you know, thinking, opening, opening your mind right. up a bit to, to <laughs> ghosts and stuff. Yes. So, um, this woman who I know, she, uh, she said she'd come in and I could interview her to try mm. and sort of, you know, get the belief out there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I there's not I'd enough th belief in the occult and rubbish out yeah. there. So, so does she, she think she has a ghost? <coughs> she has, yeah, she's, she's, a, she's had a few. She has, no, it's back. <laughs> yeah, no, so, yeah, she has. So I thought maybe it's a new feature we could try for a couple of weeks, see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know Parkinson? Uh-huh. What about Pilkington? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Pilkington. Thank uh, you. My guest today is Taryn, she's a plugger. Uh, you still a plugger, right? No, we do co-management. Right, now. she does co-management, but she was a plugger, she looked after Therapy, Raging Speed On, Slash, all the big names, yeah? Um, but we're not here to talk about music today, we do a lot of that on XFM. Today we're talking ghosts. Now, Ricky and Steve, who I do the show with, they, uh, they're not having any of it. So, I said, well, I know someone who, uh, you know, gets on with ghosts, there's a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd get you in today, have a little chat for a couple of minutes, uh, just to sum up the story so they get an idea of what happened. Um, you had a horse, yeah? You had it in some stables. Yes. He hasn't let her speak yet. Uh, you went to, like, look after it and that, play yeah. around with it, take it for a ride and, and that. Riding. Yeah. Um, two of your mates were in the stable where your horse is. Not my stable, in the opposite but stable. In the opposite stable. And I heard them giggling and messing about and that, yeah. You heard them having a laugh. So you thought, right, what are they up to? So you go in and they're messing about with a Ouija board. Yeah. Right. So this is where you come in. Did you get involved with the Ouija board? Unfortunately, I did. Right. And what happened then, then? I was like, oh, you don't believe in this, oh, let me have a go. Right. 
and uh, ask a few questions, put our hands on, and it actually started moving. So a lot of the stuff you asked it, is that, did the things happen that yes, you asked? Yes, they did. Right? So that's scary for a start, right? We haven't even got to the ghost beat yet. So you mess about trap with that. Trap soul, yeah. I like to call it. Right, him. trap soul. So you're messing about on the Ouija board, you say, right, I've had enough of this now. Yeah. I've got all the answers I need. Yeah. You go home. I didn't like them. <laughs> you go in the house and it's a bit nippy. The house, the flat is absolutely fine. It's when I went into the bedroom. You've got to remember, it's a very, very warm, hot evening. Right. And walk into the bedroom and no, note it is cold, colder than usual. But I'm actually quite glad because it's so hot. Right, okay. Completely ignored the fact that the windows were all shut but the curtains were blowing. Didn't sleep well at all. Right. Next evening, same again. Freezing. Yeah, Wind. very, very noticeably cold. Curtains blowing. Yeah, I'm fast asleep, get woken up, the wardrobe's opening. So at this point, this is where we clear up, you're not, you're not on crack, you're not- Oh, no, never touched drugs in my entire life. You're not a drinker? Nope. Um, I will have the old glass of red wine. Yeah. Right, that, that's that's all right. They recommend that anyway. They say it's good for your heart. What started happening was as the week progressed, I also felt the bed covers at one point at night fold over, double bed, the bed covers fold over, and it was like someone was getting in the bed next to me. But you've got to remember when you're in a deep sleep, yeah. you're not quite thinking, and you're thinking, I'm losing it. I was getting more and more tired, more and more a little stressed, I'm really thinking I was having a breakdown. The final straw was when the clothes on the end of my bed that I just throw hit me. How come you were going back home that night? Because I was sceptical. In fact, six months ago I said, I, I don't want to go there, people will think I'm mad. But you know what? I don't care. Yeah. I know there's more out there. Well. Brilliant. Well, cheers for that, and uh, thanks for being a guest on uh, on Pilkington. Incisive <laughs> investigative journalism there. I like the fact that you've learned a lot from Parkinson, even stealing some of his questions, like, are you on crack? Which <laughs> yeah, I know he always yeah. asks his guests. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that when she went, I don't know, I have the occasional way, my ears went, that's alright for you. Good for your art. <laughs> that was great. It was brilliant. That is I the feel... best interview technique I've ever heard anywhere. I, I feel like there's still some questions unanswered. Yeah, it hasn't proved it to me, I'll be honest, no, Carl. It hasn't proved me the existence of, of ghosts I have to say, that I was, I was worried as soon as she got involved with the Ouija board. I yeah, 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 I was yeah, thinking, please yeah, do not get yeah, involved with that yeah, Ouija board. Yeah, 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 I was worried when said I heard some giggling from coming from the other stable. Yeah. Don't yeah. go over there. <laughs> yeah. Don't go over there. It's, uh, what, uh, questions did she ask the Ouija board? You didn't ask her that, I noticed. She didn't, she didn't want to. She didn't want to say. No. Okay. Do you think it was something like why that you did to try and confuse the computer mm. and the spirit world got really really annoyed and they yeah. got confused and they came back and started messing up her clothes. <laughs> but what, what do you think then? There's, there's what do you mean? What well, do you mean what do I think? What do you think? What, do you know what, 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 what about what? what there's, there's nothing I can answer there. There's nothing I can answer. Alright, she said- Well she... I'll just keep saying I don't believe in the existence of ghosts because of the impossibility. Right. Now when she said, I mean the interview I did for 50 minutes. You did for how long? 50 minutes. 50? Five thought, minutes? Yeah, we might use that at Christmas or something, right? <laughs> um, but the thing is- Well, that's right? the best you got out of 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 the highlights. No, I'll be honest. <laughs> MTV are not gonna call again. I'll tell you what, right? It did get a bit dark and uh, I didn't want- I didn't want that sort of stuff going out, right? Yeah. But, um, I can- I can understand the heating thing. I said, well, you know, in the full interview I was saying, you know, that could- that could be anything, could it? Heating broke or something. Mm. Mm. Now, she said the the uh, what else was she talking about? Someone got into the bed next to her. Yeah, I mean, I sort of said, well, um, you know, how did that happen? Yeah, and she couldn't explain it herself, but sure, I said, sure. but, but it did wake you up. Maybe you were mm -hmm. a little bit sort of all. Bit yeah. Although well, the only explanation I can think of, if she didn't actually see anyone, is whether it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that She's was probably got a ghost. But, getting but in what bed. about cupboards opening and shutting? See, that's. That, Again, the only explanation for that is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't think of anything else. Play a record. It's gotta be a ghost. Yeah, it is a ghost. I think you've proven it to us. Yeah. A spirit. Yeah. Street spirit? Yeah. Nice. What yeah. Else? Street spirit. Radiohead. So, turns out ghosts do exist <laughs> yeah. after all, Steve. A woman what Carl knows proved it. I've got egg on my face. Yep. 
on XFM. Instantly, Rick, I should God. just encourage you and everyone else listening. Oh, James really, Ra- I've got egg on my face. That we're going to say. Yeah, I've been eating an omelet. <laughs> James Randy, a yeah. hero of yours and a hero yeah. of mine, yeah. he's on TV this week on Horizon. I think it's maybe Thursday. Check press for details. Trying to expose the nonsense that is homeopathy. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, so, uh, I look forward to that. Do you know what that is, Carl? No, go on. Um, they've got a theory that um, if you say say you got something uh, uh, an essential oil or something or st- uh, uh, in a solution, uh, one in ten solution, and it does something to you, actually does something to you. Um, they've got this thing where they dilute it, and dilute it to so there's nothing in it. But because they're using the same water, and the 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 the, dilute, the water still has the same effect. It's sort of like it's sort of like a placebo that you know works. With, you know, that's the sort of theory of it. Mm-hmm. What time's that on? <laughs> well, I check the papers, but I think it's uh, sort of nine o'clock Thursday, something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting, though, Carl. It will be interesting, mate. Trust me. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Rick. The prizes we're giving away this Go week on, on uh, Rockbusters. We got for you, uh, David Attenborough's The Life of Mammals. I don't know, is this a new show? Is this on TV at the moment? Is this like yeah. a new thing? Uh, so that looks good. It's like a, a double VHS thing there. Um, we've also got a U2, the best of their, um, 90s videos. Uh, even better than the real things on there. Mysterious Ways, Beautiful Day, Electrical Storm, the new one. Stuff on there, that's on the video. Uh, we've also got a couple of CDs, The Smashing Pumpkins. I think this is sort of alternative uh, versions of a lot of their hits and stuff. Live yeah, versions live stuff and, and stuff like this. Johnny Cash is current album, possibly his last. Uh, we don't know, because apparently he's, he's not very well at the moment. That's uh, an uh, album of covers. Yeah, well, not all covers, some of his new stuff as well, oh, but he's done, uh, covers of things like Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode, and mm. Desperado, um, and Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the great thing about Cash is I read an amazing review where it says it's like he always makes them his own, do you know what I mean? It's like you can't even remember the old version. Well, of Desperado years, by the Eagles? By the Eagles, yeah. Uh, could I, I'd like to play that, just yeah, to hear well, that, because uh, I haven't heard that. We'll play we'll that and then give it away. These are actually good prizes, Carl. good prizes. We've also got, um, uh, including a small, um, uh, miniature three-wheel car, uh, an Only Fools and Horses video. I think this is the, uh, special that was on Christmas TV last year. So, if you're one of the, uh, the people who didn't see it, I mean, wasn't it like 22 million people yeah, watching? Ridiculous. Yeah, If you're one of the people who, you know, desperately wants to see it again, I know I do. And, 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 <laughs> and, and, and wants a small yellow car and small also wants thrown a in. Car, then, uh, then there it is. And, uh, also, another of these, um, compilations, Arbitrary Compilation Albums, the best chill-out album ever, Rick. Sure. Um, if you're a fan of the Levi's Freedom ad, I then you <laughs> the Levi's Freedom, man. Then, uh, the track that- I hate the music has. to it, though. No, 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 well, that's a shame, because <laughs> it's, it's, it's included <laughs> on here. <laughs> Rick, how much do you love the Volvo TV advert? Love it, love it. Cause that's- Hate uh, the music again, though, why? That's a shame, because oh, that's- is it, that Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Sure, sure. But there's also sure. stuff on here, there's some interesting stuff, there's Pink Floyd, there's Coldplay, there's Roy Scott, so, um, you know, it's probably worth it. I love Pink Floyd. Except the music again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're not buying whole... for me. That's a whole heap of treats. And, there, that, and, and the, the, that's the winner of Rockbusters. That's the winner of Rockbusters. Coming up after the adverts. Okay. Doves caught by the river on XFM 104.9. We're into the second hour now. This is when this award winning show really kicks into gear. The Can last you say hour. award winning? Uh, we, we haven't won them yet. I mean, it, uh, it, we will win some. Hang on, let me remind you. Uh, there are bronze in the Sony Awards. Oh, yeah, we got a bronze. We got I don't go for bronze. I don't it doesn't think count. That came, no. no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Um, uh, I'm Ricky Devane, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington, which is uh, what Heat write about, really. Uh, Carl's the main man. Think of Carl. A year ago, he was just sitting in that room going, all right, all right, I've done this. <laughs> XFM. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a music bed. Brilliant. Comes on the show, we start taking the piss out of him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People start going, oh, who's the, who's the idiot you've got in? And we go, it's Carl. And they yeah. go, we like him. He's a, he's a fool. And I go, yes, he's a fool. He's a pet <laughs> buffoon. And they go, we'll let him speak more. Right? And they're going, don't let him talk, don't let him talk. XFM, the, the fat cats. Oh. And I said, I'm a rebel and I'll do it my way. Rick, I asked, did you stick it to the man? Yeah, I yeah, my... yeah. And then MTV call up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A heat of writing about him every week. Yeah. He's just been, f- been filmed for the BBC. There's some rumours he's... he might be the new James Bond. <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah. He's got, he's, uh, he's got, is he in lovely McVitie's original digestives? Are we allowed to, uh, can I, uh, if McVitie's are listening, I love these biscuits. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, and he's got the best. <laughs> if the Spearmint <laughs> Rhino <laughs> strip clubs are listening, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> right? And he's got rockbusters to come. Yes, let's do it. I should just ask, the, the few people have asked me this, uh, and there's also an email here from Rich, people are saying they've seen some of the posters and the adverts of, uh, advertising the show, plugging the show, why isn't your, why aren't you on the posters, Carl? And it is your choice, isn't it? We did ask, uh, Carl to be involved, but Well, he, he is actually, it's he like, w- where's it. Waldo? He's actually, <laughs> is he there, he's, he's, he's in my trousers. <laughs> 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 they're, they're Carl, you don't like having your photo taken, do you? You don't want, you don't, you don't, you're not seeking the publicity. 
Yeah. I reckon you Good are secretly. Right. I don't believe you. No, are. he's right. He's totally right. He's doing it just right. But I think there's a, there's a fine line to be drawn that you know if, if you like being in you know around radio, you got a, and you, you want your own show or, or you enjoy talking and they just happen to be filming you for MTV, that's different. I think what you just avoid is going to silly celebrity bashes, having your picture taken for the sake of it. I mean, I think you're right, but I think you should do the screen test. On a serious note, I think you should do the screen test, just because it might be fun and if it's no good they won't do it and you can stop any time you want. Yeah, no well, one has I'm, to keep I'm going on telly. I just think we're gonna lose him. No, no, we won't lose him. Listen, right, I'll always be part of this. <laughs> I just worry that you're gonna get, you're gonna exhaust yourself, you're gonna be drained, you're gonna have told all your anecdotes he, on He MTV. certainly would have, uh, if you have to help the old fella upstairs with a <laughs> yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fifty pounds an hour, oh. That's well, terrible. Go on. But, so, but I'm, I'm, what I wanted to do, right, cause I don't want to embarrass myself, right? Mm. I don't want to embarrass the woman at MTV when I turn up and she thinks, oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of film this is gonna be, cause it's not cheap, I know sure. that. It's not a film either, but go on. Well. It, won't, it is cheap. Of, it is cheap. It. They're, they're, they're filming on a DV camera that they can go over. Uh, if it's no good, they won't show it to anyone. It'd be great. It, it's just what they want you. Honestly, I can just see you doing little things, just like popping up, you know, between the records and going, "All right, uh, MTV, uh, music television. Hear about the airy Chinese kids born, which is weird, isn't it? Because they're not usually airy. And it just goes <laughs> MTV. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, Carl. Okay. If I, I'll come down with you, I'll come down with you. Well, we'll see. We'll, Go on. We'll think about it, right? Go on. Um, right, Rockbusters. So, Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh, oh! Yeah. What's the initial? That's C B. C B. C B. Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. All right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's interesting. That's M. M. Right. right. That Scottish fella has made an error. Right. Okay. And, uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them? Yeah. Alright, what's the matter that's, that's G. G, I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Uh, G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. Right. Scottish it, fella. It doesn't work, it doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well. That Scottish fella's made an error, that's M, and uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M, that's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can- We've got the CDs, we've got horses, we've got mammals on VHS, we got U2, uh, we've got a couple of CDs including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Huh? See, if he was on MTV I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh, Papa Garcia, Natalie and Nusi from uh, the forthcoming album Bring Me the Head of Papa Garcia. Catchy that. Hmm. Quite retro, so a bit of a bit of Alton John and all sorts of yeah, 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 lovely. Um right, here we go. Quick clues again. And then uh, we better do uh, educating Ricky. Oh, well, this is the favourite bit of my sh the show for me now. Educating Ricky. I love it. I can't. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm well, anxious all week. Well, just quick, quickly on those clues, just in case people need to know again. Uh, stop throwing that fruit about CB. That Scottish fella's made a bit of an error. M. And uh, God, you can make loads of toast with M. That's uh, G. Oh, right. Ricky. <laughs> Gervais at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. Oh, yeah. I need some learning. I need some knowledge, Carl. Well, educate me. I might be able to help you. Go uh, on. Uh, we've got three things, as always, I give them a little uh, mm. head in to tease you uh, yeah. as to which one you want to learn first. Yeah. Uh, first one is, uh, is the tip included? <laughs> is the tip included? I like it. Um, second one, I want to come here in hindsight. Mm. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Okay. And the third one, how am I gonna have to thump you? How am I gonna have to thump you? Mmm. Okay, and you've proved to... what the internet. So, I, 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 so, I, so if I can get into the mindset of this plant, uh, is the tip included? Well, obviously, that's probably not going to be about a weight. It's going to be like, is it that, if that's someone losing the end of his knob, I assume. Um, arm are gonna have to thump ya. That's a man who lost his arm in a fight but then picked it up with the other arm and smacked him <laughs> with it. Um, what was the middle one? I want to come here in hindsight. Hindsight. 
Hind. Hind's like, site? Uh, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's someone was blinded by baked beans. Sure. So what are you going for then? Uh, I think I'd better go for, um, I'm a gonna have to thump you. Alright, well this isn't- I've been struggling again, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, searching iron low for stuff and, and some of these I had to leave till this morning. So right, because there's just not enough knowledge out in the world, is not there, that you don't on. know about? I found out about something in the week about a guy who, um, uh, was playing tug of war. This is bonus material, <laughs> he isn't it? He was playing tug of oh, war. Oh, uh, his arm came off. He's only his arm come off. Yeah, he got caught up in the rope, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't get caught up in the rope, he just was trying that hard and didn't want to lose. He kept holding But he allowed it. his arm to be pulled off? He really wanted to win. And well, the, other no. team, the, the other team pulled it and his arm come off. No. Well. I don't know who to believe. Well, uh, think about it. If he's gripping, yeah. As soon as there's tension, like this, the the arm coming out of the socket, the hand might release. I think his arm got caught up in the rope, and so it was involuntary, as opposed to him going, "Well, my arm's coming off. But I'm not going to lose this." <laughs> you might anyway, be right. That's the, that's the fact. That's a bonus. That's a bonus fact. Yeah, well, that's, that's educated uh, me. Well, a man lost his arm. <laughs> oh, interesting. Go on. Uh, um. Oh, am I gonna have to thump you? Yeah. Do you know the saying, uh, shut your face? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, funny? I've heard the well known Shakespeare, innit? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how it came about? Uh, no, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go on. It's, uh, ages ago. Oh, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, knights who wore armour. Okay. And that's, uh, am I gonna have to thump you? That's how it came about. Okay, armour. Like. Um, they, they wore all the stuff and they had the helmet and say if they're they guarding something at night, mm. stood outside a castle or something. Yeah. And it's probably going to be two of them, mm. right? So they stood there talking and that <laughs> and, uh, talking about stuff and- The future. Sort of, what, yeah, medieval what, stuff. One yeah. of them, one of them's like, oh, I wish I'd shut up, you know, I've been stood here for hours and he's going on and on. Yeah, sure. So he'd say, shut your face, meaning- Shut the guard down on your helmet. The visor. And I can't hear you then. Uh huh. So shut, shut your face. Shut your face. And that's okay. how, that's how it came about. Well, I suppose God. that's- It would be interesting if I could just rely on it as I'm not sure it's true, I yeah. know, I just never know, I can- <laughs> It needs to be cooperated. It's like, I don't know where he got it from, but anything via Carl mm. is- Precarious. Yeah, though. I mean, I feel like maybe you should give us your sources next time. You know, tell us where I you know, got it from. I'll tell you. Got it off the internet. Yeah, but where on the internet? I can't remember where that one was. I mean, I, I, I always go through like the news pages and stuff, and I. I, I this news know. should be updated because <laughs> they've only <laughs> reached the 17th century, <laughs> which is last week with people eating um, tomatoes no, off no, lead plates. Then I look at news and there was stuff about a woman who was in a shop and she, um, I don't know, some they had some workmen in, workmen in doing the shop up, and. They had some wood glue left out and she asked for some pear juice and then the guy went and thought the glue in the thing was the pear juice and she went and drank that. But that's not really news. No. So I thought, well, we're not really having anything. that. I wish you hadn't told us. There was one about- So there's some poor woman now whose ties have, tiles have fallen off because she tried to put them up with pear juice. Yeah. See, that's the, that's the danger of mixing up pear juice with toxic glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your wallpaper and your tiles and everything just yeah. fall down. Um, there's, there's also- Be careful, everyone. Be please. careful. There's something about, uh, kids having hamburgers, it makes them fat. Hamburgers. Uh, you're ju hold on. What? You, having f food with high fat yeah. content can make you put on weight? Yeah. Don't believe it. You're an idiot. What's so, the next one? Well, no, let's um, play tune. No, let's play tune. Well, you've still we'll got back. to come, you've still got- I want to come here in hindsight and you've still got is the tip included, but we've got a bit of uh Well I think we haven't played anything for a while, have we, in terms of the hip hop hooray no, feature no. that I used to uh, be so popular for. So I thought we'd just re resurrect that for one week only. He didn't pick up on that one. They did didn't, they? <laughs> they didn't really, but <laughs> <laughs> hip, let me just remind you, hip hop <laughs> hooray was where I played a hip hop track. And then I said hooray or Yeah, no well, no, I think no, no, didn't, didn't even know that. Really. Brilliant. That's brilliant. a great that's a great thing though. We could add that in, we could phase that in. Maybe at the end of the uh, song you hooray. Can, uh, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. No, I'll check it. Featuring Puff Daddy and Little Kim, that's notorious B I G notorious. Great, lovely. Carl just, uh, said to me, yeah, hey, here's something, you can't hold your breath to death. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> That's just another little lesson. <laughs> 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 oh. There's someone here who's in a really low ebb. Yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. They would commit suicide. Yeah, they yeah. They just start holding their breath and thinking, oh, oh, screw it. Well, what oh. did you learn in the week, right? I'm always doing all the educating. 
I asked you, you were talking about watching a program about jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, that'll be interesting. I'll try and find some stuff out, but I couldn't find anything that I didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> it must be difficult for you to find anything you don't already know. So what, what, what did you learn about jellyfish? I, I agreed with you by the end of it that they should be wiped off the face of the earth because they're balls of water in membrane, right, that go around stinging people to death. Huh. Let's lose them, Carl. Let's lose the jellyfish. Yeah? That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I, I was stung mm -hmm. by one, did it, you know? Oh, you got stung by yeah, one? Yeah, I yeah, was yeah, on holiday yeah. and got stung by one. Yeah. And I, d I don't understand. No, you're not. I'm not a fan of them. So yeah. that's, that's that. <laughs> oh, good. Well, <laughs> let's sort it out the jellyfish conundrum. We've <laughs> solved that particular worry. Right then, yeah. so, uh, take your pick then. I asked him his, what, if he could have any animal the other day. Did I ask him on air as well? I don't know. Off air, he said, <laughs> I've got it down to two. Right, and this was, he said, he said uh, what favourite animal we're looking at, or could I own one? And I went, you could own one. And he went, right, but could I own one, or would I have, would I have trouble? I went, Carl, you've got all the expertise, you can just have it in whatever it needs, and you go down there, he went, right, and I won't regret it and get fed up. I said, no, Carl, just what animal, if you could have any animal, what animal would you have? He went, I've got it down to two. I went, what is it? He said, either the rhino or the hippo. What's your logic? Well, uh, that's... I don't know. That that was then. I mean, ask me tomorrow. And <laughs> I might have some other favourites. Do you know what I mean? When was that? It's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> when was that? Well, you were there. Yeah, but, uh, you know. What's, what, what are they today? Quickly now. First quickly animal quickly in now. Head. Any animal I want. You could have any animal in the world. Right. Uh, from party, one that's maybe extinct. Anything you want. Right. I might have, um. I might. Just for today. Just for today. I might have a scorpion in a, in a little box. A little scorpion in a box. No. What's your What's your thinking? It's the chimp every time. It's Just the chimpanzee or the gorilla. No, but have I told you that program about the scorpion? How so they all help each other out. Right. Have Scorpions all help each other out. No, no, no. This is brilliant. Right. Somewhere in the desert. Okay. Um. There's these <laughs> little monkeys. the desert. <laughs> it's like these little monkeys that are underground or something. <laughs> And there's, there's holes. Is this beneath the planet of the apes? <laughs> <laughs> the fourth in the series. Are they talking apes? Oh, I forget it, actually. No, and you've got it wrong anyway. They're not monkeys. There's little monkeys under the goods. <laughs> they're, they're not what are they monkeys. doing then? They're, they're toiling lizards. into underground mines. They're lizards, if you remember. And the lizard goes to sleep, and the bloke comes along. You've told this. And he, and the oh, we've done it. All right. <laughs> monkey from monkey. <laughs> That's <laughs> what happens in his mind. From lizard to monkey. <laughs> oh, evolution would have been so much easier if Carl was around. Oh, right. oh, turn it into a monkey. I'm up with a lizard. Just Take promise me once again, Carl, I've asked you before, promise me you'll never have children. <laughs> go on, right, okay. Right, what are you having? Right, what's, what are they again? Is the tip included? Yeah, go on, that one. Right, in Turkey. Nice. Um, it's not, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? What do you mean? We stayed in a, we went to Turkey. <laughs> You went to Turkey um, and there yeah. some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Is it a, is it a theme? No, is it a theme just, holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it? Were they, <laughs> so they, they <laughs> were get working. Them cheaper. They were working in the kitchen and one of them fancied Suzanne mm. and kept sort of eyeing her up, mm -hmm. and she was winding me up saying, oh... Not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. No, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick, pick what you want to eat type buffy, but you have people clearing their tables and that ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. Well, what would he say, though? Was he, he, what was he, was he, was he, was he was Turkish, though, I don't know what he was saying. But he was, was, was he, was he, was, Little um, fella, yeah. Did he what do you mean, a little fella? What do you mean, little fella? Sort of dwarf-like. <laughs> what do you mean dwarf like? He had magic powers or he was four foot? No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, 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 like a normal bloke but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd yeah, be hot and best. Right, Carl. He should no, watch no, out for the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, underground. There's underground what, monkeys. Look, look, you can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what, what was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us than, and she was deaf, right, and she hit her head. That's much more I don't understand how this, ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No, do you know, you know when, it's like girls know, don't they, when, when some, someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, right, so you went into this, you went into this holiday, yeah? Yeah. Well, and you went into the, the, what, the dining room or something? Yeah, yeah downstairs. And you the looked over, well, this is all, there's no one serving. Yeah, and they go, Wait oh, a minute. hold on, you looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. Why, <laughs> though? Why? Because it was summer. 
What do you mean? Because it was in summer. Them. They had more they, of them they come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more? What, what do you mean it's expensive, isn't it? Well, they why they, why were they all midgets? I don't know, maybe it doesn't heat stunt your growth or something. No! Uh, well, they just happened to- maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something, I don't know. I just got on with my meal, it was a holiday, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> God. Right, so, 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 so midget serving, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Right, okay, yeah. So they're, they're all little fellas running around and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you, do you want a new serviette? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of- Oh, for training on oh, the yeah. charm. Yeah, yeah oh. he was going out of his way, the others weren't. <laughs> right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all the winter. <laughs> yeah. Or, or a little summer break. This, this one he was your waiter and so he was being polite to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But what did Suzanne say then? When well, she was what, using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always, oh, just like you know, look. Well, he I, may be small, but he's well built like a yeah. He's all man. So, were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it. It is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? It wouldn't bother me as much now because I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays, and it's like you, you don't know, want what, to be what's going on. Pay for this holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And, and then uh, you get off with a midget. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you got chatted up by a bearded lady. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell you what, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what what were you going to say? What were you going to say? I was going to say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. I yeah. thought you were going to say it's just one of her shortcomings. So listen, right? Play a player record. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Baddy drum boy, uh, born again. Right, just get this educating Ricky out of the way. So, Turkey, yeah. So what is this again? D this is educating Ricky is a tip included. Right. Apparently a fella was on holiday in Turkey. Um, it's just having a normal holiday. Weather's good, you know, he's having a good time. And Waiters are all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He is a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> um, they do, um... With a step ladder. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. the circumcised people in the kitchen and apparently- What are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. We were Sorry. sorry there for a minute. What are you we're talking listening. about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> he did, yeah. I started thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was, it was going on. It wasn't just a one-off either. Well, when I say a one-off, I mean they did it more than once. Yeah. Right? Um, and there was, um, he was there for a week and apparently the first night it was quiet and then the rest of the week, every day, it'd be like having his, having his breakfast or even his lunch or even his tea. Yeah. Right? He'd be doing it all day. Oh. You'd be hearing Lunch screams. and breakfast, fair enough for it. Yeah, it it. it tea time. They don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should have, you know, should have found out before you you come over. See, here. I can't believe this is Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm a little I bit lost. The, the, this he is was true. in a restaurant, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the, in the kitchen. Yeah. In the, is that right? I, 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition that Turkish people cut the ends of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this- Just in this, oh, this, this, in this hotel? Certain- certain places. <laughs> certain hotels? Certain hotels. What, is it like two star? Yeah. No, I, I don't- that, that, Why did he go to the foreskin inn? <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so, that- that's- Sorry, that- that's it, is it? Have they closed- Sorry, sorry no, wait, 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 that's the story. You, you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some <laughs> Turkish people cutting the tip with their- No, I'm off in the kitchen. Thanks very much. Well, Thanks very much, Carl. Got any more? Well, well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. Carl, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. oh, oh. you've done it again. Well. You too. I love that one. On XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl. Okay, Carl, one more. Can we just- Don't get the ump, but just because so far you've come up with nothing. What's the la last one? Give us the teaser clue again. It was, um, I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Right, yeah, give me some education. This will be the thing that teaches me something. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Uh, there's a kid in Kenya. Uh, -huh. uh he was messing about with some beans. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. That's we what... guessed that as well. You did, yeah. <laughs> Um, he's fed up because we've guessed his puns, I think. He put one of them in his ear. Yeah. Um, 
the mum or the dad said, uh, oh, what have you done that for or whatever. Yeah. Um, so they'll have to take you to the doctors now. So they took the kid to the doctors and the doctor said, oh, he said, I can get that out, I can sort that out for you. So, um, he took it out and the doctor said, right, that's, uh, that's £3.50. <laughs> <laughs> and the dad said, I've only got 2 70 on me. And the doctor said, right, well, and put, he put the bean back in his, his kid's ear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, a couple of questions from me, very quickly. Are you sure that those were definitely the sums involved, were they? <laughs> well, the equivalent of right. whatever, whatever they deal with in, in Kenya. Yeah. It was the equivalent of, oh, you know. Oh, so, 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 you, so what currency was it, Carl, that you, you translated into sterling? <laughs> I don't know. No, it, no, it was saying in in the thing. It said the equil equivalent oh, of three pound fifteen. Two pound ten. Did yeah. it say that? Yeah. Sorry. Did it like, say that? Yeah. Did it, Carl, look at me. Look at me. Did it say that? Yeah. He said. He said that's that. That was the. Uh, did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it, it, it definitely said that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like I suppose. I don't know. I mean, all these things. The idea is, it's not like a lesson. It's like. I'll tell you this, see what you can get from it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, so you look at what I've told you already, the, the yeah. knights who said shut your face, that's yeah, like- that's, that's amazing. That explains itself. Yeah. Um, turkey with the circumcisions in a restaurant. Yeah. yeah that that hold me in good stead, yeah, go Don't, on. don't go there or whatever. Yeah. This one, um, if you're in Kenya, you don't put beans in your ears or something. I <laughs> doctors Or like, carry three pounds fifty or the equivalent I mean, of. I, it's just the idea that the doctor put it back in his ear. He, yeah, he forced it back in his ear. So is it still there to this day? I mean, is there any update on that? Story? Or did he go back with the three fifty? I presume he either went and got a, like a second opinion, see if he could get it cheaper, right, for another doctor. Yeah. Or he said, right, I'll come back next week. Yeah. After I've been paid. Or he saw how the doctor did it and thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Sure. I'll get home. Yeah, for free. But he never said what it, how it ended. No. No. But, I mean, I, I, I apologise for this week's, I mean, I, I, I haven't got that much out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not being rich. Oh. Um, he was very, very light. Like I said, there was the, the tug of war, there was a fella in Scotland who had a load of tattoos. Okay. Is that it? Is uh, that the end of the story? Uh, 98% covered. Right. Just between his toes, he didn't have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why not? Because it looks stupid. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just said it just said ninety eight percent um, done. Um, yeah. What else? Are you, gonna, are you gonna drop the feature? Are you worried? I'm thinking about it. Don't to, drop the feature. To be honest with you, he had probably written about this already. This has been a classic. I, I'm con I'm concerned because it's my favourite part of the show. I'm wondering if, is there something else we could? Is it, what could we do to help you out? Because I just I hate to see it go. Well, we can't really. And he's moving this week with the old fella, so that takes him about true. four days. I'm worried that you're not. I'm worried you're not looking in the right. Why don't you go to a library? Mm. Quick question for you, Carl. Who is a possible guest on next week's Pilkington? Uh, what are you going to investigate? I mean, what about your removals, oh, man? Right, listen. If you if you've had a, a, a experience, it can be anything, right? It doesn't have to be you've seen a ghost. It can be that you've you, you know you think you're going to live forever, or you can you know do so. Any mentalist out there, if you if you're slightly you know wrong. If there's something wrong with you, just um, email, email Carl. Carl. Is it Carl dot Pilkington at XFM dot co uk? Yeah. Carl dot Pilkington at XFM dot co dot uk. Would you like to be interviewed on yeah. next week's edition yeah. of Pilkington? If you are a mental of any description, just lonely, bewildered, stupid, just something wrong with you. Right, and you've seen something that's, you know, interesting to you but absolute bollocks, then <laughs> please call Carl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl Dot Pilkington. Don't let that put you off, by the way. Don't make me think, oh, they're gonna take the piss out of me. Just if, you know, in any way, if it's, you know, uh, fodder for us, then call up, because Carl will like you, you'll be friends with Carl, mm -hmm. won't you? Yeah, Quick, yeah. the clues, what's the answers? We always do this, we're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers for sure. Rockbusters. A lot oh. of great prizes. Alright, um, we'll have a bit of, uh, cash. Yeah. Yeah. cash. One of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rockbusters. And, uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was stop throwing that fruit about. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer is. C B. That was Chuck Berry. 
<laughs> of course it is. Okay, All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The, yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Gorillas. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, innit? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fella's made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in. I'm really, I'm going to think it's us then, it's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake. I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake, and but mistake. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there, probably as weird as you. Yeah. So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe, uh, via some kind of- We must, well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London, cos all these are from Norwich and- yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? <laughs> Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know, cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's working- little world. No, he's working- uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's coming- So is that this week? Could, is it- can it be arranged for this week? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll sort it out. Well, I'm busy so. this week, I'm moving. Of course. So yeah. let's- let's talk about that. Well, um, and you can do- you can do an edition of Cribs. <laughs> Well, you, like, they get rock stars to show them around their- Oh, we're done. Home. We're done now. It's uh, finished. Sorry, was I boring you? What day right, are you moving? It's been pretty bad today. Moving? It's been pretty bad. What are you talking about? Oh, no, pretty, I know. I was talking and you just went anyway. Well, uh, we're still on air. You know we, we're still on air. We're out of time now. We haven't run out of time. It's six minutes to. I know, but we've got to finish now. Why? Because we've- we always do this. What, 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 what? Why are you getting stressed, Carl? Don't get- you do not cut me off when I'm talking. Whatever you do. Can I just remind you, Carl, it is Ricky's show. Yeah. I know, I know, but as the producer- Ooh, you've well, changed, go on, Carl. Go on, go on. As the producer, I've got to press this button. Why, though? At six minutes to! Tell me why, tell me why. Because that's when it finishes. What, we've we finish- We've got to clear net for the next- Oh, the football, poster it says football. one to three, it, says, it doesn't say one to two fifty-five. Right. You t- you- Carl, you press that button on. Hey! Oh yeah, the smooth indie sound of Richard Ashcroft, the science of silence on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, joined me is Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. It was an excellent link, that, Rick. Did you say nime at one point? 104.nime? <laughs> Did <laughs> I? Other than that, it was Again, I, I, yeah, a desperate attempt to be inarticulate. Sure. But let myself down. With your See, this is the good thing about the boxing thing, because, uh, uh, there's no chance of me you know, uh, slurring the words. Oh, no, right. no, I already slurred my words. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no one, <laughs> any damage will yeah. be totally fine. Yeah. Oh, The dear. doctor's rushing in, I think there yeah. might be some kind of concussion. <laughs> <laughs> James just going, no, that's just the way he talks wrong. <laughs> but, um, oh. but, uh, cause I'm thinking maybe, did you start the show with, with that particular kind of, uh, manner? Just cause obviously a lot of new listeners, I imagine, thanks to the massive poster campaign. And you obviously want to impress them. That's, that's and the, that, there's, there, there's a few examples today of irony coming back and biting you. Yeah. That, that seemed like a funny idea at the time, me posing that up. But, um, Jonathan Ross phoned me up when they first went up and he said, I've just seen a big poster of a predatory gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You do look a little bit, uh, yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> what's your name? Yeah. Do I like to sit down here? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in the background. And also, uh, it, the, the, I think the funny thing about having you as a partner, I mean, the only good thing is that, y y you know, you look, you look weird and tall, like too freakishly tall and lanky. Oh, yeah, yeah, but in yeah. that one, no, because your background and you're smiling, you don't look as weird as you do in real life or as as freakishly tall. So it sort of ruins it a little bit for me. Look at, look is at that Look, 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 look. Pilkington, what are you He's doing? not listening, he's just opening a, a packet, what are they? McVitties? Mc, see, uh, see, we should mention them, we get some free ones, if anyone at McVitties are listening. Cos we're not getting the perks of this. Nothing, I, I tell you, I'm not getting anything. I really got in this game for, uh, the ladies, for the money. For the voiceover work, so yeah. you know, I'm seeing hide the hair of that. But um, you're not getting the voiceover work because Jethro, the Jethro's <laughs> getting all the parts right, that you yeah, might get. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, Rick. Yeah, you were the voice of what? The drink driving campaign. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like you sound like a man who was run over in a drink drive accident. <laughs> oh, I mean, dear. it's like you don't. Did I get any money for that? You did drink I? Oh, did I? I can't remember. 
yeah. it's like, I mean, talk I about don't drive, yeah. Well, that's good, I don't drive. Pot, black, no, it said don't drink and drive, so I've chosen just to drink. But at least drink. I can formulate sentences using the English language, and I'm not getting the voice over work. What's it, what, but yeah, what's the, English, the English language of the 14th century. Well, it's oh. better, better at any <laughs> English language, <laughs> and English language. <laughs> Rather than whatever kind of Middle England language you speak, the language of the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carl. Right. See, so you're it's eating a biscuit. biscuit. I can't believe it. Are you bored with this already? Do you know what? MTV called me last week. They called me again yesterday and said, when can they come down to do a- Oh, they're coming down next Saturday, by the way, to do a little screen test for you. They're gonna sort of just film you with a little camcorder. You said this. They're gonna film you. Are you right? Do you want to- I mean, are you hungry? Do you want to go out and have a meal? I can't believe you're eating while I'm on air. No one can hear that. Do you know who I am? No one can hear Explain that. Explain who I am. Well, that's Ricky Gervais, right? He's made his name on TV. Yeah. Okay, he's done <laughs> an, any number of corporate gigs, <laughs> which- and they pay silly money. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, this guy's earning, you know, and really, uh, earning beyond his talent. <laughs> yeah. All right? So, so I, I mean, think I deserve you know, a little bit more than a little mank eating a biscuit while Rick, I'm talking. Rick, Rick Gervais? <laughs> yeah. Have you won a BAFTA? Yeah, too. All right, so, yeah, yeah. just yeah. a little bit of respect. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, well, what uh, have you won? What have you won? I, I got a, uh, I got a, got a bronze certificate for doing a full week at school. <laughs> That's great. It was it? only a bronze. <laughs> What's that then? Three out of five days? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I got me a little Crusaders badge, if you, if you remember. What's the little the what? Crusaders badge? A Crusaders badge for the religious club. So... Oh, is that the fellow that you went and played? You had to go and bumble, so they wanted to you. talk to you about God. Yeah. Yeah. You got a Crusaders badge, did you? Yeah, that's oh, why I went. That's why I joined. That's why I joined. For the I like, I like the little badge. Did yeah. four weeks and then packed it in. Uh -huh. But, uh, we're talking about MTV, right? And I was feeling a bit nervous, wasn't I? About... <laughs> about, like, you know, the way I look. Right. And what have you. And then I watched a bit of Celebrity Big Brother, and all the fuss that Mark Owen's getting, and he's not... he's not that good looking, is he? He's, he's very- I, I like- I want to be Mark Owen's mate. If anyone who knows Mark Owen or Mark Owen's listening, I want to be his mate. Yeah, I yeah. think he's brilliant. I think he's a nice lad, but what I'm saying is, right, all the girls go mad over him. Yeah. And he's not- he's not that good looking, is he? Well, no, he, he's got a- he is in a certain way, isn't he? That sort of, uh, non-threatening, sort yeah, of- Yeah, but he's not- he's not stunning, is he? Do you well, know what I mean? No, but it, no. Well, what's your definition of a star? Yeah. Who well, do you like? Someone who you look at and you go, God, they're, they're good. Which bloke? Who? Who? who, who, no, who no, what bloke do you think's attractive so, then? So if I was into men. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you can you can still say a bloke's a good looker without yeah, 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 like fancying yeah, yeah, yeah. him. Who, who do you think you is know attractive? Know I mean? uh, Probably. Uh, oh. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. No, well, no, just, 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 just looks. Just, just looks. Just, 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 just looks as well. Of course, well, yeah. Who would you say was attractive? Who would you say was like stunning in your definition? A good looking lad. Yeah. Good looking lad. Oh, look at him over there. He's. Uh. Ooh. Do you find, you know, Robbie Williams, do you find him a friend? No, the boy next door, look. No, no. Who do you. Carl, hurry up, because it's, you know, we've only got two hours. Probably. Uh, do you know? I, I, I can't think of one I found. Mark Owen is is pretty good looking then, <laughs> really. Uh, what? There's not just name one bloke that you think's an attractive guy. There must be one bloke that you've either met or that you've you know seen in a pub Who's or on a poster. Attractive? Tell you what. Go on. Tell you what. Um, works here. Um, young Alex Zane. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. That's, that's like, um, a ride song or something. Mm -hmm. That's my favourite one. Ride-ish. Ride-ish. So, Feeder. Yeah. Just the way I'm feeding. On XFM 104.9. Rick, quick question for Go you. On. I'm thinking, um, a lot of people may- maybe are tuning in for the first time because of the advertising campaign. Sure. Should we reintroduce Carl again? I, w I know we've done this a few times in the past, but just worry that people are gonna not, you know, not really kind of get the measure of him. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, we're still, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, I'm the one off the office. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Merchant, he's not the one in the office, he's not- he's not Gareth, some people think he is, he's got a funny, weird West Country accent right. that actually Mackenzie was affecting uh -huh. for the role. Steve uh, wrote it with me, he's a tall, um, lanky fella. Uh, Carl is our- um, sort of, I say producer, but he's the one that pressed the buttons because well, I was too- body. Yeah, but I mean, it was just because I was too big to run the desk. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I used to have to <laughs> do. Literally too big, you could- <laughs> <be like that. laughs> Yeah, and then we discovered that, you know, he looked a bit like a boring, sort of, all right, yeah, uh, but then when we sort of, you know, poked him with a stick, mm. he came up with, um, 
uh, he doesn't realise, but some of the, the I think, some well, of the funniest things. things yeah. Like yeah. Um, say hello, Carl. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, classics, I think, so far, it's, that have gone straight to the list include, have you ever used a wife front correctly? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, you never see an old person- Eating a Twix. Eating a Twix. No. These are sort of things. Uh, it, he's, he's things. back on his campaign to get rid of jellyfish. Why is that, Carl? Oh, did you see the paper yesterday? Go on. There's a jellyfish, uh -huh. right? It's about 15 foot long, about right. five foot wide, uh -huh. and uh, there's a fella swimming next to it, and the paper's going, oh, look at this we've found, there's loads of them in Japan. Yeah. Um, and it's because the, the, uh, the water's getting hot. So it's making jellyfish really big. <laughs> oh dear. How's the campaign going to get jellyfish rid, you know, get rid of them? What was your point about jellyfish? There's no, they don't do anything? There's no point. They get in the so way. Yeah. It ruined me already. Uh huh. Cause I got stung by one. Yeah. Um, and I, I But you yeah. think the same thing about Liverpudlians? And we can't just go around, you know, wiping out things that ruin well, your holiday. Well let's get the jellyfish first. <laughs> And then, uh, then, we'll, then yeah. we'll move on to the scousers. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they do, and I'm still, I, I mean, I'm trying to look on the internet, I've been busy this week. You're uh, jellyfish now, not scousers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you don't know what they do. I don't internet. know what they do either. Just <laughs> sort of yeah. Try and work out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work, because they say like it's what? no- What? Whoa! 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 See, there is, this is what we're talking about. This, but people who listen to the first time, they've got to listen to every word you say. You want to find out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work? If, if, if jellyfish weren't in there, do you know what I mean? Cause right. stuff like coral, apparently the sea would be in a right state if you didn't have any coral yeah, right. in it. Um, f if fish, yeah. do you know what I mean? I always worry about how many fish we're, we're sort of eating. Cause you go past- <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> no, you, do you know like, you go in Marks and Spencers or Selfridges- There's loads of fish in there. And there's, there's really fancy stuff that you think, they've killed that and yeah. it looks good on the counter, pretty impressive. Yeah. But is anyone gonna buy it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a big, like, a shark sat in ice. Yeah. And you go, yeah, they've got, they've got like a lot of fish. For you sure you go around the, the Tate Gallery? What, no, what, do you know what I mean? In, uh, well, in I've, I've never and, seen a big shark sat yeah. in ice in Selfridges. They do. They do it. And it's like, you go in the morning and you can go back at night and the same shark sat there. Yeah. And it's, it's- so You know it's the same shark, do It's you? the same one. So, 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 what, same face? Are you sure wow. he just hasn't lost his mum? And he's just like, he Look. went shopping with her Christmas shopping and he's just like, he's stranded, he doesn't know where he's just waiting. You, you know I'm right. <laughs> I've never seen a shark in Selfridges. Well, alright then, say maybe that's one day a week, but on other days they'll have like... <laughs> shark okay. Monday. I think, Monday, yeah, yeah. Selfridges. Today at Selfridges is Shark Monday. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just that... So your point is that there's all these fish not being eaten. Yeah. So and they're, they're being take, killed. They're taking them out of the sea, no one's eating them. And you're worried, what, that the sea's gonna rise because the more things you take out? Well, we're just gonna run out. Because they're, because they're, because fish drink it, don't they, and that keeps the yeah. water level down. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. well, you know, you know what I mean, uh, there's stuff, there's was stuff that worries said, me. You're worried that, was it you who said that you were worried that, cause, you know, there's sponge in the sea. Yeah. But if they took it all away. No. Like, was it, is that that's, him? That's a Stephen Wright joke. Is that Stephen Wright? What yeah. was the joke? And the sponges grow in the sea. That kills me. How deep would it be if they did <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he confused you yeah. with Stephen Wright. Mm. Who, who for a living purposely says ridiculous things. Yeah. Does that worry you, Carl? Uh. <laughs> well, think about that and play a record. What oh, do you want? What do you want? I'd love to, a classic, a beautiful song by Simon and Garfunkel, April Come She Will. April Come She Will, Simon and Garfunkel. That was in the days when they kept songs short. Short and so sweet. sweet. What do you think of that, Carl? As a yeah, track? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you like that, yeah, do you? It's a good one, yeah. Yeah, excellent. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, that, that's, um, that's Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington for you. Coming up on the show, we've got Educating Ricky. I'm not happy with this. Oh, really? Because the, the last few weeks have been genius. <laughs> what, it's, it, what, it's a drop in quality, is there, of the education of me? Well, it's, it's just, like I said, I've wasted a lot of time this week searching on the web, right? Um, you wasted a lot of time searching on the web because you come up with things that aren't true. Why don't you look in books and verified sort of like journals? The web is that... the new book though, isn't it? No. It the is, web the is the new book. <laughs> That's what you're going on. Yeah. Well, so I've been searching, there's hardly anything. I spoke to you in the week. Um, yeah. Um, about Monday or Tuesday. What did you say? Two there's days. nothing happened this week in the world. There's apart nothing from... going on. There was a new car wash that you can put dogs in. <laughs> <laughs> there was a car wash you can put dogs in. That's the only thing that's happened in the world. <laughs> and that and the jellyfish. <laughs> and we've covered that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, yeah, we've, we've, I've managed to find some bits, but it's not that good. Um, okay. Rockbusters. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, we, we've really, really G'd up, so that's coming up, the thing that's not that good. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Can you just quickly tell us about the car wash with the dog in it? Well, that, I don't know what's That didn't make the top I three. Did, I, didn't, I didn't waste that much time on it, to be honest. What did it, it say? Said, it just said, um, you know, how busy are you? Uh, have you got a dog? Um, <coughs> how about saving some time? There's some car wash out. Um, but it's, it's not a car wash, it's dog wash. Um, you take it down there, put your coin in, put your dog in, and it comes out clean. See, there's nothing in is it. Is this is this called a bath? Isn't it? No, but it's like a machine. Right. There's a machine, but but we'll you know that's why I didn't pick it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got we've got some uh, events coming up. Uh, Rockbusters. Yeah. Um, Rick, can I just, uh, can I just explain some of the prizes we've got here yeah. for Rockbusters? Because I just want you to try and picture, if you would, the kind of XFM listener <laughs> who'd particularly want this I'm collection, this collection of, 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 of <laughs> gifts. You've got the, um, the best chill out album ever. This is yeah. the one, as I said before, that's largely made up of songs you may have heard in adverts. Sure. So sure. you've got the, um, the Volvo advert on there. Yeah. And even the T Mobile TV. T Mobile. Brilliant. That's on there. So, um, that's a really good So look forward to that. Um, yeah, again, just just imagine which XFM listener is particularly looking forward to Top of the Morning with Terry Wogan. <laughs> His uh, two disc set there. You've got, uh, uh, it starts with, um, <laughs> we've got the bangles on there. We've got Billy Joel, River of Dreams, uh, Shine On by Mr. Christa Burr. So, um, so yeah, good. just look forward to that. Um, <coughs> oh dear. We've got the uh, Only Fools and Horses last year's Christmas special. We, we gave one of those away last year, uh, yeah. last week, but, uh, still more to uh, shift. Is the, is the, do I spy a little free Yes, it's a little free three wheel trotter independent trading, uh, oh. three wheel cars, so that's there as well. So, um, as I say, if you, if you, if you like fairly, uh, and mediocre little, comedy. Little, little, little Jonathan Ross's face there. Yeah, on the back. Oh. And, uh, maybe you also want, uh, Jerry Halliwell's Body Yoga DVD, Rick, so. Sure. Well, that is yeah, well, well that's good quality. And then just a few token, uh, XFM kind of things. We've got, uh, the Manic Street Preachers DVD and, uh, the U2 best of. And, uh, tell me, Steve, how do, uh, the lucky winner, uh, listeners win these? Rick, I'm glad you've asked. What they do is they email in with the answers to Rockbusters, which is a quiz that Hold on, man. Hold on, man. How do they email if we don't know the email address? Rick, again, thanks for asking. Thanks for flagging that up. Um, ricky.gervais hmm. at xfm.co.uk. That'll be coming up shortly. Um, try and get into the mindset of Carl Pilkington. A lot of yeah. people have been trying to email in answers, trying to think through kind of logically, sure. or maybe based on the rules that they've picked up over the or years. Or when he says it in a cryptic clue, they believed him. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you've just got to think more like <laughs> a mentalist right. to try and get uh, First of all, right, the prize is that I source every week. Explain yourself. Um, what I said to you we're doing between now and Christmas, because this is just a few weeks till Christmas. Right. I thought I'd make up the sort of family packs. Okay. That, mm -hmm. um, the winner can have something, say like, um, there's a nice U2 album in there, right? Yep. So the winner might want to keep that, but they can get rid of the Jerry yoga thing. They can give Only Falls Nurses to Uncle. To the dad. To the right. dad, yeah. The the the, I think the mum would love the Terry Wogan. Yeah. The thing. yoga for the sister. Right. Yeah. And all that. So is that, is that, that's, that's what you, you thought through, was it, or, or was it that there was a load of junk in the office? Did, or did you scoop them up with two arms and it's as much as you could carry down the corridor? Yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. But, yeah. but okay. that's, that's me, uh, that's me workings on why you've got all that. Okay. Brilliant. That's it's excellent. Lot of sense, yeah. Um, that, that's coming up. Um, well, and me, and me, me mum sent some more. What we also needed there is a... He's got a little, he's got a letter from his mum. My mum did some more rock busters for us. I reckon, I, I reckon they're secretly listening, Carl. They've said they're not listening, but I reckon they are. Does well, that worry you? Well, let's play a record and let's hear, uh, let's hear your mum's rock busters. Better Warren G. Oh, oh, oh well done, well done. Regulators. I hope Nate's involved. Nate yeah. yeah. I hope so, I hope so. But you can't be in Nirvana. You know you're right on XFM 104.9. I had to uh, meet the uh, doctor for the for this fight thing uh, in the week, and uh, uh, it's the one who's off um, um, Big Brother. Oh, no, psychiatrist. Like, yeah, and um, but she's a medical doctor, and she's sort of um, you know, uh, big in the in the boxing sort of world as well. And um, one of the tests, I had to do a punch test, the other test I had to do was to get in the bod pod. You really? Know, the same as, as Fat Swallow? Yeah, yeah. And, and he it, wiped it down since he's been Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was a little bit nervous. And uh, So I what does this do? What exactly does it do? The what it does, it, it, it uh, you do a, um, uh, a displacement sort of calibration with a, a known volume. All right, just bear in mind that Carl's listening, so if you want okay. to explain that in. What it does, Carl, is it works out your density. Okay, right. again, through, again. Through, through, through displacement, it knows how much your, what your volume is for the air displaced, right, in this, in this thing, and, um... In layman's terms, what does it tell you? Uh, would it, would it, it work? It, it tells you, well, it, it know, well, it knows, 
it knows what muscle weighs, it knows what fat weighs, it knows your average density of your, your, your skeleton, uh, what height you are there. So it works out from your volume and your density, um, it can work out, therefore, probably what percentage of that is muscle, fat, bone, etc. What, um, what if you put in one of those, um... Oh, God. No, go on then. No, go on, what were you gonna ask? What, Just what, think of what would he do if you put in one of those pug dogs? What do you mean? What would it do? What, like on Ricky's lap? <laughs> no. Or what do, you mean? do you know those dogs that are all wrinkling? They've got too much skin for the skeleton. Yeah. And it's all yeah. like caving in and folding over. Yeah. Would the machine go? Well, we know what you are, so it's all right. Or would it say, "Oh, what's going like on here?" Computer, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like last week when you were laughing why do you at me want about- a, Why do you want to confuse machines? Do you remember when he put in Y to a computer it's search engine to try computer. and confuse it? I love the fact- I want, I, the, thought, I want the computer to come back, why not, and your head explode. I mean, I love the idea that you're trying to- what, what, I mean, it, it- It's better than what I thought you were gonna say, which is, what if you put a fly in there? <laughs> well, I, I, you I worry about that, that man. I said don't get a fly in, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway- So anyway, what percentage of you is muscle and what percentage of you is fat? Um, I'm, uh, I'm 25% fat. 25% fat? Yeah. Now what's ri- ri- and what, mo- most, like, and most of me is muscle. Um, because bones don't see that. Rick Waller was 60% fat, which I've looked into it and apparently is exactly the same as a pork scratching. Wow, that's extraordinary. So he is, he is yeah. the qu- equivalent of a 30 living, stone yeah, a pork, giant pork scratching. scratching. Yeah. So, um, so is 20% fat, is that good or bad? No, 20%'s alright, 25's over. Right. I, I, um, uh, men, healthy, Fit, lean men, um, uh, about eight, 18, 20. Um, right, I'm 25. So you're a healthy, fit, no, lean man? No, no, 18, 20, I'm 25. Oh, you're 25? Yeah, right, yeah, right, so right. I'm, I'm 5%, yeah. um, over. And a boxer, uh-huh. a boxer that, that is in peak, you know, with that, basically, you, you've seen the ones, they just look, you know, like Bruce Lee. Yeah. They're 8%, 8% fat. Well. So, uh, is that I mean, good for you? Um, well, I don't think it's that bad for you. I mean, you know, you, you need a bit of fat. Bruce, Bruce, like, uh, Bruce Lee supposedly, uh, I mean, there's many rumours, I'm sure you're fascinated by them, Carl, conspiracy theories surrounding Bruce Lee's death. Yeah. One of which is that he, his body was, it's at the peak of physical perfection. He had an aspirin because of a headache and it reacted with his, because yeah. uh, just the impurities in the aspirin killed him. Yeah. Yeah, you're I love, uh, yeah, because uh, it, it's sort of like quite interesting and a bit weird. Yeah. It'll have yes, that. that's fact. It'll have, yeah. Well, are you aware that. of the fact that supposedly he actually cheated death, he actually faked his own death so he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police. Are you yeah. aware of that? Yeah. 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 Do you believe that as well? Not so, sh- not so convinced. I don't know. Do you believe he could kill a man by putting all his energy into a trembling hand and touching him and every blood vessel burst? Well, it's just uh, another form of trickery, isn't it? I mean, you met up with, uh, <laughs> with Darren, didn't you? Old, uh, met up with Darren Brown, yeah. Darren Brown. Yeah, he's yeah. incredible. Yeah, he's probably the Britain's best illusionist, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah. yeah we'll you can put that on a poster if you want. I'll tell you yeah. what, though, right? What? Changing the subject a bit. Go we're on. talking about a fly getting in that pod. Yeah. yeah. Um, read in the week when I was searching for stuff to educate, you know, the educate Ricky section. Yeah. Which we will be Do ditching. you want to answer that phone because it's annoying me? <sighs> who's phoning? I don't I'm know, the, it's obviously someone who doesn't know that you're talking at the moment, so leave it. Let It could be, it could be, um... Leave it. Uh, it could be the head Just of... Leave it. Yeah, go on. Could be um, the head of XFM. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared. No, no, no. We must no, I won't be embarrassing him. I air going, don't call me when I'm working. Nice. We're up. Yeah. 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 Tie her shoelaces up and stuff because because right. her, her legs are too long for her back and all that. Flies, scientists can't work out how they fly. It's a bee. It's a bee. It's a bee, not a fly. No, a fly as well. No. A fly is it, apparently its body is like too big for its wings, yeah. and um, they still can't work it out. Yeah. How, how which, flies. which, which yeah. in your mind says what? Something spooky. They, 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 they have worked it out. They, they, it's it's the fact that what they do the 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 wing actually beats a ridiculous uh, about 150 times a second, so it displaces air. Yeah. yeah. So, so they have. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's it's incredible that it can fly because it's got such small wings. Yeah. 
All right. That okay. is a B, not a fly. So, yeah, but other than that, good point. Is that a Bowie? Ah, <laughs> uh, another classic. Be My Wife off the Low album, David Bowie. David Bowie. It's cracker. Be My Wife off a Low. Very good indeed. Yeah. Rick, I, you know my frustration with the homeless? Yeah. You know they wind me up. <laughs> Walking through Soho last night, I saw a homeless fella <laughs> reading a book. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, if he's got the wherewithal to read a book, yeah. right, he's obviously, you know, he, he wants to keep himself occupied, his mind occupied, his mind educated. Yeah. My point is, why not, instead of reading a book, have a quick look through the job vacancies section of the Evening Standard, or maybe just take the time to fill in some kind of application form for, you know, maybe, you know, uh, so a you're, job you're or something like that. you're confusing there was the, is, no, the, no, 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 no. is the ability to read with the ability to house yourself. Well, no, because what I'm saying is, it seems to me, he's obviously got a certain, you know, grasp psychologically of, you know, his where They're he's not got mental, like, people who haven't got well, houses. a lot of them are, Rick. I well, see them dancing them and shouting and screaming, you know, and pissing in doorways and stuff. Yeah, yeah again, crazy. you're confusing the homelessness with trampiness. Well, again, you know, Some Rick, people just have left home and they haven't got a- Gervais, I'm not a sociologist. No. Sorry if I can't spot all the clever distinctions that yeah. a trained expert such as yourself can. Well, all I know is, there was a fella reading a book. Well, you know, you know the ones that have got beards right. and sing little tunes and they they're smell of piss. They're my favourite. Right. They are brilliant. Yeah, they and they, funny. they're drinking special brew. Yeah. First thing one. That's an alcoholic okay. tramp, yeah, right? They are, they are, you know the ones funny. that sit with a dog or sell big issue? Mm -hmm. They just, they just haven't got their own place. Right. Do you see? Okay. Well, okay. again, I mean, there's a, cause I, it is tricky finding a place, I know, cause I had to move out recently, and it's a nightmare, I had to get, like, estate agents on it, and I had to go and see a load of places, sure. and I was doing a job as well, you know, I still managed to fit it in. This guy's just lounging around on the street, yeah. so I'm surprised he, he can't find, find loads, loads of places to live. I'm surprised he can't find the time to visit a couple of different residences. Yeah. Cause there's some pretty cheap ones, you know, if you go kind of a bit farther out of London. Maybe it's cause he wants to live in the Soho area, and frankly, I it's expensive. What I'm confused about is the number of homeless people that recognise me and say they enjoy the office. Mm. They've got to be watching it through Dixon's window. I think that's probably the demographic that's sort of hung over from some of your previous TV work. The 11 o'clock show? Yeah, you know, or the, stuff like that. The or, ones or that used to set fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tramps and the French for me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. 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 Some yeah, of the weirdo sure. Or maybe sort of people who watched, you know, have watched the show and then have fallen on hard times since then, I don't know. And this is not necessarily linked. I'm no, not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. Carl's lost. Carl's lost in this conversation. Carl, are we boring you then? No, no, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a bit tight, isn't it? What? Because it's like, I, I sometimes think it could have been me when I, when I see homeless people and that, yeah. I just think, you know, I nearly killed a man once. It could have totally changed my life. So, whoa, 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 you want to, whoa, yeah, you want to slow down there. Just want to back up for a second. Just back what? up for a second. No, you like, like, like that time when I was in Wales, right, and I picked up a big piece of slate and chucked it off the cliff. Oh, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. And it nearly hit a fella. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, in that split second, if he would have decided to sort of go and pick up a shell that was close to the sea, <laughs> it, it, it could have hit him, yeah. and it would have killed him, and yeah. I, I wouldn't be sat here today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just all about luck, isn't it? Right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, uh, don't know, that's about it, really. That's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, the point, that's the political that's what was the point, point. again, that you, there for, b b well, for the grace of God Yeah, no, he's saying, he's saying, you know, we should count our blessings, because, yeah. you know, anything can happen. Yeah, You sure, never know what's sure. around the corner. Sure. Yeah, it's like, if Carl hadn't met us, he'd still be in that little room making jingles. Now, he is a respected household name. Do you think <laughs> he packed the book <laughs> before he left home to become homeless? He thought, well, I need the clothes, I need the cigarettes, I need the dog and the piece of string. And I probably need some, probably gonna need some reading literature as well, because I'm gonna get pretty bored, like, just sitting in the street yeah. begging all day. Do you, so, maybe, maybe it's so one of those- I should take, so I wanna catch up on, um, some, uh, some of the stuff I haven't read, you know. Or maybe it's one of those themed holidays, you know those trendy middle class people? Right. They go on, like, the adventure holidays and danger holidays. Maybe the, the latest one, amongst sort of, like, yuppie types, yeah. is, uh, homeless holidays. Exactly. yeah. They, they, they pay, like, ten thousand pounds. Exactly. And they really they get, get a little the experience. area of, sort of, the streets of And home. people come up to them and abuse them. Yeah. They're, they're all paid, they're all yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They get beaten uh, up at night when they're sleeping under a bridge. They, 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 you know, they get to, to try a really safe sort of form of heroin. Sure, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that uh, sounds they, brilliant. No, that's, uh, that's worth marketing, Theme Rick. holidays. Theme home holidays like that. Home, you can have homeless. Yeah. You can have, like, rent boy holidays. <laughs> Find out what it's like to be yeah. a rent boy for three weeks. Yeah, and then, yeah, they have to, they have and to make a little bit of money on the they side. They have to wean them off it. Exactly. <laughs> At the yeah. end, they go, no, don't keep, don't, don't keep, keep sucking it. it. You can stop finish now. You've, uh, yeah, you're, 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 you're a bank manager again. <laughs> I just, I've just got the taste for it, to be honest. <laughs> well, can that happen? I, that, can that, <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's worth knowing if that, if that is a possibility. Look, Carl, look, Carl's worried. Well, yeah. we haven't said anything. We haven't said anything. We haven't said anything wrong, Carl. Don't get us to be no complaints. We haven't said anything. The words suck, as far as I oh, can work out. No! It's not a banned word on the radio. Is it, is it Rockbusters time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Rockbusters. Well, let's let's play a tune and then we come out with Rockbusters. What do you want? Mm. Are we going to hear your mum's before mm. we have Best yours? holiday I've ever had. Mm. 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 I'm getting a taste for it. Mm. Mm. It's a new American band called My Morning Jacket from the Sweat Bees EP. That's called Lowdown. Like that? Yeah, nice. It's good, yeah. Um, I brought in some adverts, my favourite adverts to play. Really? Yeah, that's all. They're all new ones as well. We got those now. Can, can we, we hear them? Do you want to do them now or keep, oh. them, keep them listening? Do play them later. No, do them now. Yeah. Oh, I do. They are good. Ready? XFM indeed, Steve. Absolutely. So uh, I'm just fiddling around here. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, I'm just looking at some of the emails, uh, and if I can find it, I've got an absolute treat from you. Go on. Dicky Anderson. Is he Anders, uh, he's emailed in Richard again. Anderson, our yeah. biggest fan. Biggest fan. He said, uh, dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in recently, only I've been busy watching a puddle evaporate. <laughs> Glad to hear you haven't tinkered with the show's winning formula by trying to introduce any quality into it. <laughs> That's from, uh, Richard Anderson. So, uh, good okay. to have Dicky Anderson listening again. Oh, God. Because uh, he just keeps us on our toes. You know. Yeah. And, uh, good work, Rich. Thanks for that. I wonder what he looks like. Dickie Anderson? Yeah. I think he's a good-looking guy. For some reason, I've always imagined him as being slightly older, with maybe a beard. Oh, no, I think, I, mean? like I think of, of him, I think of him sort of cords and now and sweater. Definitely cords. Gl I, I think he looks like, um, maybe the Proclaimers. Yeah, but right. again, with a beard or at least a moustache. Yeah. I don't know why I'm seeing some kind of facial And hair. he's sort of like, he, he's sort of, uh, he likes the cure and the Swiss now, but, uh, and, uh, he snarls at everything. He thinks everything's pure out. Yeah. I bet he yeah. prefers Radio 5. <laughs> Do you think Radio 5? Yeah. Five, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. four. I bet he's a real music snob as well. I bet there's like there's certain bands. It's like rubbish. The Blazing Squad, rubbish. All pop music, rubbish. Britney Spears, rubbish. Is 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 this defamation of character? Um, he's slagged you off enough times, Rick, and the show. I don't know. And if I'm only saying it's my opinion. Exactly. I imagine. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know. we don't know. I mean, you, you know, you could be a lovely guy. I'm getting. To be honest, I'm getting to like him. <laughs> what I like about Richard is he he's willing to say what he thinks. Well, it's not, it's more than that. It's a bit like Eminem. No, it's not, yeah, no, it's, it's more than that. He actually hits on the truth too often yeah. for my liking. Yeah, well that's... I mean, this is a shoddy show with very, very little to offer. you got to remember though, it is a, uh, bronze winning show. <laughs> we did win a bronze <laughs> award at the Sony's <laughs> last year. One yeah. of the most coveted of the awards. Yeah. Huh? The yeah. bronze. Uh, to, in my, in my opinion, the bronze is slightly better than the gold. Well, a lot of people don't win the bronze, right? you got to remember that, that there's not many people who win the gold, bronze. gold, just, you know, gold's got no intrinsic value, it's just a currency, and in my opinion, bronze is better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In a way. Carl, Rockbusters, well, you must- <clears throat> Carl. Yeah, no, listen. we, uh, yeah. we did get a bronze, but this year, we introduced Rockbusters. <laughs> Things <laughs> will be changing. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, hey, yeah, but, hey, but, we didn't introduce Rockbusters, Carl. Please don't tar us with that brush. Yeah, you introduced it. And also, it. do you remember the do you remember the show that got that bronze? Was the show with the complaint that was yeah. upheld by the radio authority? Was it really? Yeah, the show that got the got the award and was nominated was the one with the only upheld complaint we've ever had. Do you think if we hadn't discussed that particular subject for quite as long, we could have got the silver? Um, I think it was the mention of. And I, I say this meaning male birds yeah. oh. of all the cocks. Right. Yeah. But do you think the Sony committee was going? I enjoyed the show. If yeah. they had yeah. mentioned cocks, yeah. meaning birds. Oh, yeah, bee birds. Yeah. So, I'd have given it the silver. Yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> Carl getting nervous. Rockbusters then. Yeah. Uh, chance to win all that stuff Steve was talking about before. Uh huh. Um, we give initials and a cryptic clue, and it's a band. And there's three yeah. of them, and you email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah. Right. Do you want some of my mums? Well, I think before you give us your own, we should hear your mums just to sort of set the tone and well, for people to get their heads around the whole just idea. Just send some more, they're still not that up to scratch. Um, <laughs> first one, this group are nice on toast. Why were they? Jam. Yeah. Which one? Jam. Okay. Marmalade would have worked. Marmalade's just as good, yeah. yeah. This man liked his wine. <laughs> this man liked his wine? Dean um. Martin. <laughs> what? <laughs> so no cryptic clue, just a man who drinks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but like, isn't there like a million <laughs> of rock stars and pop stars it. who like booze? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that is wine. I don't but think anyone would have ever got that. <laughs> That's fantastic. 
Lovely. This man liked his wine. D9. This man liked his golf. <laughs> oh, clubby, clubby, oh, clubby chip face. No, um, uh, Bung, 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 Bing Smith. Bit of Bing Crosby, yeah. yeah. He liked his golf. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's genius. This man <laughs> liked his wine. Uh, a couple more. <laughs> Hope you're not speeding when you meet these. The police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great! And, uh, oh. is there any other good ones? Oh. Uh, sounds like these lads work for the hospital. <laughs> the, 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 the porters. Um, Say that again? Sounds like these lads, uh, work for the hospital. Jerry and the pacemakers. <laughs> right. So we'll, we'll... Carl, I have to say, if there was ever, in the future, any doubt that you were your mother's son, <laughs> that would pay that. <laughs> Believe that me, you great. are a chip well, off the Okay, airport. well let's, um, let's, uh, so we have a little record and then educating Ricky and Rockbusters. So the show really the of, the, of the prizes. <laughs> Jerry Halliwell's yoga video, uh, DVD, I think it's the latest one in that particular series. So if you've already <laughs> worked yourself up to, you know, you're looking pretty good, but yeah. there's a little bit of, uh, Flav Remy around the arse or breast area, then Jerry can help you out there. Yeah. We got Only Fools and Horses, this is the Christmas special from last year. Um, Jonathan Ross was giving that one on his morning show this morning. I don't know if they're just oh, trying to get rid of him. Um, top uh, of the morning to you from Terry Wogan, that's his, uh, <laughs> two-beat <laughs> CD. I'm sure they were giving that away as You've well, got yeah. the likes of Love Theme from Top Gun, obviously Take My Breath Away by Berlin, that's on there. Uh, what else we got? We got The Pretenders, you mentioned there earlier. Alison Moyes on there. Uh, Alf. Annie Lennox featuring Paul I Feynman. still call her Alf. Loaf is on there, I'm talking to the meat variety. Oh. Oh, <laughs> um, Miss Tina Turner on Silent Wings. There's a, you know, an incredible selection there. Perfect for saying mum or, um, a, a deaf aunt. <laughs> um, that, <laughs> that's, uh, the Manage Street Preacher's Great Kids your DVD. Aunt? Anyway, how's your aunt, the, the one who farted for five minutes, Carl? Also got the U2D, uh, I'm not going out well. What's up with her? Oh, she's yeah. yeah. the best chat album ever. Uh, that's that's all she all right? Yeah, yeah, she'll yeah, be alright. Right. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's the prizes up for grabs. So we're having two conversations <laughs> yeah. there. I, I think we're a little bit too relaxed in this show. Sure. I mean, people tuning in will just think, do those three people know they're going out live? Or is yeah. that a conversation, like, between the records? Yeah. I, I, it, it's, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It probably <laughs> sounds like, yeah, the record is playing. <laughs> yeah. We think the record is playing yeah. and we're just chatting. Oh dear, what we got, what we got, Carl, what we got? Eminem, lose yourself. Back on form there. Absolutely, like, yeah, yeah. It's good tune. Good, good. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant. Carl Pilkington, more importantly. Carl, come on then. Right. I need some education. No, I need it's Rockbusters. I, rock I need education. I need I some know, education. Know, but we've promised the Rockbusters. Educating Ricky, I will be ditching before Christmas. Why? <sighs> it will be going. Really? Why? Because there's nothing it's, out there. It's just struggling. I was thinking on the way in today, I can either do, um, doing something more with Steve, because We've done, like, the Ricky angle. Either yeah. we can do, uh um, Educating Steve? No, either, like, a, a bit of a call my bluff type thing, but it's like a con merchant, and I have to, like, trick you. Okay. Con right, merchant, so I'm the I like con it. and you're the other merchant. And yeah. then, oh, I was thinking something that you just do, do some work, and you have a moan for a bit, okay. and that's a bit, that, that's like a wine merchant, that you just, like, <laughs> whine on about something. <laughs> Uh, again, just, I, I, I the pun comes these, first with uh, yeah, you, doesn't it? Yeah. Worked out that first. Yeah. That's like, uh, okay. I told you I've come up with a couple of sitcoms for me. Go on. One is I've got an imaginary navy called Merchant's Navy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. a navy. In it. And the premise is I've got a navy. Yeah. And another one is I live in... And that's as far as he's got as well. Yeah, that's all I've come up with. If you've got any ideas there, uh, Carl, yeah. that'd be much appreciated. Yeah. Another one is I live in quite a salubrious part of North London, and that's called Merchant of Little Venice. And I live in Little Venice. Uh, again, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens, but, uh, yeah. any ideas, Carl? You know, I've got one we like playing Italian waiter, and it's called Shut Up a Gervais. Yep. That's so, we're, that's the one we're working on there, actually, to follow up with The Office. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. We'll do something with that. Yeah. But <laughs> at the moment, we've got Rockbusters. Okay. okay. So, uh, these are mine. Um, number one, you've been dunking that for too long. That's LB. You've right, been so dunking that for too long. Oh, God, that's too easy. That's yeah, but too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? I give them something to make them feel like they're going to win something, and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. But it doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So, the first one, so that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are LB, and yeah. the cr cryptic clue, you've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub, because the table ain't big enough. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, F D. All right, F D. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. All right, yeah. that's that's the third cryptic clue. The initials being G K. Right? Yeah. Well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in ricky.juvet. <laughs> That's great! That's genius! Which one? The last one. Alright. That yeah, is genius! That's the best it. one you've ever done! Alright. Uh, Ricky Dot Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> That's great! Uh, I'm in the middle one. Okay. Emailing them three answers, you win the stuff. We are still got educating Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go on, I'll just have one, let's have one. No, have one. Just no, I'll, give, I'll give you the titles. Give me the titles, yeah, got you. Right, you've got, um, three bits of info that's gone on in the world. Yeah. Or, uh, or possibly sort of, sort of uh, information. Older times. Older Never go further back in the 17th century, do we? Well, uh, no. Let's, let's 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 make it clear. There's three bits of information <laughs> that people have put on the net, <laughs> yeah. whether or not they're true. Well, yeah. Definition. And that he still gets it a little bit wrong in oh, translation well, yeah. and sort of adds bits to it. <laughs> yeah. Go right, on. So we've got. Uh, I love it when he plays out those historical dialogues. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's yeah. like the 15th century where he goes. So anyway, a bloke says to himself, <laughs> yeah. "I tell you what, I'll do." <laughs> so the horse isn't happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, go on. Right, so the three that you've uh, you've got a pick from, you've got uh, get your kit on. We're off down the butchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get your kit on. We're off down the butchers. Yeah. Uh, we've got um, wash up with you. <laughs> wash up with wash you. Wash up with you. And, yeah. uh, the last one, I couldn't really think of a, a good title for, so yeah. it's just, uh, <laughs> why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to make this oh. into a book. This has got to be a book made for Christmas. Oh, God. Chapter headings. <laughs> Oasis, live forever on XFM 104.9. Right, we're in the swing of things. It's my, it's mine and Steve's favourite bit of the whole show. This is what we do this show for now. Educating Ricky. Yeah. Go for it, Carl. You said that learning can't be fun. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'll go for the one, what's the one about the butcher going down the butcher shop? You've got, uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. Yeah. You going for that one? Yeah. Well, do you know the saying, oh, um, <laughs> don't let the cat out of the bag? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it means? Yeah, well, don't give away a secret. Right. Well, do you know how it came about? No. no. Well. Uh, ages ago. <laughs> before, like, <laughs> Ages ago. Before, 17th century? Yeah, before, like... Yeah, yeah, 17th's before, good. Yeah. Before, like, you know, proper butchers and Jewhursts and supermarkets and that, you used to get these blokes who, oh, who right. sold meat. Right. right? Butcher, butchers, they were called then, I think. Yeah, yeah, but the difference was they didn't stay in the same place, they moved about. Right, so they'd turn up on a street corner. Right. And you'd have, like, loads of carrier bags of, like... Carrier uh, bags? <laughs> yeah, with, you know, with meat in and that, and people would Plastic be like, carrier bags. Yeah, yeah, with whatever. mobile butcher on them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so, uh, <laughs> Had an email address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. People went, right, yeah, I need some meat, right, so they'd, uh, <laughs> they'd go up to this bloke and, uh, say, what have you got? And they'd say, well, I've got a, got a, you know, you can have a, a bag full of pig, or you can have, uh, <laughs> Whatever, a bag full of chicken, whatever. Yeah. And they go, yeah, how much? They go, oh, you know, call it, call it a fiver, whatever. Yeah. And um, they they buy them, and to to make more money, they didn't always fill the bag with what they said was in it. Oh, and yeah, I thought that might be the case. Right. Yeah. So what did they, they, they ever do? Put cats in there? Yeah. But I don't see why, what. Okay, so sometimes they would put a cat in the bag they put and a pretend cat in it the was bag. chicken or whatever else. Yeah, so. But why was a cat any cheaper than a chicken? Because cats are wandering around the streets, aren't the chickens aren't? So they'd, so they'd get a chicken, they put a chicken on the top so that when they look in it, they'd go, yeah, that's all right. Got a bag full of chicken. They'd get home to make the dinner yeah. and they'd be like, what are we having tonight? And they'd go, well, you'll never guess. <laughs> and they'd, they'd have like, you know, well, you can have a chicken leg and. You know, but it wouldn't got, be, it would be a cat. Yeah. <laughs> They'd have to defrost a pizza. Yeah. Sure. Did they mind that they were eating cat then? In the, in those days? He didn't say. He just was saying about the saying, uh, don't let the cat out of the bag. It's like, you know, uh, if they see that, they're gonna go mad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly disappointed with this story. It's alright if it's true, but yeah, it's not about it, it's just... 
I want to know more. He always leaves yeah. it. Is it Carl doesn't quench your thirst for knowledge? He creates more. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, yeah, he's like the pot noodle of information. Yeah, do you know, I, I, he never, I want to go- I'm not nourished by it. It's like, if he, if for every fact he tells me, there's ten others that spring yeah. up that yeah. I have to get clear. Well, yeah. So it was the people that were doing this, it was the- it was the dodgy butchers that coined this phrase. Were well, they saying to each other, don't let the cat out of the bag, i.e. <laughs> what I mean by that, Jack, is don't let them see the cat. Yeah. What yeah. we've stuffed in there. Yeah. Dodgy butcher, that's another phrase, isn't it? Yeah. So that's- that's the first one. <laughs> uh, is that a euphemism or is it yeah. dodgy butcher? as his meat delivered round the back. Sure. So, that's- that's that one. So let's get your kit on. What was that then? It's a, a euphemism for uh, homosexuality. Okay. And meat, presumably, in that means different things. It doesn't. It, it's it's a word that is also a male would, would bird. Would it mean chicken or cat <laughs> necessarily in that context? <laughs> or, well, I suppose it could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carl just look, looks. Look at him. He, it, Carl looks at you like a cat. Yeah. Whenever we leave him behind, if we don't talk like straight at him and let him see our lips moving, mm. and it's you know monosyllabic and very easy to Look, he's lost. He's lost in that conversation. There, he just drifted off, didn't you, Carl? No, I just was also thinking on animals and that something else I was going to use. Go on. Was um. Is this it, isn't a radio show, is it? I just suddenly caught myself. This I is no, this that. is nothing. I told you that before. It's it's been bad today. No, but I mean it's the way that this casual way that it's like we almost have no regard for our listener, and I'm not proud of that. I just don't know what to do about it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to do this properly. I I mean, we're just chatting here. I mean, it's only Anderson who's seen through us, and yeah. that surprises me that more people haven't. I mean, what are the figures like? Do people listen to this show? I'll find out for you. You keep saying that, but um, yeah, there's this parrot. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it, it lives I mean, Rick, it's unique. <laughs> if nothing else. I mean, when you wake up with Woken tomorrow, <laughs> you're not even going to yeah. hear him start alive. <laughs> there was this parrot. And go on, there was this parrot. Yeah, go on. And it can talk, and that someone's obviously. You know, tore it out and uh, speak and that, and yeah. um, it flew away. Oh. And it's living in this church, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, people are at the church doing oh. hymns and that. And then Trouble's brewing. In, be in between if the that hymns. That parrot was owned by an old uh, miner who used to swear a lot. Yeah. Well, then the vicar is going to be is going to be really annoyed. That vicar, yeah. that vicar's going to go on. I just hope he stays quiet <laughs> during the vicar's sermons. <laughs> yeah, go on. Have you read it? No, go on. Have <laughs> you read it? No, go on, no, go on. Cause that's that's what happens, right? Go on, tell us, Carl. Join, join the hymns. It's sort of effing and jeffing and stuff. Effing really. <laughs> and jeffing. Yeah. And everyone's like going, oh, you know, it's quite funny, really. You know, it doesn't know what it's doing. Everyone's yeah. having a laugh. Yeah. But it's causing a havoc at funerals. <laughs> <laughs> when did this happen? Uh, uh not, and not years ago. John uh, was a much loved man. He was a wanker. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that was another what story. What can you I... say about Uncle John? Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love, I love the fact that when you look at things, you go, "That's interesting." A parrot swears at funerals, That'd be amazing. and it stays with you. You see, for a simple man, you retain an awful lot of knowledge. It's just all rubbish. It's all you Do you know what I mean? If you just replaced all this rubbish with good stuff, mm. you'd be an intellectual. Yeah, really. Cos, I mean, your, your retention is fantastic. Yeah. So- Did I lose you again there, did I? So Was it the word retention? <laughs> we've still got, uh, wash up with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we play a record and do wash yeah, up with you? Yeah, yeah, we'll play a bit of Aqualunga. <laughs> Aqualunga! <laughs> Alright, that's Aqualung. Uh, good time's gonna come, innit? Right, Carl, come on in, educating Ricky. So, don't let the cat out of the bag, that's where that uh, comes from. Mm -hmm. Comes from a crafty butcher. <laughs> right, go on in. So, the next uh, little headline is, uh, wash up with you. Wash up with you, go on. You wanna know about that? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> it's a survey that they did. <laughs> survey that they did this week. They? Yeah, some, some university did some survey. Brilliant. Did a world test on yeah. washing up. Yeah. And uh, each country were given 140 pots to clean. <coughs> um, Brits were the quickest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Turkey were the slowest. Can't <sighs> washing up. The Turks. Uh, it's not because the little fellas that work in the kitchens were no, is it? They can't reach. Spain. 
Spain were the cleanest and the, uh, Germans were pretty good as well, so. <laughs> I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> I, I, honestly, Steve, I don't know where to start with that. Look I at his face. You, it was really light, right? We've had the parrot, right? These are the things that I found. Found the parrot, right? I've told you about the dog in the car wash. Right, you didn't tell me about that. You said there's a car wash for a dog. That's all you told me. Yeah, but the parrot, that's... you said there's a parrot. What? It's a problem at funerals. Yeah. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. And, Do you understand? And, uh. And they used to eat cats. What else have we got? There's an elephant in India with sore feet. Why? There's an elephant in India with sore feet. Now I'm interested. Why? Um, some, uh, <laughs> <I'm> dancing. <laughs> Why? See, so, yeah, I didn't write that. He's trying to break Roy Castle's record. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. Come on, come on. What is it? What is it? Think. It's an uh, elephant, and it was really old. It was about seventy-six. Right. And it had sore feet because it's old, and, and they don't make stairs. And, and the stuff roads, big, are, do they? roads are bad, and that. Yeah. Go so. On. Um, they said, what are we gonna do? And the <laughs> town was like, oh, you know, we're used to seeing it around, it's part of the thing, you know, we don't want it to have sore feet. Yeah. So they got some slippers made for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it had like a picture of the elephant looking happy wearing some slippers. <laughs> I love him! I love Carl, his world! Think of it, where did you see this picture? That was on the internet. <laughs> right. That's a lesson though for any elephants listening. You know, don't wear stilettos to work every no. day. Because it can do your feet in. So that it's- But don't, so have ele don't elephants have really bad memories? No, they're really good memories. memories. Oh, do they? Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good then. <laughs> no, I just, I, I just thought they'd forget where they put them. I thought there was something about, about elephants having bad, <laughs> bad memories and <laughs> that. The goo goes on, where's my slippers? Yeah. I'm sure I left them by the test. So, so, sorry, there's a, the elephant walking around wearing slippers? Yeah, yeah, there was, th that's in, uh, what in India. What slippers? Those sort of old man ones with the sort of checkered Well, round design. ones, I imagine. Yeah. 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 Big yeah. round ones. There was that going on. And is it happening? Is it happier? I mean, does it feel yeah, more satisfying? Yeah, it looked it. Did it look- <laughs> 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 How can you tell the elephants, please? Uh, uh, what else is there? Uh, mm. there was a woman who's had a- had a breast in show for 150 grand. Right. Okay. Any okay, more information there? What? Third party fire and theft? I don't know, it just had- it had a picture of her with them, like, you know, out. <laughs> 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 I just thought, yeah, you should get them covered. Oh. <laughs> He's got another real joke! Oh, it is, that's a proper joke. He's doing yeah. look at his little face, he smiles! I'd like to see you on one of the sort of TV panel games. If they could bring back sort of celebrity squares, yeah. he'd be amazing as the centre square. Oh, that would be Wouldn't incredible. Be or um, on the countdown in Dictionary Corner. Diction- I imagine him in Dictionary well, Corner. Well, come up with cat. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. Mem- Memblant. <laughs> yeah, what does what? that mean, Carl? It just meant anything you wanted to mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I've got, there, there's a dog that's got a cough in <laughs> Singapore because it smokes 20 a day. <laughs> right, okay, another one. Another no, one. no, 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 it's the last one in it, so yeah. I'll say that the last one we've got is why I don't need Sorry, what was that? Wash up with you, that was it. <laughs> but they, 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 was that it? That they, what? <laughs> survey of washing pots and pans. I just understand, you said, who, you said Italy were the cleanest. No, it's Spain. Not, no, Brits were the quickest. Yeah. We were the quickest, but Italy was the, the Spain cleanest. Spain was the cleanest. Turkey were the slowest. Yeah. yeah. Spain were the cleanest. But why weren't we cleaner? Because we were washing up, why were we not paying attention to the we did rubbish. We did it quick. We did it quickly, but but I, I don't know, know what it was being rated on. Who was doing it? Was it Annette Newman or Ainsley Harry? She's yeah. quick. Both of them are quick. Yeah. Well, they've yeah. got like kind of loose slaves that do it for them. Did we? Did we use? Did we use fairy liquid? Don't know. It didn't. It didn't. Did we use a whole bunch of boys' games? Didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just like said. He <laughs> <laughs> just said. Uh, you know that that that. Who had the softest hands? Who had the softest hands? So I didn't, it didn't say. I didn't. Why is it we don't get notified that this is taking place? I don't know. When I was a kid, no one ever said, you know, we need recruits because we're we're doing a survey on who can wash yeah. up the quickest. Are you disappointed in yourself with that one, Carl? It, it is pretty dull. <laughs> to be fair, and that is why we've got to bring in either con merchant okay. or a uh, wine merchant. Or shut or, up with your face. Yeah. Would you be able to, if I asked you, if I put you on the spot in the next, sort of after the next record, would you be able to give an example of how Con Merchant would work? I mean, is there something you could do just to sort of s experiment? Should we play a record? Should we play a record? <laughs> no, I'm I'm a I can do better than that. Yeah. What? Ads. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Travis on XFM 104.9 on Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. We're doing Educating Ricky. Right, final one. Come on, Carl. Right, what was it? <sighs> it was, uh. <laughs> why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write on? Yeah. Yeah. Because. Snappy. I couldn't, well, I couldn't think of a heading for it. It's basically, uh. Go on. People who have tattoos have never understood it, right? Um. That they have something put on their arm. Right, sorry. 
have we started the educate? Is this part of it? Are you educating me? This is something that I, I, that will be useful in my life that I didn't know about. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> no, it's just like they've got, they've got a machine now, right, right that, um, does tattoos. Um, tattoos. You, you, uh, you come up with a design you want and you sort of, it, this machine scans it and, uh, you put your arm in this thing and you press print or whatever and then it, it does the tattoo on your hand or on your What, arm. like loads of little needles that follow a pattern? Yeah, the computer, basically, is it, yeah. Is it a real tattoo? It's a pro proper It's a proper tattoo. one. The fella said, um... Well, as long as it goes out, it pierces the skin with a... With a I just a wondered if it's one of those kind of, you know, those kind of... No, it uh, must be lots of, lots of little needles or a moving needle that can go Sorry, along. Sorry, how is this cleaned, like, in between each person? Dunno, probably, I dunno. Well, no, it's not, it's only that if it's one needle, it's just the head, isn't it? If it's one needle that moves, right. does it like a like loads of little? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What are we gaining from a, a machine doing it? It's just because you know they're not going to sort of mess it up. But hold on, how do you keep your arm still? Because your skin moves like it's, it's the machine it's sort of strapped to your arm. Right. And so the fella, it spreads. I mean, so the fella said that the tricky thing was in all this. It was the fact that um, you know nobody would let him test it out on anyone else, so he had to do it himself. But did it work? Because the thing is with the tattoo yeah, artist, they yeah. can see when your skin's moved and they can see what they've done and they keep wiping it and looking. Whereas the machine's just got to trust itself. Yeah. So I think one needle would could go wrong if it was a lot of needles that, just, that it just came down like you know a thousand needles that was an imprint. Yeah. But no, the, yeah. obviously I'm asking someone who uh, hasn't delved any further than there's a machine that can give you a tattoo. That's all you've got at the moment, isn't it? Well, I'm... Uh, yeah, basically... That's all you've got? I mean, that's, that's what I've got because I'm not a fan of tattoos, I don't... But where did you read this again? This was... Uh, internet? This was on the internet, yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And I, I just don't understand why people do it. That's, that's what got me attention. Because me, um... Sorry, what have, what have I learned from this? Um, that if you, if you wanted to get one... You know, you can get one done by a machine now. <laughs> you know, people say machines are sort of taking over and that. And, and there's another one. But it's just the fact, I mean, I don't know. I, I so don't, give us the snappy title of this, this education why again. Why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write it on? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always think when I see people with, with loads of tattoos. Like, there's that fella who we were talking about the other week in Scotland oh. who, who was covered 99% in tattoos. Yes. It's just like, what have you done that for? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't get rid of it now. You've 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 done it now. Yeah. Um my one of my uncles, right, tattoo Stan, he he um he's just caked in them. Tattoos. Right. <laughs> I don't think he's my proper uncle. But it's just like <laughs> me, me dad's got <laughs> Tattoo Stan. No, he does That's got a, that's a province in Russia, isn't it? He does got loads of mates who When like, you say he's not your proper uncle. I do you know how like when someone comes around you're yeah, all right, Uncle Stan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there was like there was um my dad had loads of mates like that. There was John the Screw. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he either works in a prison or he likes to have sex. Cabby. <laughs> Cab driver. <laughs> okay. There was Jimmy the Hat. I don't know where he Jimmy did. the Hat? Yeah. Oh, and, did uh, he wear a hat? No. No. There was, um, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg. You sure he wasn't a relative? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fred the Veg used to get us, like, big bags of potatoes and that. Fred the Veg, okay. And there was, there was Tattoo Stan. Right. And he was just caked in them. And I used to always look at him thinking, why have you done that? I must have only been, like, you know, I suppose if, if you're born with a name like Tattoo Stan, <laughs> exactly. you're destined, Sorry, aren't you, really? Were they, like, a 1950s gang? I'm worried yeah, just, about, like, I'm worried doing, about doing a bank job. What was his name, The Hat? What was his Jimmy, name? Jimmy the Hat. I'm worried mm. about Jimmy the Hat. Yeah. Not having a hat. <laughs> I don't understand it. Are you sure he didn't have a hat? Not when I met him. Did he ever wear a hat? <laughs> I didn't see him that much. Do you think it was a joke, like, you know, when, um, y your mate's sort of like, you know, uh, eight foot and huge, you call him <laughs> Little <laughs> John or Tiny? Mm. Do you think- Well, the think fact that he never wore Yeah, they went, hold on, I've, I've noticed something about Jim. Go on. No hat. And I go, oh, true, let's call him Jim the Hat. <laughs> Jim the Hat, yeah. But me, um, me Uncle Stan, he had like loads of them. He did, did them himself. Oh dear. And it was always that <laughs> thing. <laughs> what was it, what was it things like? It was, he had like the- A cross. Cut here. Cut one, here, on made the, on in Britain. And if you're going to do them yourself, I'd say at least make sure you're, good, you're sort of a good drawer. Yeah. And don't and do it, it in the mirror so it comes out backwards. Well, that, that was the other thing. But like, I remember he did, um, I mean names were all right. He had like all his kids' names down his arm. <laughs> and, uh, what are they called? Yeah. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> Tattoo Stan Junior. Yeah. And, um... Paul shits the bed. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm Charles. <laughs> oh, Wabai Kate. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah so, oh, <laughs> Frankie never amounts to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So he had like uh, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. I don't think he's mine. <laughs> so he did uh, all this stuff. I don't even know why I'm telling you about that. No, 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 I Carl. Hey, so, I just, to be I honest, I don't know that if I don't know. If, maybe you just have to picture this. But my picture, my <laughs> sister took had to take a photo once. She was working in like a factory, not to denigrate people who work in factories, but there happened to be a particularly oddball kind of lank-haired weird guy living uh, working in this factory, and he made his own. He did his own tattoos, and she took a photo of it because she was so extraordinary. He'd drawn it himself. Now, bear in mind, it was the kind of thing you saw when you were doing art when you were like <laughs> fifteen. <laughs> this was the sort of person who designed their own like rock heavy rock album cover. <laughs> yeah, he's that sort of person. So. I mean, like, was it, was it a dragon cool. with breasts? You're not far off, Rick. No. You're not far off. I'll tell you what it was. He had this tattooed on his back. It took up his entire back. She took a photo of it for me. He drew it himself. He had it tattooed himself. And it was just too much detail. Too yeah. much detail for a tattoo. It needs to be fairly simple, I think, to make it a yeah. tattoo. Mm -hmm. It was... <laughs> <laughs> it was a, n a naked female vampire having a shower. <laughs> why was she having a shower? Having a shower. That's why she was naked. Yeah. And so she had. She she'd been out. She'd, uh, she was uh, presumably. Uh, she'd been, uh, been out. Been out. A lot of blood. Well, yeah, well, she, 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 uh, she was naked, so she, you could see her, 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 her naked body. Yeah. Uh, she's quite a beautiful vampire, yeah. relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, although the symmetry of her face was somewhat off. Yeah. The only thing I think that gave well, her yeah, away- bad spine. Was that she had, um, she did have some pointed teeth. I right. mean, I think that was how you knew she was a vampire. Right. Was she looking- but, um, was she looking... she was having a shower was- Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it well, but he sort of drew in all the- he, 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 he said to the eye, said, listen, I, I want a, a naked bird, right? But I don't want to be Gratuitous. He goes, well, you could put her in a shower, because then they went, pop well, her in the shower. That at least gives some kind yeah, of justification. That's the plot. That's the plot. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's justified <laughs> within the story if she's <laughs> in a shower. Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have that. So, Carl. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, any other nicknames your friends of your family had? What was your nickname, Carl? Just, uh, Pilkey. Really. <laughs> Because for a minute I thought Carl the Veg would have made a lot of sense. Yeah, Carl the Veg. And what, what, why has your dad got a little tattoo, dopey twat, on his arm? <laughs> right, we'll do the answers to, uh, Robbusters next, yeah? Brilliant. Yeah. Buzz Cox. Still sounds brilliant, that. It is a cracker. They're from Manchester as well, Carl. So they got a little bit of pride there, eh? I think one of them's, uh, one of my mate's dad's. Really? Yeah, I think so. What's his nickname? Well, his name was, uh, I don't really want to say his name. Oh, uh, okay. Laurie, his first name was. Yeah. Still, uh, still is, probably. Yeah. Uh, he was a good um, well, you know those little fellas at school that didn't know each other, weren't related and weren't friends because it would be too obvious, that they had webbed, um, hands and big heads? Yeah. What, what were they, did they have any nicknames? Bit, again, too obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, oh, you big head, or, you know. Sure. Oh, I bet you got that juggling, or... Frog right. twins. Yeah. Can I just interrupt you guys, cos we've just had an email here, um... I hate to query you, Carl, and you're educating Ricky sections. I know you put a lot- of, don't read this, let me just read it for you. Um, just had an email here from Olivia, and this has also been corroborated by someone else, so I, I forget who, who it was. She was just- she just tuned in, and she just heard you explaining the expression, letting the cat out of the bag. Sure. Uh, it's all to do with cats that were put in bags yeah. by- by dodgy butchers, <laughs> possibly in the 17th century, we're not too sure. <laughs> um, anyway, she claims- well, uh, let me see, she, she says, uh, she uses both the words twaddle and crap, uh, in relation in relation to your definition. Oh. Uh, she says, letting the cat out of the bag is an old shipping expression from when sailors used to get flogged for their misdemeanours. The cat letting the is cat, the cat of nine is. tails, of which uh, is. is a kind of whip thing that you, they used yeah. to keep hanging in a bag below deck. If yeah. it was discovered that a sailor had done something wrong, the cat would be let out of the bag yeah. and get a whipping. Of course it is. Don't let the cat out of the bag, we need to cover something she, up. She's just secret. talking nonsense, No, right? she's not. That's she the is. truth. That's because the, the truth. one I read about that was there's not enough room in here to swing a cat, right? And that was people who worked on a boat. Yeah, well that's the same way. Well that's fine, they can have questions for the They're same not gonna thing. keep going on about people working on a boat to get those. <laughs> <of sailors. laughs> What you can't have two phrases about the same thing! Can't they're not going to be going to do with their time. Think how many, just coming up yeah. and stuff Think like how that. many metaphors have birds in them and, you know, uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Why can't you have, you can have as many sounds as you like about anything, Carl. Yeah, There's well, not a rule. Whatever. They don't go, we've made one up about yeah. the cat and nine tails. Well, cheers for that, Oliver. Um, <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Don't, don't see your uh, email coming up with the Rockbusters answers, so well, <laughs> let's, uh, give, us the answer let's give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was, um, you've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. That was LB. 
Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one. Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight. That's Gladys Gladys Knight. brilliant, Carl. And the one that, uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub. <laughs> the table ain't big enough. FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah? What? The dominoes. You play dominoes in a pub. The, the dominoes fat. Pub tables are quite small. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, Random winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. Who um, do you want to go with? The bunch of, um, slightly rubbish prizes <laughs> is going to Elliot K from Chigwell in Essex. Uh, well done to Elliot. I, I just, w I, can, before we go, can we just get an email off Anders? Because I think he must, oh, I think we've probably turned him round with this show. <laughs> I would have thought so. I think he's going to be say saying, coming to us with his tail between his legs, saying, <laughs> sorry lads, yeah. blinded show. I was wrong, you were right. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, song for the Lovers is very exciting this yeah, week. Yeah, uh, we haven't had a song for the, uh, the Lovers or the Ladies for quite some time. Let's yeah, combine so, the two. Sorry, and sorry. John Martin, May You Never, let's end with Beautiful that. Beautiful We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>
Well, oh, I'm not sure it's good enough, Tom. <laughs> I mean, I'm worried when MTV come in, if they've heard this kind of shoddy production, they're gonna start to well, wonder MTV, what you're playing the same songs every five Yeah, no, anyway. a, sorry, are you sort of overworked because you were on Zoe Ball show talking? Oh, hello, what's going on here? Well, I was, I I was he, in the, he was no, just to be on our show. No, I was in I the car. Seem, I seem to remember, Rick, he was, he was a nobody yeah. that got a chance to come on air and talk about that. And, and guess now what he's he was getting auditions guess for what, MTV? Guess what he was talking about on Zoe's show? Oh, hello. All the jellyfish stuff and all that. about getting not believe it. Recycling material that you've done on this show. I phoned in. I phoned in, right, and I went, stop doing materials. I was boy. He just hung up on me. That well, I had a job to do. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Your Look, ego has just gone through Hang the on room. a minute, hang on a minute. What? I had a job to do in the week. They asked me to drive the desk for Zoe, right? They didn't Zoe, say talk. Zoe, if yes. she talks to you, you don't. You can't just ignore her. Yes, you can. <laughs> well, you Who can't. is she? <laughs> right, Who wow. does she think she is? <laughs> <laughs> you made a promise to us, a pact, that you were our kind of yeah. monkey. Yeah, what, what I'm I do. <laughs> if someone takes time off, I've got to do it. It's my job. Yeah, but you don't it's have to talk. You don't have to use. You're um, the head of production. We've given you this special gig. This is like taking you out weekends. Yeah, and exactly. The, you know, if we find out you're getting too much excitement in the week, we'll have to just calm it down. Yeah. Get another little. Well, that's it now. Anyway, it was only last week. <laughs> I, do, I do you know, I feel like kind of solid. I feel betrayed. It's like you were having an affair behind our yeah. back. And you rumbled. He was doing all the stuff. He was doing all like, oh yeah, jellyfish and this, jellyfish. Yeah, because that. she was asking. And I thought it was a good way of promoting this show, actually. Oh, oh did you mention the show? Did. Yeah, I did at some point. <laughs> did you? What did you say? I just said, uh, more about that on Saturday afternoons. So you talk twice. I only heard you talk once. So you're talking all the time. Well, about five times in the week. <laughs> in the full week. Five times. Theory. Right? Really. And one, it was just stuff. You could never be a monk, could you? Chatting away all the time. <sighs> right, what have we got? I play ball as well, to be honest. <laughs> I feel ball's slightly responsible for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. She well, can't find her own, you know, given to get on the show. <laughs> yeah. She can't find her own kind of, you know, loser, then <laughs> don't start stealing hours. Outrageous. <laughs> yeah. Well, coming up. Right, yeah. Got Maybe we'll get Fat Boy Slim in. Indeed. Next. Yeah. Saturday, if you're listening, um, Slim, yeah. you're coming on the show. What's his name? Ernie or something? <laughs> What's his name? Norman. Norman. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Ernie! Yeah. Oh, that's great, Ernie Ball. Yeah. Oh, he, Ernie, he wouldn't change Ernie his name. Ernie Cook. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. great. Anyway, Go coming on. up today, uh, we have got Educating Ricky. Mm, right. Yeah. Okay. Is this the Couple. last one? You've promised it might be. Um, I believe there's a book out. That might help me with this feature, okay. so we'll see how it goes. We might- I was thinking of new features in the week. I've got, um, <laughs> I wanted to come up with a what to do celebrity fact club. <laughs> celebrity fact club. All right. right. So I've just got to get some celebrities in first okay. before we can kick that off. So maybe in the new year. Oh, Ball and maybe Cook. Zoe Ball. Yeah. Ball yeah. and Cook. Yeah. Start yeah. off. Maybe. Right. And I've also got um, Cook and Ball stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Good one. <laughs> Cheers. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Yeah. Maybe you could sell that to Zoe show. <laughs> And, um, I'm also thinking <laughs> through the Ricky hole. Through the Ricky hole, okay. What's yeah, that? That's, uh, I'm quite. No, you just got the title again, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Okay, play record. So, uh, Rock yeah. Buster's coming up as well. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Wu Chang Clan, Gravel Pit on XFM 104.9. We're playing some great music today. Yeah, I wonder if we should maybe, uh, you know, it's getting towards Christmas to yeah. think about others. Should we dedicate the show to all the people in the world who maybe are less privileged and less, uh, fortunate than us? No. No. Um, okay. Have you got to do the prizes for the, uh. Prizes? <laughs> okay. Alright, so screw those <laughs> who are less fortunate, is what TV's Ricky Gervais thinks. Um, Rick, I know you're a big fan, uh, of the likes of Brian Adams, <laughs> Robert Palmer, <laughs> uh, Alien Ant Farm, and, uh, obviously, uh, um, ZZ Top. Yeah. And so you'll be enjoying the best air guitar album in the world Brilliant. ever, Volume 2. Yeah, sure. Fantastic. Well, Volume 1 <laughs> wasn't enough. There wasn't no. enough. No, exactly. <laughs> um, again, we've seemed to be able to give one of these away every <laughs> week. Are you just not sending these out? I mean, these are the same prizes we started this game with, I think, a couple of weeks back. Are you just not sending the prizes out? Yeah, but I want to give, like, more people a chance, because if, if one week they listen in and think, God, I wouldn't mind winning that. Sure. If you if you've got more copies of it, they'll go. Well, I'll listen next week. Okay. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Yeah. So again, this is uh, one of those um, the best songs you've heard on an advert 
ever owned. Ma- mainly mobile phones? Mainly mobile phone adverts, yeah. yeah. Although there is the, uh, Smash Mouth <laughs> one, which is used in the Ford Fiesta TV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Walking on the sun. Oh, I forget what that is. Um, uh, the Smashing Pumpkins album that we've given away in the past again. Yeah. I've got a bulk order of those that can't shift them. Um, Wild Weather. I don't know who's interested in this. This what, is, is, a, is that a double box set of VHS of different weather? <laughs> uh, that's be, amazing. Yeah, yeah there's, that uh, is two amazing. cassette tapes there. It's presented How long by, uh, th- Donald McIntyre. It's a thrilling trip with the most e- exciting forces of our wild and turbulent world. So, so I'm right in saying it's, it's, it's a double VHS like video set of, of different weather. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah, no, it's got, I mean, it includes the fastest winds, yeah. the oh, hottest desert, joking. um, and the biggest rain machine on the planet. That's oh, on there. I think you have to. God. I, I wonder if they're, oh, they're bringing out another box set, soil. Yeah, absolutely. Just goes through different mud. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and this you may be of interest. I've read good reviews of the, uh, the DVD of this. It's, uh, a two disc set. Uh, The Wicker Man, oh, a classic right. 70s film, film, but yeah. uh, it's got a bunch of extras that in there. So that, quite that's actually worth having. I would probably throw the rest away. But uh, the, the Wicker Man, get it on DVD Christmas. and it's, yeah, it's quite very interesting. Yeah, but you'll enjoy that. So, so uh, what, 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 this is Rockbusters, is it? Yeah, oh, that's for Rockbusters. Brilliant. Well, let's do, let's let, I say get the ball rolling now. What, of Rockbusters? Yeah, get the ball rolling. I don't know, I mean, tease them, Rick. Don't, you know, don't, you know, don't sort of <laughs> spunk all the good stuff early on. I mean, well, that's dynamite. you can, you can say spunk, I can't. <laughs> go on. Well, well, we've got, um, actually it's quite good moving it about because we might have some new listeners there. Yeah. And I would have thought so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not after last week. No. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so if you haven't heard it before, I'll give you some initials. It works, you know, it's like initials of an artist or of a it's band. It's Blockbusters. And, and a cryptic clue to who the band is. There's two easy ones. One difficult one. <laughs> uh, first one is, um, that'll never get off the ground. Right. Yeah. That'll never get off the ground. The that'll initial. never get off the ground is the clue. Not LZ. The initials are LZ. You are joking. Two easy ones. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, and then you've got, um, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. <laughs> Right. Say it again. That woman has got a pair of her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's H H, right? It's a bit of a difficult one. And then the uh, the last one, you'll get a lo- uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them, right? You'll get what? A right load of bacon off them. Uh huh. Um, that's L. L. Yeah. So uh, once you'll again, get a right quickly, load of bacon off of them. You'll get you'll get a right load of bacon off them. Uh huh. So first one that'll never get off the ground. L Z. Uh, that woman has got her husband's gloves and she's got a pair of her own. That's H H. Brilliant. And uh, you'll get a right load of bacon off them. That's L. And so it's an email only competition. Email only. Uh, Ricky dot at xfm dot co dot uk, and we pick a winner before the end. So. And the winner, 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 winner Wicker Man. The weather. The best of the weather. Weather. The best of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> the better the weather. As a compilation, Channel yeah, 4. Exactly. That that winds be... like to vary. Uh, I, I, I love 1976 Remember weather. this one from August 1979? Oh, it's warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is warm, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the best of the weather. I'll tell you what. You remember how we always play, like, great music, mm. usually? Mm, mm, mm. I'm up you're in not it. You've not got another one, have you? You're yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is David Bowie driving Saturday. Oh, he's done it again. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm in the same problem. I know, eating a biscuit. Yeah. Uh, David Bowie driving Saturday. Mm. That's a great track, isn't it? Mm. A crash course for the ravers, eh? That's what this show is, isn't it, Carl? Crash course for the ravers. They tune and they go, what? Wow, that's, that's so cool. I wish I was like Carl Pilkington. You reckon? Yeah, definitely. You forgot to uh, read your mum's clues out, didn't you? Yeah, she's, she's uh, just for fun only. This is Carl's mum. She uh, she listened one week and now she sends him a little example of uh, rockbusters every week. She's got um, what did she send? Um, this group would go well with your Christmas dinner. Cranberries. Yeah. Um, they make a few good cupboards. They what? make a few good cupboards. Yeah. The carpenters. The carpenters. I was thinking of EMF. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? I was thinking B and Q. The B and Q. Uh, this group thinks of lots of things. <laughs> this group thinks of lots of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go on. Imagination. <laughs> uh, I think they're the best ones. Yeah, they're, well, they're, 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 they're the best ones. Well, obviously we want the worst ones then. Uh, here's one more. Uh, she'd really like Blackpool. 
She'd really like Blackpool. She'd really well, like Blackpool. Fairground attraction. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Right, so, uh, there's, uh... Does she write anything else in the letter? Or does she just send them, like, <laughs> on a scrawled on the back of, you know, I don't know, a till receipt? She did with the first Quick one, now <laughs> it's just, just the rock busters. Right. So, <laughs> really? She doesn't bother asking how you are, or... I'll speak to her in a week. Right. Phone, so yeah. Yeah. What kind of conversations would you have, then, with your What are you saying? Stuff? Do you moan about how overworked you are and stuff to her? Uh, uh, that, that just, I mean, they're always surprised when I'm getting in late, and that is like, you know, what have you done today? Well, I've just got in from work, and it's like half past eight at night. A lot of people get them at half eight, Carl. Next. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Uh, just saying, how's the flat going? I'm yeah. asking my dad some DIY tips the other day. Mm. Um, you know, the usual sort of stuff mm. we talk to your mum and dad, mm. really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. talking about the bisons with them. I was with watching, the uh, did you watch the mammals in the week? Oh, David see. Attenborough? No. I was thinking, actually, right, all this MTV stuff, if there's one reason why I'd like to do it, yeah. is. I was watching Attenborough, the, the mammals program. I reckon I could do something like that. Right, right. And just have, have like me instead of Attenborough, like a you know a young sort of fresh person. Yeah. Uh, watching like um, certain animals and saying, do we need these? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God! What's going to death on earth? Just, that's, that's amazing! Yeah. Do we need these? And, no, there's and, there's and, and, stuff. and the audience at home would vote, <laughs> would there be some kind of telephone yeah, like vote? vote out system. Oh, but the thing is, is yeah. like, I, it's something interesting that Amber was saying the other night <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> Do we need these? on Jonathan Ross's show, on his telly show, right? He was saying, uh, he said, you could take all the humans off the earth and it would carry on. But take, like, some animals off it and mammals and that. You got problems on your hands. Mm. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. So it's like the question is, do we need these? Is that part of the big thing? Right. Like jellyfish. Yeah. We've talked about jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. So which mammals in particular were you, you talked about on the Bull thought? Show, haven't you? Hey. <laughs> which mammals uh, were you thinking we don't need when you watched the show the other night? Um. Any in particular that you thought they don't need them? They're not of interest. Well, I like I like whales, but I don't know what they do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and okay. they're, they're taking up quite a lot of room. Sure. Um, <laughs> but stuff like, <laughs> quite a lot of room. Yeah. But like, um, jellyfish, <laughs> I looked into because, yeah, you know, well, I was talking you about them. Yeah. And, um, they were saying they've got no eyes, no art, <laughs> uh, they're something like 97% water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're blind and they do about 33 miles a day. Right. So it's like, do we need them? Could we Pointless. clear them out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, a big net. That would that would be the, like the program. What? What? Right. We'll get rid of them. Uh, next week we'll be looking at. Uh, Rhinos. <laughs> I think it's like, genius. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's genius. And like going along, sort of like picking up sea enemies and going and just lobbing them into the sea. Well, what do you think about MTV doing that? And then I, I just in between the bits, play music. I play music to related relate to, to fish. So I could play like fish. Yeah. That rock guy, or uh, the rock, animals. Rock lobster. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. what else? Could it's good. Run there? and run. What, what other songs have got animals in them? The well, monkeys could play the monkeys. Yeah, there's about a million, so let's not start this. No, yeah. but do you know yeah. what I mean? So, 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 but, so, do we need this? So MTV Carver. flies you around the world <laughs> to the most incredible exotic locations. You sort of climb up a tree or whatever next to I don't know what lives up a tree, some kind of rare parrot. <laughs> you say, sloth. look at that, it's colourful, sloth. it's interesting. Oh, you like sloths, don't you? No, they just live up trees, but I'd say, do we need them? Mm. Why? Well, what do they do? What do you mean? What do they do? What do you want from an animal? Carpentry? What well, do like, you want? I don't, I don't like scorpions, right? Right. But then I found out they look after those, uh, those monkey things. They're not right? monkeys, they're Whatever. lizards! Well, all right, yeah, they're lizards. They look after the lizards. <laughs> the so there's a reason. But, but do you need the lizard? Could be well, your next yeah, question. because the local people made shoes out of them. But not when the scorpion protected them, they didn't. All right, we don't need them then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, yeah. And so ultimately, you, would anyone decide? I mean, do the animals kind of get a chance to mount a case for their survival? I mean, is there maybe someone that comes into their yeah, corner yeah, and sort of defends I'd have, them? I'd have like a David Attenborough type character who says, right. well, they do this, and I'll go, yeah, but do we need that doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah. And so what, what does an animal need to do in order for you to feel that it sort of gets the chance of life? I mean, like a pet, like an animal, like a dog maybe, or a cat, I mean, they give a certain affection to its owner. Is that a valid, uh, reason to survive? Not uh, particularly. Not really. No, okay. I've been saying that though, blind people use dogs, so they are useful. So dogs are useful. Farmers Farmers use they dogs. often save people, don't they, in yeah. silly weather? Cats. I'd have to think about it. Okay. Keep the mice down. Yeah, but yeah. you got rent to kill. Okay. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is something that will affect the world. Right. I think you'll find everything does. 
I think you'll find everything does. Mm. Except Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what effect he's having on the world. I tell you what though, Steve, right? Did you watch the mammals? I didn't see the mammals. They had, uh, they had bison on it. Right. The weirdest looking things you've ever seen. Yeah. They've really <laughs> Again, got you're on dangerous ground here, Carl. <laughs> they've really got a- it's like- Decide what you want to look like. Okay. It's just a mismatch of stuff. It's got a really big airy head. Yeah. Um. Unlike you. Sort of bald at the back. Right. <laughs> uh. Sort it's of like thinner. someone you went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> Was there two of them? Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> from the album Original Pirate Material, it's obviously The Streets and uh, an album track from that, it's too late. Fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. I know everyone's raving about it being, you know, one of the albums of the year, but it, it is, I think. It's great. That's brilliant. I love, love the backing as well. Mm. It's just so good. The, the lyrics, the things that go, I don't, oh, they're my favourite band of the year. Um, next week then. We'll do all our favourite songs of the year, shall we? No, I think it's got to be two weeks' time. Oh, two weeks, is it? Yeah, we'll I'm do away Christmas. next week as well. What do you mean you're away next week? What are you doing? Is that your ball show? I'm going, going up north again. Why? So Claire's gonna be here with you. Okay. Yeah, at least she- What are you doing up north? She does her job. Just, uh, Suzanne's dad's birthday, um, so. I bet he's a party animal. I bet I've heard that they really kick off, don't they? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah mentally. Are so you gonna be raving? Can't concentrate now. <laughs> Oh, well, he's all stressed because the lady from MTV is here. She's going to film his little face. So the, what? Thing, the things he said in the week, he was so worried. He's got worried about the spot on his head. That won't come out. Just that he's got your What's best side. It's on that side. That's all right. All right. <laughs> yeah. There's the camera's out. Look, he's getting nervous now. Okay, Carl. Ignore the camera. Okay, just ignore the camera. Okay. Now, me and Steve have done our research for you, and we've got two amazing things to tell you. Uh, what's the thing first, about the baby or the Well, the they're crab? both equally fascinating, so you, you choose. Um, I'll tell you the crab thing first, right? Um, we, uh, Steve actually saw this thing in the Guardian in the week, uh, about our research thing, and then we looked it up, we looked into it on Friday, and it is incredible. Right, listen to this. There's a, a thing in, um, um, in a bay in, um, uh, New England, right, where it's, it's like the biggest, um, uh, they make silicon chips and stuff for computers, right? And because of the data protection thing, after they've d done them, because uh, they have to destroy the plates, right, where the information's sort of put onto them, but there's still flakes of silicon. They sort of grind it down straight away, and some of the flakes got into the bay, okay? But some of the information's still on the, even the slight granules of silicon. Anyway, gets in the water, and silicon is rather like, um, a, a carbon. Derivative. I reckon if there had been life on another planet that wasn't carbon based, it would be silicon based. Because right. that's simple sugars and proteins, it's just COH and that, and it can work with silicon, right? Anyway, the crabs have been taken up, it's put on the water, and they, they looked out on the beach, and uh, over years the crabs have started um, sort of putting themselves in formations, like geometric format, and they couldn't work out why they were doing this. And uh, when they put them in the experiment, they sort of like chopped them up and they found they'd taken on silicon. And it had sort of got into their brain and they were downloading information. They actually, they picked up little things because it's just chemical, um, you know, like uh, electrical impulses had got information off the silicon chip and they were interfacing it. But, this is the amazing thing, one bloke sort of thought of this and he thought, well if, if it's a simple computer, the brain, if it's just a simple sort of electrical thing, then maybe there's, there's sort of, uh, you know, we could, we could get it down. So what, what they did is they made a thing called a biointerface. And they d put it into the crab's brain, just a really simple brain, so it's measured on Mangala, right? And it got impulses from it, and they were getting, like, computer read it's just flashes of, like, symbols and geometric things right, on this screen to read the crab's brain. And it was stuff like, you know, fragments of a. Um, what, what made them do this in the first place? Because they saw that they saw the crabs behaving differently. They were behaving differently to each other. They were just like they were, you know, intelligent, and they were sort of solving problems and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, when they downloaded the the thing, it was like a, there was um, uh, they found us. They found, they found, they found a, one of the secretary's names where it had been on the silicon chip, where it was just a, like a flash of a computer screen. <coughs> but the most amazing thing is, they downloaded a memory, right, it was like a, like a snapshot where it had been burnt onto the retina of the crab, just a snapshot of something, and it was like a picture of the beach, like a couple of years ago, right? And they also did, uh, d uh, incredible, it was like a, just a, a digital black and white sort of thing, so they could see what the crab had seen. 
Amazing. Jeez. Amazing. So Intelligent what, what, crafts. What, what are they doing with them like now? Well, they think this is the this is the upshot. They think they could use it as spy crabs because they could put these get these crabs. Also, also, the other thing is, as generations went on, right? So they put a crab in the, the sea or something, right? Uh, lots of crabs in, and then as generations went on, a, a newborn crab they downloaded the memory and it had the memories of. It's great, 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 all together. It had every memory that any crab had been related to it beforehand. Because it passed it on, it just passed it on. So not even ones that had been eating the, the silicon stuff? Yeah. No, that these, they- These are just like ones that have had kids. Yeah. yeah. And they've got like- And they know every- so you'd know everything your great, great, everything right the way back. So would that work if- if we ate silicon? Well, that's well, silly. So what are they gonna- well, they yeah. can use them for all sorts of things. Though. I mean, that's that's what's incredible. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you train it particularly. I don't know quite sure you train, but I'm assuming they could if they can if they can do it that way. Then presumably they can It'd give be it like certain loads. silicon information, which yeah. they can then plant in it if you like within it within its sort of food. Also, if you get them onto enemy you'd beaches, it, like, yeah. you'd have like a thousand digital cameras just yeah. well, that, they, 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 around. If you get like you know Osama bin Laden or someone, they just don't calling they don't the understand the information they've got. No, they do. They're doing it. They just download the So they're you could torture them, and they won't be able to sort of give the information because they wouldn't know what the information they had because they're just but like the crab, a the crab, the crab, the first crab they downloaded, they just kept seeing the same picture of a big crab feeding it, which they- <laughs> Really? Yeah. Wow. That's what, like it's mother crab or something? Yeah. As just, it was memories of it as a child. But they're not in colour, presumably, because No, it's all in black and white. Black it's white. just a digital camera because it's just a- they don't see in black and white, so it's just like a- it's just like a- I don't know, I think it's-, it's I think it's burnt onto the retina or something. And, um, the only one that they kept were the ones they saw a lot of the time. Well, oh. I mean, in a way, uh, some of the educating Ricky I've got for you today is, is on the similar lines. Right. Oh, you've uh, got well, to be impressed by that. You've got to no, be impressed no, no, by that. No, no, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'm interested to see, you know, what, what they do. What with they it. do, what they do with the, what the crab developments are. But yeah, yeah, no, that's that's pr that's pretty good. Yeah. But I mean, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, that just digest just that information because that's not even the most impressive one we found. I think it is. I suppose it's pretty impressive, but the next one's more, maybe more shocking. Okay. Right. Well, well, let's play a tune, and, and Ricky's got another experience. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Pure love song, classic on XFM. So that's the that's the crabs that can you can download their memories. But, um, but what about other animals that are in the sea, in that same sea, eating the stuff? Have they tested them? Yet? I don't know. I think it, they just took it on because their um, biology, uh, so much to do with. I presume they could take up minerals and you know I don't know why. I don't know. But anyway, um, next one. Uh, it's just on the horizons. Um, uh, a bodybuilder. Yeah. Um, uh, this married- This freaky. Had another bodybuilder, married another bodybuilder, yeah. right, and they were pregnant. And, um, they had these tests and the baby was very large, but it was causing it pain, right, in the thing, right? And it- after this- it, it's, 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 it's almost bizarre and like- Yeah, after the wo the- the female woke up pregnant after seven months and the baby- it's walking around. No, it forced its way out of the vagina. Oh, no way. Yeah, it forced its way out. It, and it, it was because it, it had like, almost had like super strength. Like. And it was pulling her along by the umbilical cord. And that, uh, and it was, it was, it was a stone. <laughs> Extraordinary. That, no, that's freaky. I mean, you talk about yeah. freaky stuff. That's made up. <laughs> what? It wasn't pulling her along. It yeah, was. well, no, it was pretty, she could yeah. feel it. Exactly. And it was, do you know what I mean? Like, just went. <laughs> And just sort of squeezed it. Just way got out because it was ready. Because all the hormones. Because it thought stuff. it was ready. Oh God! Imagine that. Just waking up and finding that in the bottom of the bed. Freak out, wouldn't it? Because you think it was a nightmare initially. And it had hair and everything, didn't it? Yeah, because all the hormones. There was like so hair. Hair. Was a there was something in the week about um, you know you've got test tube babies and that now, haven't you? Mm. But they've they've managed to do it. I only caught up after I knew story. he'd be more impressed by the crabs than that. He doesn't care if it's No, 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 I am. I'm right. telling you, I'm telling you though, that, um, there was something- I only caught after story because I was busy, but, uh, there's something about babies being able to be born without having any people involved. Or something, it's like putting them in an oven or something and it's like a cake <laughs> and after a certain amount of time it's ready. <laughs> I, think I remember buying those in Argos for kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. Well, it's my first baby kit. Yeah. 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 It's Play-Doh, I think, that they can buy. Yeah. Well, so what do you think of that then? The baby one. Yeah. I, I prefer the crab one. Yeah. But the baby, I mean, the baby thing's pretty, pretty horrible. Yeah. yeah. So it was bigger than the, than 
Like the average. But, um, yeah, um, both made up. We made those up. Yeah, both, both rubbish. They're both I mean, bullshit. they are both rubbish. Despite the fact they're both rubbish. Yeah. They're interesting. We made those up. Both those stupid stories up. <laughs> yeah. Imagine downloading a crab's memories and seeing its mum feeding it as a child. <laughs> Both uh, are rubbish. I had trouble, I had trouble. Yeah. I know I was gonna have trouble with, um, pushed its way out of the vagina. <laughs> yeah. I practiced that about 30 times yesterday with Steve. I was going, I'm not gonna be able to do it, mate. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to say that. Yeah. <laughs> are you disappointed? A little bit. I, I mean, the baby one's a bit <laughs> sort of out there. Yeah. I wasn't really having, having that one. No. But, the, but the crab one, I, mm. I, I... See, now, what's interesting, I think, is it's a useful experiment, Carl. <laughs> I don't know what it's taught you about yourself, <laughs> but would you say that that's revealed to you a certain thing? I don't know, maybe that you're a bit gullible. I mean, you know, what I'm saying is maybe you shouldn't accept or swallow your hook, line, and sinker everything you read on the web. <laughs> You got to think maybe a valuable lesson. I there? feel bad because I, I feel I said to Steve, he won't be annoyed that we conned him. He'd be annoyed that they're actually not true. You'd love that crap thing to be true, wouldn't you? It won't surprise me if it did happen one day. Sure. Yeah. So, and then yeah. he'd slap And it's uh, in the rake when I said about the crabs, you know, well, I'm keeping them then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> with the, uh, with the educating Ricky, but, you know. Let's see, let's see. You've got, uh, three titles. Yeah. Uh, that I tease you with, different stories, you take your pick and I teach you something, that yeah. did happen. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of venom. Uh, yeah, go on. First one is, um, don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet that's bacon related, knowing you. <laughs> you've got, uh, <laughs> you've got enough is anus. Say that again. Enough is an anus. <laughs> enough is enough. Well. But he's changed to enough is an anus. Yeah. And okay. you've got, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've also got, <clears throat> will it, will it be a bloke? Oh, oh no. Will it like a bloke or a woman? <laughs> what? Will it like a bloke or a woman? Will it? Yeah. <laughs> will it like a bloke or a woman? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so there you, there you three stories. Okay, today. sounds exciting. Okay, stuff. well I'll have Woolit, so, Woolit. Well, like we're gonna play a record now, Rick, surely. Yeah, yeah and, okay. Uh, and come back with- Sorry uh, about the crowds and the big baby. It's alright. It's a valuable lesson, really. I'm thinking of a title for him. <laughs> yeah, Oasis. <laughs> um, the Hindu Times. Carl just did his little screen test down the lens <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He went to, he said, just look at the camera. He went, right, do you want to know about MTV? So he went, well, it might be VH1. He went, right. He did rock busters and then after the break, some Genesis. Oh, <laughs> oh I'd watch it. Oh. Didn't, you didn't tell me she wanted all this. I thought you said, because I said, you just bring your own camera in mm. and we'll put it down on some tape and pass that on to her. Yeah. Yeah. So now, this, I'm doing two jobs at once again. This is what I'm saying to you in the week. <laughs> I'm juggling jobs all the time. <laughs> I'm, oh, I tell um, you. Right, come on then. How much do I get? <laughs> <laughs> he looked straight at the camera and said that. Right. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> three stories. Don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. Look Enough is that. a nurse. And, uh, and uh, we'll have that one then. That one? Yeah. Right, well, um, <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you believe in palm reading and stuff? No. Yes. Sorry, yes. Yep. Yeah, of yeah. course. Sorry, I forgot. Yes, of course we do. Mm -hmm. Right, well, there's a fella <coughs> who, um, he, he used to do palm reading. No, yeah. But a lot of people, he found that when he went up to him in the street and said, do you want your palm reading, he was like, a lot of them were like, you know, oh, I've, I've you know, I'm a bit ashamed of my nails and stuff because mm. they're a labourer or, or they're a cleaner or mm. something like that. I know a lot of labourers are slightly embarrassed by their nails. <laughs> yeah. No, but... Yeah. So if you look at my bloody hands, Reg. <laughs> well... That's that hod carrying. <laughs> did I ever tell you that? <laughs> did I ever tell you that I got picked at school to <laughs> make tea and serve biscuits to old people because I've got good nails? <laughs> Uh, no, go on. Is there any more yeah. to the story? Oh, that's about it. I mean, <laughs> we used to do like, I think the head teacher must have been getting something, maybe getting his mam in there for free or something in the old people's home. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so he offered the kids at the school, uh, he said, right, all, all sit at your desk and put your hands on the table. And everyone did. And he walked past me and he said, not bad, not bad. Yeah. And he said, uh, you've got the afternoon off, you can uh, go and serve biscuits and tea to the old, old people. What did you say? I said, all right then. <coughs> it's was good. That? It's yeah. Good. good afternoon. <laughs> but anyway, was so these- yeah, well, What did he do? He just sort of walked around and went, you all right, uh, do you want bourbons or digestion? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I bet you'd get on with old FIFA, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd right. love to see it, mate. Especially the senile one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'd love to see you on VH1, just do a link, and just go, you know, they've just played, uh, um, Robert Palmer, right? And it comes to you in a little park, and you just sit next to an old lady and go, all right? And you go, yeah, not too bad. You go, what do you think of London? Crap, innit? And she goes, yeah, it's awful, innit? And you just go have a talk, and you go, all right, well, she doesn't like it. In excess. Yeah. That's what I'd like to see. Mm. I still think my idea is better. But mm -hmm. so, what are you going for then? Oh, you picked one, haven't you? <laughs> uh, yeah. So this fella. So there's so there's, there's palmists going round the streets. Yeah, he's going round and he's suddenly trying to give palm losing, readings. They're losing money, right. hand over fist. Yeah. All right. So um, <laughs> they said uh, he, he's what he's done. He's he's reading people's uh, bottoms now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> whoa, 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 you just, you just, I didn't quite follow that. He was a palm reader, that wasn't making money, so now he's going up to people in the street and saying, can I see your arse? Basically, yeah. So from, from, from being a palmist to an arsonist? Well, uh, they just, that's, that's what he does. He said the same sort of lines and that that you get on your hand, you get them on your, on your bottom, and, uh, he can read them. Right. Yeah, he's not a pervert or anything, or making up as he goes along. No, that's, that's it, that was that. So, if, sorry, if a man <laughs> came up to you in the street and said, can I have a look at your arse? Can I read your arse? <laughs> you'd, you'd drop your trousers, would you? <laughs> no, 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 if he went up to him and they said, oh, I'd rather you didn't because I'm a labourer, I've got bad fingernails. No, that's why I've seen, that's what the, a lot of labourers, they're showing their cleavage, you think, but actually they're having their arse right. <laughs> Absolutely. That's yeah. a lot of, that's what it is. And then, right, So is that the end of the story? <laughs> yeah. But then because That's it. Educating Ricky is there's a bloke <laughs> who reads arses. No, but You're then, a mentalist. But no, but what then, are you talking about? Well then, do you know like now and again I come up with a little jokey line. Thought yeah. I'd make an effort today for VH1 or MTV. Yeah. yeah. Little line there. Um, <laughs> don't worry, it won't last. It might just be a uh, splash in the pan. Okay. Phil Collins next. Yes, <laughs> let's play some Phil. <laughs> let's play some Phil. This is the best show. I mean, off air, obviously. I'm sure people at home aren't enjoying it as much as we are. But Carl uh, is continuing his, uh, what do they call this? A screen test. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, let down by Radiohead. Carl, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I what just you think, think it's, it's not right, really, is it? I'm trying to do a job. Yeah. Whilst trying to get another job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean. But well, a lot of your presenters are on MTV now. Yeah, but. They, they, all of them have got Zane in their name. But, you know. Yeah, it's not, it's not really right, is it? Go on. But, right, so, uh, you we better get that idea. Carl Zane Pilkington. Educating Ricky, will we carry on? Yeah. Right, you've got left. Don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rasher. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. will it like fellas or will it like women? Well, you said wool before. Yeah, wool it. Go on then, I've wool it. Right, now this is similar to the one you were talking about before, right? They found out <laughs> that, um... <laughs> they. <laughs> yeah. Scientists, scientists. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've found out... 17th century? That, um, like now, uh, one in ten rams are gay. One in ten rams are gay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so that was like, wool it. That's how I could get that in. Um, <laughs> they got a load of gay and straight rams. Right. Right. Um, they worked out which were which first. They said, right, that's, that bunch there is a, is a gay bunch. They looked better, they just had more pride in their appearance. And, uh, and the other ones, you know, the straight ones. And then they gave them to this scientist and said, right, go on, do what you've got to do. And they took the brains out of, of all of them. <laughs> just to check. And, um, they did tests on the brain and it worked out that they've got something smaller in the brain. The gay ones have got something in the brain that makes it smaller. And they said, right, well, that's probably how it's gonna work on, on males. On, on like, males and females and, like, humans. So you took from this that gays have smaller brains than straight people? No, there's something in the brain. Right, so, if, so if someone's saying, you know, oh, I'm a gay, or they don't, they're not sure or whatever, they will now be able to find out. <laughs> so you can go to the doctor and <laughs> to find out if you're straight or gay. <laughs> Is there any gay in my brain? Let's have a look. Do 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 do. You've got a little bit of a gay in you. Yes, a little bit of a gay in there. Yes, you've got the uh, you've well, got what, you've what got a little bent cell there. Well, that's that's why they did it anyway. 
I don't understand how they how they could differentiate which was straight and which were gay to begin with before they then gave it to the scientist. Wasn't that what the <laughs> scientists figured out? <laughs> there's, uh, there's, there's, how there's, could they tell? Were there's one theory that it's genetically children? determined. There is one. <laughs> there, is, there is there is a theory that's genetically determined, but I, I, I don't think it's as easy as um, uh, pulling a sheep's brain apart and finding a little pink sort of like blob in there and going, right, we've taken the guy out and now he's going to go and shag some ewes. I don't think it's that straightforward. Although the, uh, uh, the homosexuality does occur at uh, a similar sort of rate in animals, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So you knew that, didn't you? So that's, that's that one. I mean... <laughs> I just like the idea of a farmer figuring out which is straight and gay. Well, yeah. that one's wearing quite a camp-looking neckerchief. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm yeah. thinking maybe yeah. it's gay. Is that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the fact that they can, uh, okay, uh, that, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> a big fan of Sophie Ellis Bexter. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. They would, uh, they put on ABBA and see which ones dance. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. how they, which one, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, put on like Barbara Streisand <laughs> and see which ones sing along. That shit is rubbish. <laughs> what did I find out? Did, did, did you just say that is rubbish? No, I found out other, other stuff in the week that did didn't make the top three. Wow. Wow. Uh, we haven't even had to- This no. must be mediocre stuff then. This must be really bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, or it might be dubious. Go on. There's, um, there's a woman in Ireland- Yeah. Who has been with a fella for eleven years. Yeah. Um, she always saying to him, you know, when, when, when are we gonna get married and that? And he's like, oh, we don't need to. Uh, you know, we're happy and that, you know, like I am with Suzanne, it's like, there's no point, really. Yeah. Unless Getting you have married. a kid, I don't think you need to, do you? Right. So, um, he was like, we'll do it in time, in time and all that. Anyway, he comes home from work one day, he says, oh, go on then, we'll get married. She was so shocked, her hair fell out. <laughs> 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 Did you get that? Wow. <laughs> so That's extraordinary. <laughs> and what did he say? Oh, I'm not marrying you, Baldy. Yeah, yeah. Well, she was so, she was so hair shocked her hair fell out. Yeah. I love the idea of it just going yeah, to the, the ground. Fell out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, what else? That's, right, that's rubbish. That that's rubbish. That's, that's rubbish. That's that rubbish. That's rubbish. Next. You've also got, um... What's it's weird, isn't it, Rick? <laughs> that the stories that we made up are <laughs> more plausible <laughs> yeah. than the facts yeah. you're actually giving I think we tried too hard. <laughs> I think we tried yeah, to- that's what he's willing to believe. He's willing to believe <laughs> that a woman's hair fell out when her husband came out and so said, let's get married then. Yeah. Oh, you old romantic. <laughs> <laughs> well, now then, here's a good one. Go on then. Right, in Dubai, this woman went to Dubai for her holiday. Mm. And, um, <laughs> she was over there and apparently in the markets- Bit of buyers buy this? They sell lizards. Oh, go on. Right, just like for people to buy. Mm. So mm. she buys one, mm. not knowing that you're not really meant to take him out of the country. Sure. Um, puts it in a bag. Yeah. Uh, As you do. What have you? And um, then she gets to the airport when she's going home. She's thinking, I can't really leave it in my bag. Yeah. So she puts it on her head. On her head? Wears it as a hat. <laughs> she wore the lizard as a hat. Yeah. Um, <coughs> people on the plane were just like, yeah, everything's fine. You know, they're doing the cross checks and that. Yeah. Have you got your seatbelt on? Yeah. There's a woman great. there with a the lizard hat. Um, <laughs> everything's going well. She gets off the plane at Manchester Airport. Um, lizard sticks its tongue out. Yeah. The air hostess says, what are you doing with that? She goes, I've had it. I've had it. Lizard said, I just found her in Dubai. <laughs> the, uh, they said, I've had this with me all, all journey. And they said, well, you shouldn't have done. And they took it off her. Yeah, I think that is true, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So what about that? Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That educated me. Right, what, any more? Well, what's that taught you? That's taught you, you know, be careful when smuggling <laughs> lizard yeah. back uh, some kind of hat. Yeah, don't, just say lizard, keep your tongue in, you <laughs> twat. <laughs> Uh, Not at the customs <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what else? Have anyone, we anyone didn't quite make it. <laughs> Anything <laughs> to declare? <laughs> we've, got, oh, <laughs> I've got, I've got a lizard on my head. <laughs> <laughs> we've got an old saying. One, if you want that. Go on then. Are yeah. these ones? Sorry, are these ones that d didn't make the list? These are ones that didn't make it. Oh yeah. right. Because okay. I always, I always get more in than than I need to, just in case. Just think if someone's just tuned in now. Mm. Is Anders listening? Is uh, well, I'll tell you, Dickie Anderson. I've got, a, I've got an email from Richard Anderson. Uh, uh, Dickie Anderson. Go on. Uh, the Dick Machine, which <laughs> the big Dick, the big Dick, which. Yeah. Uh, now this is interesting. It's. I mean, I think we're wearing him down, Ricky. I think your show might be improving. Go on. That sense of despair and loneliness I normally feel when listening to your show doesn't seem so bad today. He's desensitised to it. Yeah. Exactly. Always giving up. Him down. Always <laughs> just giving up. Yeah. 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 I mean, you listen to this long enough and your standards will drop. Let's play the tune. Let's come back with some more cold, more cold, uh, Yeah. I don't, I don't want to use the word facts. No, <laughs> it's right, yeah. it oh, well, uh, He's got more screen testing now. The camera's ready for you. Yeah. Feeder. Yeah. Just around feeder. That's my favourite feeder track ever. Uh, it's, it's bugging me. It's just like, um, a ride track from about 
10 or 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. So if, if you know, put me up my misery, f email in. It's just like a ride track from about 1990. And I can't, it's just the beginning. Uh -huh. Drive me mental. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Yeah, well, uh, half hour to go. You've done your screen test. Yeah. Reluctantly. <laughs> I, I think you, I think you had such the wrong attitude. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? If, I've told you before, if things are meant to be, right, they'll happen. That's yeah. how I've got through my life, right? I'm 29 now. Yeah. Never played. Yeah. Well, yeah. 30, but the camera's still on. <laughs> <laughs> right? So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everything I've done in my life, I've never sort of planned it. Do you know Is that I mean? how you storm through your uh, your exams? Well, look, look, your GCSEs. At, look at the <laughs> look at the school play doing Little Donkey. I yeah. wasn't planning that sure. day to do the drums. It just on the night I couldn't help myself. And you stole the show. What happened? When, what do you mean? When when you know when all the kids were playing Little Donkey, I wasn't meant to be doing my drum set in that track. I was only meant to. I think I was doing We Three Kings or something. Uh -huh. But when they started doing it, the tune I couldn't help myself with the drumstick, just like tapping away. Right. At the at the drum. Yeah. And then when it came on, I was like, oh, and I started doing it, and like the teacher looked at, uh, looked over at me, and I was like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. But she sort of gave me the nod as if to say, it's all right, carry on, it's, it's sounding good. <laughs> then after it, she went, you know, they love that, you can do that again tomorrow night. Yeah. So I got like an extra, extra part in the play and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That wasn't So planned. you were, so, so you were doing the drum part to We Three Kings over Little Donkey. Yeah. That's weird, that is like Fatboy Slim or something, isn't it, when they mix up. No. Well, no, still mashing oh. it up at the age of what, eight? Yeah. No. And that's what I'm saying. And that, is that planned. when, um, is that when, uh, someone was filming it and you could f hear your dad on the camcorder going, he looks like a twat? That's, that's the one, yeah. Oh. And that's why, maybe that's why I don't want to be on the telly, because I'll always have my dad's sort of echoing voice just saying, <laughs> he shouldn't be on there, he looks, <laughs> looks like a, that's it. So, so that's, that's why I'm a bit sort of nervous about this today. Really? You think it's sort of quite, Freudian in a way, sort of. Yeah. Your attitude is case for us for Well, plus I haven't got the look. I don't, I'm not pretending, right, that yeah. I should be on the telly. What's wrong know. with your look for VH1? It's not right. It's not Jono right. Jono was on VH1. Was he? Yes. So I'm going up against Jono. <laughs> so He's gone now, he's moved on. Yeah, there you go, you see. Another one who they gave a chance to. Yeah. And then he was like, you know, yeah, I can do that. It's, it's built up, right? They built him up, you can do that as a job. And then they knocked him down. And he probably started eating. Well, I don't think you can <laughs> knock John He started eating! He started eating! Oh, look at him now. Yeah. Right, oh. So that's what I'm saying. So if it's meant to be, right, it, whoever's gonna watch this tape, you know, yeah. uh, thanks for the offer and that. But, you know, time will tell. <laughs> Very wise, so, yeah. there you go. And I tell you what, actually, go on. Right, it's, it's a bit funny, because we're looking on the web in a week out, different sayings, and, uh, <laughs> Do you know the saying? A roundhead does not an MTV presenter no, make. Yeah, no. Spa, uh, what's that saying? Spark, <laughs> spark, oh. spark in the pan or something? Hey, flash in the pan. Flash in the pan. Yeah. Do you know that saying? Uh, yeah. That, that's a bit like what could happen to me, innit? Do you know what I mean? There I am trying to do my normal job, <laughs> right? And then you bring me in here on a Saturday. Next thing, everyone's after me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then it doesn't work out, and yeah. I'm dropped. Yeah. And that same flash in the pan, do you know how it came about? No. Um, do you know like how years ago they used to dig for gold? Gold. Yeah? Yeah. And they had like a little pan. Yeah. And they'd put the soil in, and they'd rub the soil. Yeah, and it shone in the now sun. Now and again, it shone in the sun, and they got yeah. all excited, and were like, oh brilliant, some gold. And then they realised it was just the sun flashing in the pan. Yeah. And that's, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. So again, that's a bit weird how I saw that saying in the week. Almost yeah. like a little thing saying, don't be getting carried away. Omen. So, well, it makes you wonder. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Not really. So, so tell you, things that make you wonder, you saw Darren Brown, what did he do? Darren oh, Brown, no, he, no, it's ordinary. Yeah, I told him about it. So, uh, um, you should uh, peep, to, a lot of people don't realise who Darren Brown is, and he's, oh, I we, think, we, the best illusionist um, in the country. We went to, uh, Jonathan Ross's house, um, for his birthday. I didn't. Uh, no, me, uh, uh, me and Jane, and we went there, right, and there was lots of people there, and, uh, um, Darren Brown was there, and Jonathan got Darren Brown to his and it was incredible, he did all these tricks, right? Um, <coughs> I mean, incredible, it was just amazing. Um, and he did one, um, with a bloke who was there, a uh, friend of Jonathan's, I think his name was, um, Ray, and, uh, he got him to give the pack, he said count the cards, and he counted out 52, 52 cards. Yeah. Yeah? I mean, yeah, he went, think of any card in that pack. He didn't touch it yet, he's counted 52, he, it was in his hand, he said think of any card. He said what was it? He said three of swags or something. He went find it in the pack, couldn't find it, he said count the cards, there was 51. Right, and he couldn't find the card, and he had no idea. And we forgot about it, he went oh it's gone wrong, and he forgot about it, he, and he kept, so he was going, I wonder where that card is, and he kept looking at it, 
I found out that about a week ago, Ray went into hospital with an appendicitis, yeah, and the surgeon, as we said this, there was somewhat crumpled up, there was a th thing, and it was a card, it was the card that was in his thing causing appendicitis, and when he came out of surgery, there was a card from Darren Brown saying, was that your card? That's amazing, don't you think? I mean, this that's is like a, incredible. This thing and what, and then a crab went, I don't know what it is, it's a five of spades. <laughs> it's another wind up. Yeah. Yeah, well, see. <laughs> see, I'm not gonna believe anything anymore. But that's so good! If I, if I ever, You've learned a lesson! Yeah, yeah but say, say if all this goes wrong now, right? Cry wolf and all that. Yeah. Imagine I get dropped by MTV. Next <laughs> you haven't been wanna, asked yet! Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Ah. Right, they're short on firemen because they're always going on strike. <laughs> I answer the phone, it's you saying my house is on fire. I don't know what you're talking about now, Carl. So, I actually, <laughs> I don't know what he's talking no, about. Hang on, I think somewhere along the line there, <laughs> Carl has been recruited by the fire brigade. <laughs> Did you leave that out in the line? story? Start again. Yeah, right, that's what right, I'm saying. Right, because I just wound you up about crabs, babies pushing their way out of vaginas, yeah. and Darren Brown what calling the pencil. Right, yeah. Little, uh, What's what's the saying about uh little acorns you know, little, don't gather any grounds? Cry uh, crying wolf. You yeah. can take a fish to water and you can't you make it. Well, Do you know you know that saying? Um you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink. Do you know why? Um because it's next too long. No, what? It's got an awkward neck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's correct. That is correct. Right, anyway, well, we've still got to come. Uh, right, it's Carl. been bad today. I'm gonna apologise to people listening today because you might as well I be focused. Do you know do you know do you, have you the thing that got us rolling stone gathers no moss? You yeah. wear that? Yeah. Do you know where that's from? Uh Do you know where it's from? In Woodstock, right, the band used to go out and get this sort of like moss that used to grow there and it was sort of like slightly hallucinogenic, right? And they used to come back and they used to all go out like, everyone was out there, mamas and papas were doing it, um, the doors, they all came back. But Mick Jagger and Keith Richards would never do it. But they'd smoke other people's. Yeah. A Rolling Stone never gathers his own moth. That was what it was. <laughs> Seriously, Carl! Right, that's so we've still got to come. Uh, <laughs> rock busters. Have you heard the saying, a fish in time saves nine? The, s the clues were- Have you heard that? That'll never get off the ground. <laughs> LZ. You've got- Have you heard that saying, out of the frying pan into the saucepan? <laughs> You've also got- uh, Carl. Oh. I'm trying oh. to hold it together now. Well, yeah, no, we're trying to teach you something, Carl. Yeah, but you're not. Why? Because at least my stuff that I tell you, if you go in into a pub and told someone- what? what? There was a blind girl, she hit her head, she could see. What's that? Well, just don't, don't get down if your eyes are bad. <laughs> Right, with <laughs> no, go round headbutting right, things. Play the play tune, Carl. Oh, Carl, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the Undertones, Teenage Kicks, that's one of the tracks on the uh, best air guitar album in the world ever, Volume 2, which is one of the prizes on today's Rockbusters. And John Peel's favourite track John ever. John Peel's favourite song of all time. And, uh, so, Carl, have you got the answers for Rockbusters this week? Yeah, we have, yeah. We've got, uh, <laughs> The first clue. <laughs> You're upset, so Carl. miserable. I, I'm a bit fed up today. The weather's- I knew when I was walking in today, though, that I'd be- But that video, there's lots of- there's lots of weather on that video, so they can- whoever wins this can go home and see sort of the weather you were talking about. <laughs> uh, the first one was, that'll never get off the ground. Uh, LZ. Yeah. The answer there was Led Zeppelin. So easy. Um, yeah, but I said that's here. There's always two easy ones and a difficult one. Go on. The third one was, you'll get a load of bacon off them. That was L. Uh, long pigs. Right. Yeah. And then the second one was, uh, that woman's got her husband's gloves and a pair of her own. Yeah. HH. Yeah. Yeah. That was Ermin Zermitz. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the three that's the three answers. I'm sure well, I'll give the prize this week. This man's Hermits. What? There's a lot of Hermits. Hermits. That is genius, Carl. That is genius. Oh, Hermits. Hermits. So, There's so many people who are worthy of the um, of the prizes, obviously. <laughs> I'd quite like to give the prize this week to um, Tom <laughs> McGibbon. <laughs> Just because I like his name, I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but Tom McGibbon. Yeah. I like to give that to no, him. No, you shouldn't laugh at Tom's name. Because uh, he also lives in Bloxhall Road. <laughs> I don't know why I find that. <laughs> Tom McGibbon of Bloxhall Road. I don't know why. Well, you've made a mockery of, you've made a monkey out of the man. Poor, poor old Gibbo. Yeah. That's yeah. The, and he's asking that, he's got a question there. What? Um, can Carl get rid of slugs? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm almost certain he can. Just so well, well to, um, if, to, uh, if, if he'd been listening, if he was listening a few months ago, he would have known how to. Go on. Because I told you what slugs like. What? Getting in letterboxes. <laughs> what does that get rid of? Put some stamps in your garden. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they like, uh, no, they like, they like stamp glue. So, yeah, you know, that's I know that how that was that get rid of them. They keep coming back, weren't they? Then they're going. I can't mm-hmm. believe it. We'd have to climb those boxes now. As a fellow leaving well, stamps out for us. You've won some prizes, and I've sorted. No, you how does that get rid of slugs? Leaving stamps out for them. Their favourite food. Because it's like planting a load of lettuces. They love that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends where he's got them. I thought he meant he's got them in his house. That's okay. like Oh, to put know. stamps on the outside. There go. There's loads of stamps out here, lads. Let's leave this house. Right. So let's get out of this house. We've got. Uh, we've got one more. Go on. Uh, educating Ricky too. Go on, quick then. I need. I need educating. Right. Uh, don't rub it too hard. You'll get a rasher. How was he going to outwit Darren Brown? You said something in the break. Oh, I have to say, yeah. Um, Darren Brown, who uh, we bumped into as well, and he did this incredible trick where he puts forty pounds down on the table. He says, "I can tell you which hand you've got a pound coin in." Uh, let's say five times out of five, you know. So I have a, a pound coin in one hand. I put it behind my back. I bring my hands out, and he can tell me every single time which hand it's in by asking questions, by doing various. Well, he doesn't things. ask, but he just goes, "No, you might have it in that one. You might do the same again." But then you're an intelligent person. You're probably not where he goes, so it's in that one, and he does it every time. Yeah. It it's incredible. Time. It's absolutely majestic. Oh, I, I mentioned this to Carl. Yeah. And well, Carl, you tell me how you think you could outwit Darren Brown, because well, your dad used to do this trick. You well, told my dad, me. My dad used to play this. Yeah. Um, how old were you? Uh, I don't know. Probably about ten. So you probably weren't as sharp as you were now then. Oh. Uh, so he used to play it, and and the way of telling what Andy's got it in, his hand looks bigger. So that's how you've got to do. <laughs> that's how he did it then. Yeah. That's so how to Darren catch Darren out. So ca- no, to catch Darren out. It was Darren a bit out. different because he did it with golf balls. But <laughs> but to catch it. Darren out, <laughs> Carl told me Rick, he did it with a spud. To catch Darren out, yeah. The hand which hasn't got the coin in, just make it slightly bigger. <laughs> just make it just like extend it slightly so it's slightly larger, and that'll catch Darren out. He'll never be able to. Stop that's that. how he did it. Or he... just put put a pound in each hand. Okay. And wind him up. Just go. No, you're wrong. You yeah. you are brilliant, Carl. Yeah. Do this one. Do you, do, do you, uh, did your dad used to do the one where he takes your nose off, <laughs> off of your face and puts it between his fingers? Did, did you, you did you keep going to the doctors? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. Right. You know how that's done? You know he's not actually taking your nose off. It's his thumb. Go it on. It's his thumb. Go Last on. one. Yeah. Don't rub it too hard, you'll get a rash out. It's been a mess today, <laughs> What do you mean it's been a mess? It's been a mess. What has? This. What? The show? Yeah. How has it been any worse? It's just all over the place. There's no sort of. It's not tight. It's not tight like it generally is. Um, <laughs> and she'll be going away with this, thinking that's what the show would be like. She listens to the show. She knows it's a shambles every week. Go on. Yeah. Uh, don't rub it too hard. You'll get a rasher. Yeah. Do you know the saying "ham it up"? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, do you know what it means? Well, it means to overact. Right. Well, years ago, w- with uh, with actors in musicals and stuff, mm. did um, the actors used to look pretty ill on, on the stage because they didn't have proper makeup and that. Right. Right. So what they used to do uh, uh, to make themselves look rub their face in pigs. Well, they got they got bacon, mm. rubbed it on the face, mm. and it made the face a bit sticky because of all the like you know the pig fat and bit of lard and stuff like that. Mm. And then they'd go and get some bricks. Bricks. Yeah, mm-hmm. house bricks. Rub them together, make some sort of red dust from the brick, mm. and then put the dust on the face. Mm. And the, the fat and the lard and that would make the dust stick mm. to the face. Mm. And um, they'd look well under the lights. And that's that's where the they smell great as well. Yeah, well. Lovely. Everyone likes to smell of bacon. Mm. No, but so that's, that's the old uh, ham it up. That's where like that, that comes from. I'm, you know, I'm, if, if it's true, I've I'm, I'm got no reason to think that it's not. So that's your third educating Ricky today. So, what have you learned? Nothing. Uh, you've Absolutely got, sod all. You've got your hamming it up. Yeah. Um, rams are gay. They, they know which ones are gay now. <laughs> now! <laughs> and, uh, At last, the, thank fella, God. the fella who can hand read. Um, an arse. <laughs> if you miss the rest of the show, <laughs> what are you gonna make of that? <laughs> Have you just tuned in? <laughs> you are a maniac, Carl. So. And you've had your screen test. I reckon we'll be seeing you on MTV or VH1 in the near future. How much is it? How much? I mean, check out and so what do you reckon I'll get? Because I've, I've, you see, the annoying thing is, I've just bought a flat in London. Yeah. In central London. Yeah. MTV's in Camden. Yeah. I wouldn't have bought in central London if I'd have known I'd had to go there. <laughs> that was to make my life easier so I could walk to work. So now I've got to go out of my way. So I need to <laughs> cover that. <laughs> <laughs> to be truthful, I'm not sure that the MTV gig is a certainty. Yeah. Yeah, I she's, reckon she's pretending she's not sure, but she can't wait to sign you up. Yeah. I reckon you'd, you know, you, uh, maybe start off with a few little interstitials, just like, you know, 
what do you think make of that or Carl says, you know, a few of them, I reckon you'll make a, you know, a few grand. It, what, why has it got to be music? There's why can't it be? I think that idea on the animals is good. I can do film stuff. I can talk about films. <laughs> Elephant Man. Love that. Let's go on then, do a film review, quickly. Right, uh, right, well today on, uh, film review, we're doing, uh, classic films, um, and today we're looking at, uh, Elephant Man, John Merrick, one of his, one of his better pieces of work. Um, it's a sad film, I, I, I've never really <laughs> been able to watch it all the way through. <laughs> Sorry, uh, John Merrick's better piece of work was him being the Elephant Man, played by John Hurt. Yeah. Go on then. Um, sad film, uh, when I was younger, Tell us a bit about it. What I is it about? Who's it's John about Merrick? a fella. It's about yeah, a fella who's yeah, got a funny head. Right. Tell us this. And, um, you know, he lives in, uh, I think he lives in London, in like the, about in the 1930s or something like that. And he's being picked on all the time and stuff. Mm. And, um, first time you watch it, you'll probably cry a bit. And then the second time you watch it, you're just sort of thinking, God, that would be bad. Sort of having a head like that being picked on all the time. And the third time you watch it, you might think, you know, oh, uh, how does he get his jumper on? <laughs> uh, then, I don't know, I'm probably bored of it the fourth time. <laughs> but, but it's well worth watching, so, uh, Elephant Man. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah, see it. Brilliant. I think if you want to get on TV, Carl, you'd be better as the subject <laughs> of maybe like an omnibus <laughs> documentary. <Yeah>. Living with <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Or maybe one of those uh, appeals in Comic Relief. <laughs> oh, it all go to oh. the people abroad, you know. There's some people in this country that need our help. <laughs> you yeah. see? See you later. What is it? That's the Libertines. Time for heroes. Oh right, yeah. So Carl, what, what a great day, Carl. He's done his uh, screen test. That's going back to uh, MTV now to look at the big wigs to have a look at. <laughs> Should mention wigs. Um, <laughs> we've had uh, Rockbusters. We've had. Uh, Educating Ricky. We had Educating Carl. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Claire here next week, so. Yeah. But you'll be back for the big Christmas, uh, Christmas spectacular. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's that. I've not been happy today. Go um, on, why? If someone's listened for the first time today, it's, it is normally better than this. It's not. No, it is. It is. Well, I don't think it is. So, no. uh, so I, really, I really don't think it is. So that's that then. So I'll see you uh, in two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. All right, enjoy yourself. Cheers. Best of luck with MTV. All right, I'll uh, see you later. Okay. See ya. Cheers.